Okay, we're doing a sync check. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, three. <laughs> Chaos. Adjust the audio. Hello world. Ah, hello world. Don't get used to this. Don't get used to this world. Ought to be better.
for you. I won't be dead. You'll be no, you'll you'll be dead. <laughs> No. Once they put you on the plane to go back to America, they take you into so a I'm dark room. Here. No, never. If you live, if you survive the chamber, then you'll be very alive to me. Chamber. Yeah, they put you in the chamber <laughs> <laughs> at the end of this program. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, That's so dark. I was I was messed up by Splatoon. Can I can can I can I tell you that that is because of Splatoon that I feel that way right now? Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, sorry, I told you we were starting. <clears throat> Choto a minute. <laughs> yeah, the stream is starting with the threat. We're talking about them going back to America and not being able to see the Madoka Magica movie. I'm so sad. Choto a minute, yeah. My, my students love Japan. <laughs> I could teach them a lot. Oh, uh, obviously, if you leave a bunch of kids who don't speak much Japanese in a Japanese immersion camp for mm -hmm five weeks, they make up a lot of slang. <laughs> so yeah. a lot of it is like a konichi what's up and stuff. Konichi what's up. But last year they made nani ue. Nani, nani ue. <laughs> nani ue. What up? <laughs> nani ue. I hate your kids. No. They were angels. All right. Hello, everybody. We're back to... <laughs> this was such a long week that I kind of forgot what Toho even was. And then yesterday I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna play that Toho game again. And not Toho, I was thinking about Toho. I was no. you? No. No, no, I was, it was um probably before that. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna play Luna Nights tomorrow. Oh my God, like I successfully distracted myself. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh right, that game. <laughs> oh yeah, shit, that's a thing. Uh huh. No, after swing class, I had such a crazy Mega Man moment that I had to go and make the video because I had a little bit of time, and uh, I was thoroughly distracted for those couple days. Yeah, no, I, I, I watched it and I was like, oh, this is not what I thought it would. I thought it would be like a video essay. <laughs> well, it's, it's hard to make video essays on the fly. My current one is stuck on uh, the copyright police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, that's what I thought the video was. I, I thought that's. Oh, the one that was in copyright. Yeah. No. Your Mega Man one. No, getting a pulse is very casual. I kind of just pop out a script and it's like, holy crap, guys! I get the point of this game now. My other videos, I will do more of like a video essay. I realize something about my thumbnail makes it look like a giant expose that's like seven hours long. Is what I realize now, but that's not what it is. It's, it a, it's, it's a getting a pulse. It, it's a getting a pulse video, and it's just me making a, a, a plea to the girlies of the world to play Mega Man, so I'm not alone with a bunch of sweaties. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just Mega Man doesn't do it for me. Oh well, you, you'll go out of that phase. <laughs> <laughs> I was there too one day. Don't worry, honey. <laughs> Oh I ha there, there is a cut of this video where it ends with me saying the word sweetie, and then I had to get rid of it. I was like, this is too corny. I was like, you go out of it, sweetie, and that was going to be the end, and I'm like, no, I sound like a Karen. I'm, I'm, that, I'm, sounds, I'm, that sounds a little parasocial. Parasocial? Yeah. It's parasocial. Quite a little. A little. Parasocial to my fans? Yeah. I mean, your fans, your fans might get parasocial. They might get parasocial. I was going to say, I'm like, your ha, theoretical ha, ha, future ha, fans. I was going to say, how, how do I commit? How do I commit reverse parasocialism as a YouTuber? That that is a new part of the theory to me. Well, some people, like some streamers, they are like parasocial with their chat. I like, guess that like, makes they get, sense. They get this that, that I see. I see. I had mostly only heard about parasocialism like the other way, where it's mm -hmm. like you think, yeah. I mean, I guess it makes perfectly enough sense. Okay. My my secret is that I actually do know every single member of my chat because there's not a lot of us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's very true. Yeah, you made the Discord. Yeah, ACAB includes YouTube's auto copyright system. You are right about that. It has been such a dumb week. It started with just one claim on one part of one video, and now it's every part of that uh, of, of one episode. Now it's every part of that episode, and it's like if they start claiming parts of other episodes, like I can't even put the video out. It's gonna take ages for me to do all that stupid editing. So let's pray for let's pray for Victor Belmont. Let's pray that we can actually get this video out. Can you actually like? Did you know like wait wait way back in the day when they did like when people we, we still could get away with like, uploading whole-ass anime episodes to YouTube, mm -hmm. and they would, like, put the border on. Oh, yeah, see, that's the thing is, um, I saw somebody put a border on to get around the copyright police. I haven't- there was one section of the video where I, I did use a bit of a border, and I did a bunch of other things, too, including just kind of chopping it up, but, um, I haven't tried that with the new part that's getting flagged. 
I, I don't have a good, I, I might just do a border to everything, because that's what um the Moana Crab YouTuber does to Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, I'm very informed on animation. <laughs> the Moana Crab. Yeah, the Moana Crab YouTuber. I think I know who you're talking about. Do you? I, I, I refer to him sometimes. Like yeah, Shafrilis. Um, he's like, he's just like a B-tier YouTuber in my heart. But like, <laughs> I, 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 I like, I've watched a lot of his videos lately. I've been kind of in a kick. He has a really good Mario Kart series, and he, he does have a lot of interesting feelings about movies that I didn't think anybody had any interesting feelings about, like uh, Ratatouille. <laughs> Apparently, I can feel things about Ratatouille and Megamind now. Megamind's crazy. I haven't watched much of them. They're good. So. Th 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 those are two good movies. We could watch a like. I don't watch the movies. Oh, I oh, well, like video YouTuber. essays. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I feel like. I mean, because like I like writing, but so many video essays on writing are like. They're not writing. Um, uh, did she hit me with a teacup? Yes. Every single death is so embarrassing in this game. <laughs> Videos on writing, like um, like like the the like the the plot writing of stuff like animation. Like how to write, well, no. How to write, like how to write it. Like your your like five tips to instantly improve your writing. It's all. Oh oh, yeah. Like, uh, that's the stuff that gets into my feet. I'm like, I don't roll watch you. I know, and I, I feel like writing is particularly like straight up like AI generated like how to write your college essay in five minutes. Like writing seems like a kind of hotbed for like random like churned out mill kind of stuff. Well, I am. Mean, a lot of it is also just like genuinely bad, no. genuine, genuine and bad. <laughs> no, a lot of it is just like I don't want to say like view list authors because I'm not even published, right? Yeah. But like these are these are they're either like authors who have published one book, which is still impressive. Mm -hmm. But they, then they like they say it's like oh this is everything about Reddit. Ah. Or what annoys me? Oh my god! Look at that? this little guy. So he looks like a merman from Castlevania, but he's on land and he's very fast. Oh my. Oh, really fast. He has a lot of health. He has a lot of health. He's kind of a nuisance. Oh, he dropped the ruby. Oh, thank you, guy. Those will um, upgrade my other stats. I can't check. So, I mean, for me, they're either like people who have like just gotten into the industry and they're like, oh, I know everything. Yeah, that's kind of a genre. Or, or, or there are people who have published a lot and they do know what they're talking about, mm. but also. Takes a second to find out which. <laughs> yeah. Or they're like celebrities and they're like, they're oh. doing it because. People ask them to. Yeah. Ah, yes, the traditional can, can, yes. can talk. The can dance. The dance of the cola. Mm -hmm. Um. But I think so much. So much writing is like. So, so many people want to write, but they spend so much time learning how to get good at writing instead of writing, writing yeah. and then getting good at writing. That's kind of the, um, we talked about this last week, just kind of that general artistic experience of kind of making crap to get to the good stuff or whatnot. That was a big theme we oh, talked about. you did it. It went in and then it went out. Yeah. As to this, we haven't turned the TV yet. You haven't been treated to the actual visuals. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Melovania Immersion Experience. The Melovania Immersion Program. Mm -hmm. There is food involved. Yeah. There's yes, always food. I feel like Kirby Royalty with my <laughs> water chalice. And <laughs> yes, the, uh... The pancake. The official Water. Kirby, the, the official Kirby cutlery that I got for my birthday from a friend uh, mm -hmm. has become part of my impromptu guest treatment package. That's great. Oh, holy crap, I didn't even notice that your coaster was Kirby. Yeah, that's from the Kirby Cafe. I almost forgot that. It's a like complimentary. Oh, that's so cute. Kirby Cafe does you good. They take your money, but they do you good. Here we go. This will all be better. They take your money, they take your time. Hmm. What don't they do? I was about to jump to like a weird, bizarre joke, and it's like, let's just, let's just not. Well, now that you've mentioned it, you have to say it. Well, no, I didn't have a particular one. I was oh. just like, the correct response for this is unhinged, and it's like, maybe you're wrong. And Juno has been approved for a credit card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Juno. <laughs> oh, in chat, I thought you were just saying randomly. <laughs> Nope. As an actual life event. I guess chat. Baby them. <laughs> to cherish them. By the way, hey chat. How are you? Chat is thriving. The first fourth person pronoun. <laughs> I've heard of this. This discourse has reached my like linguistic friends. <clears throat> um yeah. The entity addressing the entity beyond the fourth wall. Exactly. Addressing the entity before the fourth wall. I can see it. Wouldn't God have been the first one? 
What? Well, maybe not God, like, maybe not Christian God, but wouldn't, like, speaking directly to your God and creator have been the first fourth-person pronoun? Uh, I mean, I guess. But it's, well, it's kind of referencing them by name. It's kind of invoking yeah. them by name. I think so. Yeah. I think, I think invoking well, them... Would you only move during time song? You're good at video games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap at all. Oh, I see. Oh, it's kind of threatening. All right, Luna Knights. Yeah, it's been really fun so far. Oh, you welcome, know where we are? Welcome to Consumer Society. Yes, welcome. You know where we are? We're yeah. in the library. You know who we're gonna <gasps> see? We're going to see Patchouli. Patchouli. I love Patchouli. She's Is the she first. Your favorite. She's the first character I made a connection to. Mm -hmm. But I will say, I'm she's like the asthmatic library. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really funny picture on Tumblr of her mm -hmm. with the beer. You know, no. that one with the thighs. It, it, that kind of made me like, oh, this character slaps. <laughs> um, okay, so we gotta get that thing moving over. <coughs> and then... Oh, there's a lot of factors here. Um, we should probably stop when I come back. No. This should be fine. Okay, yeah, we're good. There's a lot of details in this library. We have drummers. Oh, drummer boys with toxic mist. That's my least favorite time, kind. Time stop thing. Yeah. Time mist. Oh, the, the notes explode into it. Yikes. That's pretty cool, actually. That is rough. Um. <laughs> they do. Well, actually, I was I was alone. I was stood up. I was miserable when I went to Kirby Cafe. And I told them my two-person reservation has become a one-person reservation. And they did not give me the loner waddle dee. So I, it might be a myth. Or maybe he was having an off day. But I even got stood up by the damn waddle dee. <laughs> Was this the one where you like over at the amusement park with this girl? Yes. <laughs> yes. And that is that is too too hashtag me core to actually let become part of the Melovania canon. I have to keep at least some degree of distance from my YouTube persona. I can't describe every one of my follies. Oh, that's okay. Though it is fun to embarrass yourself on public. public. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are what Luna Nights is for. Luna Nights is about bear Yes, this game is about embarrassing yourself publicly. <coughs> that's that's why they made the Scarlet Devil Mansion. They don't tell you that, but if you get a zero CC on uh, Toho Five, that's when they tell you the Luna Mansion is made to humiliate streamers. Scarlet Devil is, is Toho Six. Well, so you you haven't played enough of Five. <laughs> you, have. you haven't found the secret of. Of the, 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 the man. Actually, actually, Toho Six will insult you. If oh, you, um, I was going to share this for the the Don Maki stream because I wanted to tell you, talk to you about it. Um, mm -hmm. But it's it's kind of funny. Um, if you a... play on easy mode, and Toho Six is the only one who does this. Uh huh. But if you play on easy mode on Toho Six, you won't. You, you're not actually allowed to reach stage six. Oh no! Yeah, the stage five boss will be like, "Okay, you beat me, but you still don't deserve to see my." Sakia, Sakia will literally be like, "You don't deserve to see my master." Oh no! It's really, it's really. Funny. See, I was right. The, the, the Scarlet Devil Mansion was just made to be a dick to you. Yeah. Uh, I have to wait. That's a nice cost clockwork contraption. I have to yeah. be honest. That is a nice one. Oh, by oh. the way, this is the uh, this is the stage music for stage four for the library in the original game. Oh, Sly. Oh, this is good. This is good. I like the section this of the is, song. This is arranged. Definitely. Oh, this is it really is, good. It does. It definitely does not have this much instrumental variety. Yeah. In the original. Well, this version is probably gonna end up in my background for my videos. It's really good. All, all Toho games are, are really great. Oh, oh, these things don't even start moving yeah. for music. They're good for music. Yeah, all of, all of the Toho themes are great. Oh. You should actually look up the Bossa Nova arrangers or the Ooh. Jazz arrangers for Toho. Those sound cool. Those are very um, popular. Those, they sound really cool. Yeah. They're very, they're like by Tokyo. They're like by Tokyo Active Meets and like Kyoto Active Meets, they also have arranges. Cool. And by the way, I have no idea why they're called Meets. I was gonna say! <laughs> I have no idea why, because they are really talented musicians. I, I think you can be a- here's the Frankenstein. I think you can be a Neat and have talent. Neat's got talent. I mean, I mean, they clearly practice a lot in ensemble. Oh. Damn! You can't enter the- the hallway if you just stand up at edge. 
wouldn't have been able to reach you. That's true. Wait, wait, what? He, he had this is the part of the room he can't go to? Yeah, it's okay, oh. so they see these corners at the end of the street. He's, he's too big to fit into the tunnels. Oh, good eyes. Ah. These guys. <laughs> these guys are really intense. They're really speedy up. Oh, wait, I have special techniques. Uh, you do. Stun knife. Does stun knife actually stun them? Uh, I accidentally just... called the shot. <laughs> okay, well, I guess just sell all your stuff now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can. Oh, the rupees are... Okay, I thought the rupees were more rare. What do they actually give you in terms of bonus? Defense. Defense, up. Defense is good. Oh, it's hard to say no to any of these buffs. But I will. Do you get you get amethyst Wait, and oh, yeah, I have hundreds. Okay, yeah, and these aquamarines so frequently. Yes, I don't have enough money to actually buy something. You should get a health then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be that would be kind of peak. These block views a bit Celeste. -y. Yeah, we're getting to Celeste. It's like this very well lit kind of retro mm -hmm. look. This is a uh, like 32 bit, I would say. Celeste has some 32-bit stuff with its... I want to learn better at the difference between 16 and 32-bit, because those are like my favorite visual like eras and stuff. They're, they're really, really nice. Oh, I'm spending so much on being bad at the game. <laughs> I'm spending so much money at these health things. Okay. Now. Do they... Oh, I thought he just rushed out. There we go. I think Wait. They're, they're definitely, I think, a, an enemy you have to... Unless they get stuck. I think you have to use time. Up on them. Or stun knife. It looks like or they have a particular knife. weakness. Oh, did it? Yeah, it said destroy, and then they died. I did notice you one shot them. <gasps> oh, those bubbles are such good bubbles. They have like three colors inside them, and a nice sound effect. There we go. See, that's pretty nice. Having an mm -hmm. enemy particularly weak to that is a uh, kind of hot shit for game design. I think, I think games that make you switch and use all your weapons are pretty much always good games. I'm sure there are examples, but... I think the only one I know of is, like, Doom Eternal. Oh. Like I've been wanting to play Doom. Doom. I don't think I'm going to do it this year. I've heard Doom is really good at linear level design. Yeah. Which is a lost art, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I was wondering what yokai these green guys are. Chupacabra! Yeah, they do look like chupacabras. I thought they were just um, gator I do dudes. have to say, um, Six is kind of the oddball in that it's the least Japanese inspired. Oh! Toho out of them all. Um, starting with seven, you start drawing on like Sakura imagery. Eight is eight is about the moon, which of course Japanese that's gonna be Japanese. A, well, I mean, it's not exclusively Japan, but like Japan has a lot of lunar right. imagery. Right. If you have the option to use lunar imagery and that are Japanese, you have plenty to choose from. Yeah. There's quite a lot of Chinese imagery for the moon. That's true. Oh. We all share the moon. Let's see, what else? Um, actually, 9 is not very Japanese. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. It's got the Sanzu River in it. Oh, I'm gonna die. You wanna use that healing thing? Honestly, no, but I really have to. <laughs> I'm just walking around and I spend like all my life savings. On like half of a heal? This game's kind of stingy. Get better. I have to get use, better. Use time stop more. I know, it's literally, it's just, yeah, this is my combat, done. Combat requires time stop, that's what they balanced it around. Yeah. <laughs> Not just the fumbles. Yeah, yeah. This song's so good. It's actually, oh, I always thought it was called Viola, the magic library, but it's just called Voila. Voilà. Oh, uh, Voilà. I don't know. Voila, the magic library. We're off. Um, yeah. Okay, um... We're going up. Oh, get these guys. Yeah, these guys confuse me at first, but they are they are more green nonsense. The green, yeah, the green aura don't really win. Time not stop. Does Toho do like strictly colored stuff? Like blue always does this, yellow always does. No. Oh, because not at all. Because Undertale and Luna Knights seem to. Yeah. Well, there's no mechanic like this in Toho. Okay, that's true. There's no time stop. I think um, the closest you get to like. Color variation, I want to say, is um, like the difference between player shot and uh, yeah. Okay, so just stay in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is an upgrade. See. Good eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll work on him. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, hey, there's another instant kill. That did look like instant. What is this? You got a grip knife? Oh, wow! That's excellent! Oh, that's huge! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's very cool. That's way better than a simple jump upgrade. Oh my gosh. That is a gigantic change for the game. How to defeat a mid boss to do that? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> usually mid bosses, um, they don't usually give you stuff, but um, sometimes they drop an extra life or sometimes they drop a bomb. Hmm. She's pretty chill as they go. It's kind of funny because Sophia in stage six, she's like, I'm going to make you use a bomb on me. Mm -hmm. And then she drops like a bomb. <laughs> and you defeat her. Thank you. So that's kind of like even if you use the bomb on her. That's very sweet. Oh. Streamer was sad Doom Eternal's weapon cycle philosophy was wasted on Doom. Expect a more straightforward boomer shooter experience. Conta, constant having to use each part of your kit was frustrating. Oh, see, I was kind of wondering if you could go too far the other direction. Maybe the straightforward boomer shooter is like, take a gun you like and just use it the whole game. Call of Duty. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I mean, it's like the opposite of Breath of the Wild, but mm -hmm. it's pretty much like... People complain about how, like, the breakable weapon system means that you can't use one specific weapon the whole game, but if you have one strategy you like using, you can just rinse and repeat it the entire game, and then you don't use the other 20,000 options you have at your disposal that they wasted the game on. Um. My, er my early content creator cycle snark era. <laughs> but may, may I never grow on snarky, but I probably won't be this mean <laughs> and prideful in the future. I don't know, um, let's see. Oh yeah, and this is a difficult part. Oh, uh, chainsaw. Uh-oh! Oh, uh-oh! Oh. Just run away. Oh, oh. maybe it's not instant. Well, it's fun to hurt him. <laughs> See, that one looks so instant. There is no yeah. damage. Maybe there aren't instant kills, and it's just like if it does enough damage, it like it just kills them. Yeah. Get him some notifications from the Discord. <laughs> Gang. Mobo dofu. People, cl people crawling out of the back rooms to watch the stream. Please watch the stream. <laughs> oh, kind of a framing expectations thing, yeah. Only one candelabra is lit bothers me. Like, there should be a way to light the other one. Yeah, I hear what you mean. There's some candelabras uh -huh. in here that aren't lit. Yeah. At Doom 16, you're constantly cycling guns for ammo with weaknesses, but in turn, you have to use the chainsaw for ammo. And you have to use fire for armor. You have to glory kill for health. They don't drop anything otherwise. You can only use what's in the environment. Oh, it's kind of extra. Yeah, that is. That's a bit rough. Though I will say, um, Toho 12 is a bit like that. Uh -huh. Um, there's a UFO system, which are like random projectiles that you collect. Mm -hmm. And if you get, um, there are three colors. There's red UFOs, blue UFOs, and green UFOs. And if you collect three red ones, you get a something that'll drop a life piece. Uh -huh. you'll, get a, you'll get a summon that drops a life piece. If you summon a blue one, you get just a massive increase in score. Uh, Ow! Oh, it's got decked! After very, very carefully using a knife to get through that. Yeah, and if you use, uh... Oh, fuck these things. Fuck these things. I can't even tell which is which right now. <laughs> if you, um, do a green one, you get a bomb piece. A bomb piece, yeah. Bomb piece? <laughs> yeah, so knife pieces and bomb pieces are like... If you collect a certain amount, they become true extra lives or extra bombs. Okay. But, um... Yeah. Or if you get... If you don't match like three of a kind, then you get a rainbow UFO, mm -hmm. I think. Oh no, sorry, if you get one of each, you get a rainbow UFO. I'll take a rainbow UFO any day. Those are like the really, they're kind of like balanced UFOs. They give a lot of score, oh. I remember. I'm paralyzed. Video off, that's bad. <laughs> it might be, it might be Wi-Fi. Typically we don't have the stream get to the point of off. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, okay. I think it's your Wi-Fi, Juno. I, I hate to say. I hate to say. 
I, I, have, I have terminally diagnosed your Wi-Fi. <laughs> I diagnose you with bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> this is huge. <coughs> this is like the only platforming thing we're gonna need, really. What's this well, room? Well, I mean, it does use up your time because you got to throw. That's true. I guess you don't have to throw the knives and stops time, but yeah. But we have the ability to get as high as we want yeah, now. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got time limits. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, in the hallway, in the hallway. Nah. Okay. Eternal clock, amount of time. Ooh. Wait, what did they just say? Did the it just get upgraded? Amount of time you can, yeah. Get Motherfucker! I told you, you should have gone in the hallway. Me over judging my ability in Toho of all things. It's okay, it happens Shit. to us all. Shit. Let me, let me. Yay, okay. <laughs> At least we didn't lose that much progress. Damn, I have to rewalk the whole thing with all those, all those guys. All the boys. All the boys, by which I mean the little willow wisps. Oh shit. Go. <laughs> Does it say magic for now? I don't actually know, but I know that it's cool. I was hearing that voice in my head later. It does. Hmm. Or something similar. Yeah, some know. magic for something. I think I think that that character right there is from uh, Toho Seven with Daft Punk. I think this is the Daft Punk girl. <laughs> the Daft Punk is there a DJ girl? I don't know. That'd be cool. So wait, if these things can move in soft time, mm -hmm. how do I hit them? <laughs> auto, auto, I guess. Oh, because oh, auto doesn't give a fuck. Auto goes through walls. Okay. Sweet. You've unlocked a new tech. This is actually, this is like, each kind of spare weapon works well on different ones. Yeah, and that is definitely good game design in my mind. Especially in a Metroidvania where it's damn easy to change your weapons. It's just more fun that way. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, I, didn't, I didn't spend 40 bucks just to use one weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really funny that I think that's a meme in fighting game community. It's like, I didn't spend so and so dollars to block. Mm hmm. Dang. The best part is that my ethernet is plugged in. Oh. Yeah, once oh that God. happens and the Wi-Fi is not working, it's like, oh, God doesn't like me very much. Like, it's just so unfortunate. All right, yeah, fuck this guy. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, oh no, it's not me. Oh, yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Look at that. Big chainsaw damage. Chainsaw. So we're going up above 100, maybe? Yeah. Eternal, Eternal clock. clock. Time increase, yeah. It's going up 120? 115. 115. That's very stingy. stingy. <laughs> We've only gotten one of these power ups. You can buy one in Toy Shop. Oh, for the the cheap cheap price of, of a nine nine thousand dollars. Of a billion yen. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about that with one of my friends. Like, if you're a billionaire in America, that's like morally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a billionaire in Japan, that's that's still egregious, but it's not like the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, wait, what is a billion yen in dollars? It's like a million? Um, like 10 million. 10 million. Yeah. No, is it? Yeah, it's a billion. Like 10, 10 million dollars. What? Um, because we use, we use like. It's probably even less. It's probably like 6, six million because of the exchange. Right. Uh, that's, that's, that's exactly right, yeah. Um, what it's do still you. still a lot of money. Because, like, in, in, w w I guess with dollars, or maybe this mm -hmm. is like other cultures too that have currency that's like a similar. They don't. They don't bother with this weird cent thing. Yeah, like like um, what if? Oh, so 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 what? Ah, so in the way that we have billionaires, what, what, what do we use for yen as points of income? You know what I mean? Like like are there, are there like quadrillionaires? Like what, what is an interesting? What is an interesting decimal of yen? Oh, well, it's to reach. I think it's different because in Japan, instead of using like the thousands, like you have three zeros. The base one thousand before commas. Right, right. They have mon, so they they do four zeros per. Mon, right. So it's, it's probably right. like. Oh and oh oh ichi 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 yeah, ichi yeah, 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 yeah. Icho. What is it? Cho. Cho is like tree. No. Oh god. I, I bet I bet yeah. it is ichioku yen and then cho that are like interesting. Because like million billion are interesting. Having a thousand dollars is not interesting in there's America. Actually, yeah. There's one character in um, Toho, the first game. Her name is Kongara, which means like an impossibly high number to count. There's like, it like oh. actually means something. Hold on. Let me look it up because she's one of my favorite characters. Her sprite is totally ripped off. The first game, <laughs> a lot of the early PC98 has like just artwork that's just been ripped off of other things, but this is what she looks like. 
She looks, I mean, she looks actually well drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Zoon. Um, your early art is not, it's better than what I can draw right now, but. It's not peak. Yeah. We've not yet arrived at peak. I've really augmented my vocabulary with peak and slay. <laughs> I decided to uh, <laughs> just join the moment. Ow. Oh, we die. <gasps> you asshole lizard! <laughs> Puts me in a corner and just takes my lunch money. Okay, chat, let's watch me do the entire thing again. Do you have to get the time stop? Oh, you do. You have to get the extended time. We're getting the Jack Skellington levels of stingy on the saving here. We have entire levels of the Nightmare Before Christmas Metroidvania where you can't save, and you have to just rewalk shit all the time. Oh, that's rough. Damn. I mean, things get quick once you get good, but... God forbid I got good at a Toho game. No one ever likes to do that, right? Everyone likes to play casually. <laughs> um, fuck this bitch. Fuck this game. Get, get, get out of here, you asshole. <laughs> seen you too Another many times. Another one, her anger arc. <laughs> I, I, for one, am ready for disaster melt. <laughs> wow. The, the fan and <laughs> terminology is evolving in front of my eyes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, the o Owen Wilson, wow. 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 That is not how Kabe Don works. Yeah, you're right, Norian. <laughs> you tell him. Even, even like normal Kabe Don, I'm kind of like consent. <laughs> what? What? Well, well, well. There are ways to consent to Kabe. There's always ways to consent. <laughs> Spe speaking for people who, speaking for people probably far kinkier than me, there are always ways to gauge consent consciously between two parties. Okay. There are always ways to communicate. But that trope is enough, it's like always the high school That's true, guy. you're right about that. Always the high school guy. Oh, okay, always. wait, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I have seen maybe one MF Cape Don, even like in a meme in my entire mm -hmm. life. The idea is kind of nauseating, actually. Sorry, should I say that publicly? <laughs> The idea of a man caveating a woman is like, what are you talking about? Like, why? Who is this girl for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I, I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't get the fucking point of that. I do not get the fucking point you're, of you're that. You're all about the women caveating. Yeah, it doesn't make it, it doesn't, I mean, men already caveat on women, like, geopolitically. <laughs> not... Socioeconomically. Socioeconomically, yes. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't, geopolitically, the country of women, we don't need that. Like, it's not appealing. It's just trans <laughs> Stand for the transgender anthem. <laughs> we are geopolitically being caveat on. Hello, Transylvania. Hello, <laughs> Transylvania. <laughs> I think, I think you just tapped into one of the best memes in this entire channel. <laughs> we love so Transylvania. Bad. I mean, it's. I mean, speaking of the tr transnational anthem, for some reason, Bridget's theme is like. It's always a joke on Bridget's theme. This I'm telling everyone, stand for the transnational anthem. <laughs> it's like, okay. I do love. Um, I talked about this last stream, but I bought Plus R. Yeah. Um, which is. I, I joined the Discord, the community. The community is actually really nice. Oh. Um, and I was like, I was really scared to like make my first post. And I was like, I've never really played fighting games. Like, how do I learn? And I was They're also like, like, I can't really do online matches because my internet sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're like, it's fine. Don't worry. Single player is fine. You can learn stuff in single, even in single that's player. That's fun. I was like, okay, that's good. That's pretty but nice. They were like, yeah, just jump in and like see which character clicks. Already dead. That whole bit needs to be a clip. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get Melovania clips. We're gonna get Melovania cancelled. <laughs> I'm not doing more heterophobia. <laughs> so stop time. Oh shit, stop. Shit, shit. I sure, I sure tried for the fact that I had a full gauge. I sure tried for the fact that nothing came out. Wow, that would have sucked. That would have been like the longest possible. Yeah, you're right possible. next to the save. That would have been the longest possible run back. I will say those runbacks got quicker and quicker every time, yeah. which cannot be said about the Nightmare Before Christmas Metroidvania. <laughs> the, is it just like slow move speed? Or? It's, just, it's just normal. It's just a game that needs more save. Like this game you can go through really quickly once you get good and it makes you want to get good naturally. That game is just a normal slow paced Metroidvania that you should never have to redo certain parts of. Yeah, Toho is very much like that because it usually runs are 25, 30 minutes. But, um... Bullet hells are wild. I, I, I feel like I'm meeting even more of my short genre cousins lately. Yeah. 
Um, it's because it's a really short run. I mean, compared to fighting games. Fighting games are so short, but... In terms of the actual, like, matches, I'm always surprised when I watch a fighting game match. <laughs> um, but the thing is, uh... What am I talking about? But, like, because it's so short, you can, like, get that perfection needed to clear it. Yes, that makes sense. I think Max has given me some music to listen to. I fixed my Ethernet. Hey, do you know? Congrats. Hey! I just had to turn on and off. Yeah, it's always the on and off thing. I'm gonna blame the town that we grew up in on that because I used to have the same problem when the I lived in my mom's house. Oh? Huh? <laughs> That's for the same. Oh. The, the town inside me. What is that? What does that refer to? Um, okay, so Bridget's lore is really crazy. Oh. It's very weird. So she was born as part of a set of twins. And by the way, I don't think her twin ever shows up. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, I, They're just kind of mentioned as like part of ah, her motivation. I was and pretty plus happy. R, because I've, play, I've been playing Bridget's story despite my... I'm super bad at Bridget. Bridget oh. is like super high IQ. Oh, really? Oh, that's a bummer. I'll, I'll talk about it later. But like, Bridget's story is like, um... She left her town because like there's a superstition that twins, if they're the same... Um, oh, we want it everything gender, back here now. If they're the same, like if they're born, both born boys, uh -huh. then like one of them has to die, or they'll like they like have to kill one, or give them. Oh up. my! Yeah. Well, I mean, they like just they can't live in the same household. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it will invite bad luck and stuff. Oh no! And so the parents raise Bridget as a girl. Mm -hmm. Um, and so her first story in plus R. Is basically her trying to live as a boy to like prove the superstition wrong. Huh. And she's like, I'm gonna become a bounty hunter, I'm gonna bring money and stuff to my village. No woman has ever done this. Um Yeah, well it, it's like the I don't I don't know why she thought that. But <laughs> well, I blame the writers, I don't blame the Bridget. It's I think like mostly it's like she's trying to show that she can be successful even as a boy. And like <laughs> like she, so she tries to live as a boy. That's good. Um, and then I think in Strive, she's like, you know, even though I'm living as a boy, this doesn't, like, fulfill me. Mm -hmm. And, like, her trying to come to terms with that, like, if she does identify as a girl, then, like, that kind of proves the superstition, right? But uh... but then, like, her Strive is like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, like, let external factors decide how I live. Yeah, not your gender. Also, sorry, I just realized that this, this area right here... <clears throat> wait, I gotta, I gotta go back. Um, get out of here! Anyway, so this is all to explain that her um oh, this her was, theme song. This was accessible back when I had double jump. That's that's oh non-linear. Okay, yes, the town inside of her. Yeah, because so so the superstition is the town superstition, and so like the town inside of her talks about like um like her feeling. It's basically dysphoria. It's about dysphoria, uh... but like it's kind of, like the town insider is referring to like the superstition that like makes her feel like she should live as a oh. as a guy. <gasps> More knives. A knife. The Just number one. Of knives. Okay, <laughs> you got Just one knife. Nah, no, she she's got many knives. Wait, okay, when you pause time, how many knives do you have now? Pause time. Cause you had twenty one before. Twenty one. Um, so oh okay, you got three knives. Oh, I have a. I didn't know I had a counter for knives. <laughs> Cause it also charges down. It, ch it charges me on. This is a game it of economics. You a lot, yeah. yeah, it charges me on time and it charges me on this time. People who actually know Bridget's story because I've, I've played very little. Can you can you confirm or deny? This is the final boss right here. This is definitely the final boss. Yeah, we're gonna come back here later. It's an unopened gate. Yeah, that'll be the final boss. I can picture that. So then where do I go? Um. Oh, I know. Cause I'm good at Metroidvanias. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Oh! <laughs> Chainsaws were never part of the Metroidvania job description. They have a pretty rough arc. Chainsaws? Oh, oh. I thought you meant in the arc of gaming history. I'm like, yeah, chainsaws used to have it a lot better than they do now. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches used to love the chainsaws. Golden, the golden age of chainsaw is over. Is over. <laughs> 2007. 2007 was like, everybody <clears throat> loves chainsaws. I've heard a little bit of Bridget story now. Anyway, okay, so Bridget is actually really difficult to play in Plus R. That's a bummer. Um, because she has to... She has, like, yo-yo movement. Oh! It's it's very complex. You have to set your yo-yo, and then, like, you can roll to it. But the way you throw your yo-yo changes based on each direction input you put in. Um, and it, like... It's, it's very crazy. Um... This is new? This is new. I, I think it is. I don't think... Well, no, I think you've been here before. How's that? 
Yeah. Wait, I think we I think we were at this place and we were like, we don't know how to get through this. <sighs> I don't think any of these would interact with the environment. Yeah. What is this box doing that nothing I have yeah. can break? <laughs> what am I gonna get? Like a box cutter? Like... I don't know, maybe you'll get a flamethrower. <laughs> Maybe so. I mean, we've already got all of our movement covered at this point, so we might just get a flamethrower. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Bridget, yeah, she, okay, she's, oh, she's really difficult. Um, yeah. she, she doesn't... Okay, she has really low damage and really low health. Oh, that's a bummer. So she's like... I've, I don't know. I've heard it described as people like, Bridget's too fair. Too fair. Like, in a game where everyone has unfair damage options uh -huh. and mix-ups, like, Bridget is just, like, she just plays too fairly. Like, so it's, like, very high skill ceiling, too. I think so. With yeah. the with the yo-yo tech. It seems like a lot of characters I've heard of in Guilty Gear have really high skill ceilings. Like, so. uh -huh. Bedman has his own tech, I think, and that kind of thing. Like, there's not a lot of characters Bedman's in games. actually not in plus arc. Oh, I see. So, but from what I've heard in Strive, from what I've heard in Strive, he has his own complicated mechanics that make him kind of kind of deep. I have no idea. I don't know Strive. <laughs> I barely <laughs> play plus R. <laughs> me and Juno had a phase um, uh -huh. when I was working on my, my my relationship with Smash, where we played uh -huh. a ton of uh, Daisy and Peach in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and they have some of the highest tech ceiling of anybody because they're kind of similar to Bridget, where like they don't do a ton of damage like with their individual moves, but they have lots of small moves and weird stuff. Basically, long story short they have an insane combo game because they have their own item they can use to juggle and like restart combos so it, basically the more you put in the more you get out but you know at first it's just like these basic slaps and like throwing turnips but once you get good it's just like <laughs> like they i think at this point they've probably fallen down in the meta game but just for that alone they started off as like some of the highest damage output in the whole game when the first game the game first came out um, so we were playing a lot of that, and it feels like trans girls are being asked to have very high skill ceilings, which is kind of fair, because I think we're a good demographic for that. <laughs> I think we're a good demographic to be asked to get very technical with characters that we like. It's very interesting, yeah. Very girly, high skill ceiling characters well, actually feel very, say, very gender. The most impressive Bridget player I've seen is this guy called Mahoko. Maho, give it up or transition. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're trans. <laughs> um, give it up or transition, Maho. But, um... Every time I see them play, right, mm -hmm. um, they are usually when they're at tournament and playing. They're usually in cosplay. Oh, huh. so, like they cosplay. They've cosplayed like love like characters and, <laughs> and, and like a Astolfo. Okay, okay, you're you're, you're allowed. Um, you're allowed. Probably Astolfo. Probably. Um, so yeah. So, but Mohoko's Bridget is just absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, um, this is crazy. <laughs> For which, uh, which version of Guilty Gear? For plus R. Plus R. I don't, I'm, I'm not on the strife scene right now. Yeah, I see plus R specifically. Because I think she's actually a... She, I, I don't know. I think she's actually a pretty good character in strife. Oh good. They didn't put out a mid-tier, change all of our lives, and then move on with their day. Um, yeah, well, she's a DLC. No. So. That's well, they didn't smash. They they put out these mid tier DLC characters that people waited their whole lives for, like Sora and Banjo oh. Kazooie, and then just like move on. I kind of want to dip into Strive for Testament. Testament yeah. was the first like social, so <laughs> social justice guilty gear character that made me like, oh, what's this game? Testament's very cool. I'm not. Too Testament does a lot of traps though in Plus R. It's very weird. Uh, mind games. Like, yeah, well, you're constantly, like, she's, or they set invisible traps. Invisible traps? Like, like you'll see them set it, uh -huh. but then, like, the, the actual, like, sprite, you'll know where it is, but you, like, it's just not visible mm. <laughs> until you activate it. Just like ink mines. But yeah, that's that's been my foray into... Oh, GG. GG. No. <laughs> no, to accuse everyone of being an egg, just saying Rin Senpai was just cosplay for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not to accuse everyone of being an egg, but Rin Senpai. <laughs> that's, a re that's a reference to the low live community. There was this really popular, or still is this really popular YouTuber mm -hmm. who was like a crossdresser yeah. and like. It's absurdly beautiful person, just absurdly beautiful. And years and years and years went by. And I'll tell you, I left the Love Live community. I mm -hmm. met my friend who's in the Discord named Nico at summer camp in, uh, you know, up in the woods out in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, 
they read. So I, I didn't think that anybody could tell that like my camp like persona, all of my fashion and all that stuff was based off of like one of my favorite gotcha characters. But <laughs> they were like my kryptonite. They yeah. were they're this, they're younger than me and they grew up on the streets of gotcha Twitter. And <laughs> they locked into me so hard. The streets and we of had, gotcha Twitter. Yes, and we had a conversation you would not believe. I was being interrogated in front of my friends about everything I've been through in my twenties. Like we were talking about we were, we were talking a mile per minute. And I mentioned uh-huh. Rin Senpai, and I, meant, I used a he pronoun, and then they were like, she, and I'm like, you're kidding! And then all my friends lost it, like, who the fuck is this person you both know? But yeah, long story short, like, for years and years and years, Rin was like, don't pressure me about gender, I don't know about gender, stop. I leave for like two years, and yeah, she's a trans woman. <laughs> I, I don't think people should be pressured about their gender, I completely understand the, the whole thing there, but it was just like... Yeah, it was just like this person's whole life was like putting on a, like a very, very womanly persona, and I that doesn't mean you it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it surprised nobody when it happened. I think Finn just came out. I was about to say yeah. I very recently was talking to you about Finster because yeah. I used to love the, the um, gender study abroad joke, but now I can't make that joke anymore. I can't make it anymore. <laughs> but no, I like I, I kind I, I hope I don't sound like I'm being like you know, like, PC, polite to, like, non-binary people. Like, I genuinely don't think people should be pressured into being binary trans. It's quite dangerous, actually. <laughs> quite dangerous. I wrote my thesis about it. Because, like, being binary trans is backed by so many, like, medical and social and political. Like, it's just kind of this, like, degree of acceptability that no other kind of trans can get. So when people end up being, like, the only way to be valid is to be binary and full op is that super fucking dangerous mentality. It's very dangerous. So definitely don't pressure people. And we need a blue key. <laughs> we need a blue key. We don't have a blue key. Or am I mistaken? Maybe this is just a normal door. Yay. Is this... Is, is this Rin Taisho? Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that's Rian. That's Rian. Oh, yeah. She does look cute. Yeah, she's really fucking beautiful. <laughs> Damn it, this is actually a blue I'll door. I'll save this for later. I can't watch this on stream. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get blushy. Um. Do I? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, yeah. Um. Wait <coughs> a second. This is, uh, I need a blue key. Where are the doors? I'm so good at Metroidvanias, I said. Um. <laughs> Where are the doors? Oh crap, there's a door all the way over there. Oh, I shouldn't have backtracked. Oh crap. Well, at least backtracking has been so fun. Okay, here's my getting a pulse type feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It is really fun. This is, here's a fun um, Tohovania thing. Backtracking gets you gooder. Backtracking is like grinding. Backtracking gets you better at the game. So it fits the whole Toho loop of getting better and everything goes faster. Each time you backtrack, everything okay. goes trick, uh, quicker, which is an even more toho y thing. And it's even more fun because the action is just really good in Team Ladybug games. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, I'm thinking. I have to expound. Yes, I have to expound, <laughs> little Willowbus. Quantum Leap has a non binary character played by a non binary performer in the main cast. We need this. I need more non binary characters. They're, they're growing. Be patient. 2026, they'll be everywhere. <laughs> 2026 is gonna be my year. Yeah. No, um, I think Karina Bettiger, the VA for Paimon, is a uh, non binary. Cool. Uh, Which was very cool. Oh no. <laughs> don't get stung off. I know, right? Um, it's kind of sad though, because, like, their voice, their initial voice for Paimon was so much better. Oh, that was so much calmer than it is now. Huh. And I, I think it's because like the actual Genshin devs or some someone told them to make it like more screechy. Oh, jeez. Which is really sad because I really, I really enjoyed Paimon's initial voices and her initial reading is Paimon, not the, not Karina. Yeah, <laughs> not this poor person. Right, but Paimon's initial writing was like a lot more like she actually seemed like a guide. And now she's kind of like, what's that? <laughs> One of those fellas. Yeah. Why not? Destiny is a non-binary character. Oh, why did you stop playing <gasps> Destiny? Just like for, for gameplay reasons? Or did you like emotionally move on to Warframe? You know Warframe. I do know Warframe. <laughs> that, that super grindy suit game. <laughs> it does Next sound a bit game. grindy. Juno's taught me a lot about it. It does sound a bit grindy. 
but it makes the mech sound valuable. You can, you can just stop time and walk over them. If I step on their heads and die. Good cat, thank you. Um, <laughs> it, it is nice when uh, any difficulty or overthinking can be solved with as something as simple as stop time. <laughs> that means that yeah. the game is designed really well. Um... Yeah, see, th th there's part of me that used to be, like, a shiny hunter and, like, really, really love grinding for rare things. That makes Ooh. me hear... Fuck this bubble. Fuck your shit! Uh, that makes me hear about the warframes and how valuable they are and go, like, ooh. <laughs> that looks cool. Yes. No, one of my friends plays Warframe, and a couple of my friends do. Um, and anyway, uh, you should just ignore them. I want EXP. Uh, oh, no, I already leveled up. I think you're right about this. Yeah, I should ignore them. Um, but... Hey, we made it! <laughs> that, that man is always grinding. Oh, really? Speaking of not trying to read everyone as trans. <laughs> that friend of yours in real life. That friend of... Not in real life. Like, we only know each other, like, through Discord. Oh, um, okay. But one of my in, in real life friends, like, does know them. And they've oh. met, so... Um, anyway... They... Uh, they play Strive, and their mains are Testament and Bridget. Oh! And I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calling them out right now. <laughs> this, has become, this, this stream has become like a salon of assigning people trans. Right. This door is also blocked by the blue key, but no, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up. Oh, wow. This voice is so cool. This voice that announces everything is adding so much to the game for me. It's so cool. Warframe is paradoxically less grindy than Destiny. That's a lot of grinding, then. <laughs> I will say, I have been watching a couple video essays about kind of the state of AAA gaming and how dominant, like, the grinding shooter is, like, the loot shooter where you're shooting and grinding and shooting and grinding constantly, kind of like the post-Destiny games. That is a big genre right now. Games where you just kind of shoot and get items and grind and do events and raids, like, all the time. It's weird, because, like, um... Um, so I grew up in my childhood playing Maple Story. Yeah, it's, that's so time. that fits you so well. I like that. Right? That's, that's a cute vibe. I, mean, I love. I, I really liked uh, Evan, the cloud, the dragon tamer class. Cool. Which says so much about my my D and D preferences and wanting to always have an animal companion. Oh. Um, yeah. But. Yeah. It's yeah, happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. The mannequin. If you stop time. Yeah, do you agree? Oh, they don't activate until you get near them. Okay, we can still stun knife them. Stun knife. But this is, you know what's happening, right? Yeah, yeah we're in danger yeah. now. Gotta save this for the Ooh. box. Those knives are cool. Good sound design. Yeah, Shred those guys. I want their jobs! <laughs> I'll just do auto. Um, but, what was I saying? Something about Maple Story. I mean, Maple Story's really gone downhill with the grinding, but like, uh, it's always been a very. All of them are going to animate. I don't know what to tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I didn't see them. I didn't see them. Wait. Oh, I can do like the, the mini time stop. What? Yeah, I can do a mini time stop. It's tech that I haven't used since we started the game. What? What is it? It's like I charge. I hold down B. It looks like it's not using my meter. I guess it's like it's a mini time. Stop. Oh, that's probably like her innate ability without the. Yeah, it helps. This is, <gasps> I've seen this scene so many times. Have you? Isn't he Tony the boss? Oh, no, no, you don't know. No, you know who the boss is. It's Patchouli. Yeah. <laughs> my friend just saw- My friend just saw all the stuff that my kids gave me for oh. teaching. We meet again, human. Me, Tony, again. You're always working hard to collect jewels. Yeah, she's sus. I've been wondering for a while. But what do you plan on doing with all of those jewels? See? Hmm. Even Sakuya. Sakuya's genre savvy. Genre savvy. These jewels are crystallized MP. Possessing uh -huh. them will improve your powers. Oh, so that's, that's the in-universe reason for their buffs. Oh, okay. That's the first time I've heard of that. No, we've told you, Sakuya. Yeah, we have. Huh? What? R really? You didn't read the menu descriptions? Maybe I forgot to tell you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm so glad we finally learned that right before the stage 3 boss. <laughs> You can check what kind of power a jewel has on the shopping screen. We did know that, yeah. Having the jewels improves my powers, isn't it better to not sell them? No, it's better to sell them and buy items. No, the items suck! <laughs> yeah, your items kinda suck. It only proves your power a little. I think you just want to do business. 
No, no. you're wrong. <laughs> the double exclamation mark. <laughs> it is a very cute mecha. It is. It's Luigi. Like, have you seen Mommy Shiba? No, I don't think so. Okay, it, it reminds me of Mommy Shiba. <laughs> Oh, and Mame Shiba, like it's like a bean dog. Yeah. I can picture that. Well, there's kind of like animal. an animated thing with Mame Shiba. I can kind of picture that creature. Oh, this music's going. Wait. We're getting a phone, but not a juice? Oh. Oh, okay, it's just a remix part of the. Vole. Yeah. Oh, those auto aims. They go through walls, right? Yes. But I'm too poor. You gotta grace. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's how you get. That's how, escape, that's how you escape poverty in real life. <laughs> By grazing. Yes. Grazing By against. Stopping time and grazing. Grazing against the wealthy and privileged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna grace and see you later. Bye. Okay. What the fuck are we gonna do? What the fuck? What the fuck? What it's the, water. What the fuck are we getting? We haven't had a water puzzle in levels. What do we do? Um. Um. Holy crap. So what? So if I. Fr I don't know what you're supposed to do. This is intense. This is the way for it. Though. It is, and I, I've been led here clearly. Is oh, an well, maybe you have to do a ton of displacement freeze time. And then... <laughs> that would be ridiculous. That's really fast. No, like like the water physics were like you you have them up and down. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How much can I splash? I don't know. Oh, we're splashing a lot now. Yeah. I don't know if you can do it enough though. Let's see. That would be kind of silly. That would be kinda, yeah, that would be like the most jank way to solve this puzzle. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. <laughs> No, I'm stuck. Yeah, the jank, the jankness tends to tends to not be the way. Yeah. Um, Wait, can you put one of those grip knives under the thing? Oh, maybe. Let's might as well try. I have like no gas. Uh. Oh no, it just goes through. <sighs> that was weird. <laughs> okay. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> You still get frozen. She falls like a fucking rock. I'm gonna break her legs accidentally. Don't worry, she can she can handle it. Yeah. There's a fan in theory that um Sakuya used to be a vampire hunter. That makes a lot of sense. Right. That and makes then, a and lot then, of and sense. And then she like met Romelia and Romelia kinda schooled her. Oh my god. And she's like, okay, I'll be your maid now. So, oh my god. She's a depressed Belmont. <laughs> I mean they're all they're all depressed. <laughs> she has mailing She's a what? domesticated Belmont! <laughs> she has mailing, why would she be depressed? That's true, she has Mei Ling. I know who Mei Ling is. Yeah, I was looking yeah. at the designs for like uh, Tohovania, and holy Toho... crap, it was cool seeing the character yeah, designs. Yeah, Mei Ling's Tohovania design crazy. is really, really good. The colors are crazy. They're very, very goth, goth. Yeah. What the fuck do I do? It feels like I'm not understanding uh, some does, mechanic. Yeah. It's that mechanic that oh, I happened to remember <laughs> arbitrarily in the room before with absolutely zero prompting and could have easily yeah. not remembered. Right, it's this... It's that one. Oh, so you can move through water when you're using your own stuff? Yeah, I guess so. I wouldn't have known till right now, so that's fortunate. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have my plot armor is the thing, because yeah. I'm screaming. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. Oh, here we go. No, we're fine. <laughs> oh, fuck this thing. Oh, these things are such sitting ducks. They can be overwhelming, but they're sitting ducks. It's all about the placement. Mm -hmm. So cool, so cool, so cool, so cool. Fuck this thing. Fuck this line worm. As opposed to the feral Belmonts. No, they're feral. They're feral. Uh, they got that dog in them. <laughs> That's like the phrase of the week as a Mega Man. Yeah. Um, that's uh oh I have yeah, your chainsaw. chainsaw yeah chainsaw um yeah no uh the, fir the, so the first the first satisfying the, the, yeah, the first Netflix mania Trevor Ralph Belmont he is the feral Belmont he's the most feral this really Belmont feels like the lead up to a boss room <laughs> yeah we're not escaping that 
God, you know, I could have had a Castlevania video out if it weren't for copyright. I am so disappointed in that. Literally, I could have wasted my whole Sunday working on that, and I was like, wait, this isn't my hobby. My hobby isn't editing shit till it fits copyright. My hobby is making videos. I'm not doing this. I was just oh, like, the bubbles so are anti-homing. Because they'll, they'll eat your... They'll eat your... Crap. <laughs> you have to kill them one by one. Yeah. Oh, I got, that was a few right there. At least one. At least one. Out of three. Uh oh. Oh! That was painful. Yeah. <laughs> that was painful. That. that was a painful. I'm going to get more water in the bathroom. <laughs> Good call. I could throw it on break if you're going to use the bathroom. <clears throat> sure. All right, we'll be right back. Hello. I mean, probably, it's probably none of those words. It's probably some sort of euphemism. You're probably right. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's probably some euphemistic phrase. You're right. Yeah, Stand, standing on your belly. <laughs> I think that's being nervous, or maybe get, I think it's just being Hot, mad. Hadatatsu. Yeah, Hadatatsu's being mad, right? Yeah, it's being mad. Let me give you your pat back. Thank you. Gucci, Kuchini Naru. Oh no, Kubini Naru. Kubini Naru, yeah. That's what happens when you don't go to the graduation ceremony. I mean, that kind of makes sense because it's like. Yeah. I'll put your hand. Um, so, oh, are we back on stream? Yes, we are. Okay. So I did have one thought, that the next boss, is it their third boss? Um, I remember yes, the boss third of the library. boss. Third boss, yeah. The boss of the library could be someone other than Pachuli. Oh, really? I forgot, there's some other characters that are in Scarlet Devil. Um, but that we haven't seen. Oh. Um, so obviously, Romelia, Romelia has to be the final boss, right? Okay. And then is, right, is, right. is, is, is Flandre going to be the fifth one? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Flandre, I don't know. She might be locked up in the basement. She might be like the extra. <laughs> oh, okay, because she's the extra stage boss. Oh. The... So she might be like the bonus level. Okay. Um, but the other characters that we haven't seen so far are uh, the mid, the stage four, the mid stage, stage four boss. Who is also oh, it only slows time? Doesn't stop. Oh yes, it slows. Doesn't stop. So there's the the stage 
four mythos. Uh huh. Um, Kawakuma. And so Kawakuma is like a, a red devil. She's actually a red haired, like, low tier devil. Huh. It's so weird. So, the, like, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil could apply to so many characters in the game. Oh, okay. Um, but, so she couldn't be the. Because she's like the librarian's assistant. Okay. So she could also be like one of the uh, boss candidates, I guess. Okay. Um, the other option is a Chirino, which I don't think she would show up in the library, or, or Daiose. They're fairies. Okay. Uh, Rumia, who is a low level yokai with a very, very sad fan work. Oh. Um, if you guys want to cry, please read Osana Nemu. Oh. It's, it's, it's bad. Oh. That could have been a lot of damage if that it fell. Been, you could have lined them all up. Yes, if it fell to the right. So glad there's no fall damage. Uh oh. Get back in that. <laughs> get back in your get back in your safe spot. I know. Here, I'm gonna Yeah, take that and then just kick her out. Oh wait! Oh, I'm underestimating these little kids. Um <laughs> Just begin nice. my language. <laughs> oh, they'll move even in stop time. You gotta auto in. Yeah, I have no MP. Oh, but they can be they can be grinded even in stop time. Um. Oh, here we oh, go. Here's the boss room. Kind of wanna. <gasps> kind of wanna go hit the. Uh... Uh, Aku. That's Aku's voice. A powerful witch is waiting just beyond this void. <laughs> does, does that give you a clue? It's, it's patchouli. Okay. It's not money, so it's patchouli. It might be difficult with your power sealed, but don't give up. Okay, are you ready? Um, don't worry, I can already handle myself. You may not be able to stop time, but you can slow it down. I may not be able to stop time? Why not? If you use it well, you can win. Good thing I remembered this technique. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. I can use my power to stop time. Um, I wonder what's wrong. She might disable your watch. You don't need to thank me. This is all I can do. What is going on with her voice? Oh, hello. Why are you speaking to No particular reason. I was tired, so I was resting. <laughs> oh, this is not normal for Aku. Weird. <laughs> um, oh, I think I can- The Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> the, <laughs> the animatronic voice. Oh, excellent. Um, there is a there's a hallway I can go a little further down that I may yeah. as well. Maybe there's some bonus upgrade. Anything I can get. After how hard Marissa was. So with witches, you said either Mar uh -huh. Mar Marissa or Patchouli are the witches. Okay, so there there are a couple magicians in Genso Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> that went from 100 to oh, zero. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> no chainsaw. Nah, I'm gonna save my MP for those freaks. No, I'm not. It takes MP to do this. I should just yeah. use a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, you should just use that chainsaw. I forgot that knives cost MP also. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Invest in your destruction, please. A chainsaw's gotta be it. I was saying something. I can't remember. Oh, uh, the powerful wizards? The okay, magic magicians? Yeah. So there are, there are certain magic users in Good Soul Field. Oh, the ones who are explicitly magicians are Alice and Patchouli. Uh huh. And they're yokai magicians, so they're they're like immortal. Okay. Marisa is uh, her title's called the Ordinary Magician, uh -huh. and she's like very prideful that she's um like kind of. <laughs> yeah. Do your double jump knives also give you <laughs> platforms? They might. I think that's what just happened. Um, but but she's she's a human magician. Ah, I see. So she uses magic. So she's kind of a prodigy for a human. She's really not actually. She practices a ton. Oh. The young descendant of Taps. Okay, so this is that's Romelia's stage theme. Oh my gosh! So I guess, well, so here's something. <clears throat> this um, being the clock tower should be where uh, v uh v Dracula is. So it should be where Romelia is, but oh. there's that mysterious other Tori gate back in the first area that could take us to a new world. Oh, is that the extras? That's probably the extra stage. Maybe there's an extra stage. Um, I will say you do fight Romelia around like clock tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Castlevania. Okay, oh, green, key. green key. Wow, wait, if I get a blue key, where am I going? Uh, I have two different ways. It might be, it might be the blue key still takes me to the clock <coughs> tower. This seems good. 
So funny thing is I love the idea of clock towers and Castlevania has like the most famous ones, but I don't like the Castlevania clock towers that I've played. I'm like waiting for a better clock tower to come my way. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it clock- It might be- hold on, go up. Oh, oh, okay. I, I've, I've been waiting for like a, a great clock tower, but like honestly, not that that, to, you, you're, you're totally right. I, I have been like kind of let down by the ones that I've played. Ooh, MP up! Perfect. You gotta kill these guys though. Yeah, yeah. Chainsaw time. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward though. Oh, Ooh, lucky. Oh, so good. Oh. Oh, uh. unlucky. Oh, that was that pretty much a choke. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, get your shit. So. <laughs> this no, is no, so cheesy. Now I'm in a terrible. Gotta wait a little. <laughs> yeah. Fuck these guys. Oh, oh, MP. oh that's expensive. Cause it's, cause that was an awful homing. throw. Chat, cool. entertain us. <laughs> yeah, chat. <laughs> Mel just saw me glance over at the yeah the chat. The chat. I was like, how we how we miss chat. Yeah, that's good. Hey, chat, I miss you. <laughs> very uh, very Our needy girlfriend. <laughs> chat, I miss you. We don't text anymore. And I'm the parasocial one. <laughs> yeah. Today I learned that you can't be parasocial about your own chat. You Ooh, totally wow. can. Yeah, no, that, ma that makes sense. Feed me. No, oh, what are you doing? Well, see, I thought that it would be fun to die. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could walk between them on I my just, knives and graze I them. I just saw you commit suicide. <laughs> no! Oh. You did it three times. What did, did you think it would be different the second and third time? Okay, I gotta be honest. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can be a bit of a clown. Okay. I can be, I can be a bit of a klutz. I have been reflecting on my life as an action gamer and it's like, I can be a fucking klutz. <laughs> like I have sat and redone the exact same sequences so many times on stream. Like sometimes I am just not locked in. Sometimes something happens and it's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force this through and there's no thought. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's. I accept that. It'd be Die. really funny if you could stand on the chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I almost could. That's some real chainsaw. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you got a sapphire. Yes, because we're sapphire. Um, this should kill you. Chat, you can't see this, but I'm I'm judging Mel so hard right now. <laughs> non death for that pun. Oh, it was less of a pun, more of a. It's nice to say the word sapphic. It is a very nice word. I wish people said it more instead of fighting about whether people are lesbians or straight, but it's another day. It's been pretty. That's right. Some men oh, are very pretty too. too. Some, some men are pretty. Keep, keep, keep your eyes pretty. peeled, you'll see them, yeah. We're having them. We're, we're pushing back against bio erasure. We are, yeah. Don't mind me, I'm just using my knives. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing a little walk. <laughs> well, let me let me do my thing. I'm just a little guy. Yeah, um, so, so that, there you go. I think um, I'm not gonna forget that that's the clock tower, probably. Maybe I, don't I will. Think so. I might. I might forget. I probably won't. It goes up. Yeah. Okay, so we're we really just gonna do. Well, I'll do chainsaws better. Yeah, we'll do the graze. Okay, that, that was kind of worse, but. <laughs> Oh, whoa, what happened there? Can was... you just throw it straight? I don't think so. Can I aim it at all? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm holding totally down. Can. Uh, well, kind maybe of. when they're. You gotta be close. Maybe if they jump, it'll catch their heads. Here. Yes, I'll catch it on their head. That's much better. How strange. What a strange little video game we have here. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a queer little video game we have here. <laughs> My blood is splurting. Oh I'm God. rolling. Yeah. You should probably get ah! that save. Yeah, you should probably save. You oh, I should... have time. I have time. Yeah, let's go back very carefully. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Fucking fairy is frozen right there. Oh my God. Hey, oh, Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa. Hello. We're having a silly little time. 
pause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're having an interesting time. We're having a fascinating moment. We're discovering ourselves. Yeah. Exploring all of our... Um, Options. Toho videos. Yeah. <laughs> Exploring all of our combat options. Yeah. <laughs> Some to our personal pain mm -hmm. and the detriment. Our displeasure. <clears throat> this game holds up. One week later, still a good game. <laughs> Shelf life of one week. <laughs> Don't ask me next week. <laughs> yeah. I'm over. I'm over. I'm over. <laughs> Luna Nights. Remember, you, you gotta get them when they're right place. See, if all games were this satisfying to get good with, then I'd get better. At, at them, or just games in general. Uh, I guess at them, yeah. It's on them. Fuck. A knife still costs MP. Crazy world we live in. You know what? Stops. Fuck these guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> fuck you guys. Yeah, literally. Like, fuck you I'll guys. go to my own bar with with strippers and blackjack. What's well, that a reference to? Is it, oh, is it hookers and blackjack? Did I say this? No. <laughs> I'll make it's like I'll make my own club with hookers and blackjack, like strippers or something. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I'm not into. The, I don't get the stripper thing. Huh? That's cool. I mean, women pretty ass, but also. Yeah, everybody. I, I think I think people are very. I feel like the idea of buying sex is very polarizing. I think I'm, I'm comfortable saying that. I think this is this, love it or hate it. It's probably one of those things for people. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of my gut impression. I haven't tried. They will say this is. Is this, is this, is this We're even, exploring is this, the deep human psyche <laughs> of Melovania. <laughs> I will go no deeper, but I will say something. I um. Oh no, it's blackjack and hookers from Futurama. Futurama. <laughs> See, I was I was making a reference. Um. Kill by cloud of floating dead cells. My mm -hmm. random, my only story about um, prostitution is, um, <laughs> see, I, I was like, I'm gonna tell less personal things, but it's like, there's a certain thing with YouTubing where if you take out most of your actual life, you can actually get very specific and personal mm -hmm. in a disconnected way. Okay. Um, so after my first four weeks working at summer camp, obviously at summer camp, you are like being like, not not a parent, but like a big sibling the whole time, like one hundred percent wholesome, yeah, hundred percent wholesome. Have to be responsible. Yes, we're hundred percent responsible. You have to not think of anything mm -hmm. adult at all, because there's just no place for that for an entire month of your life. I mean, just like I mean, I would be so tired just talking. Right, like, just being around kids, I'd be like all my energy. I'm going to bed. Right. Yeah. So I got home. I wasn't even home. I had a hotel room. I left after five weeks of camp, just mm -hmm. pure wholesome magic. I got to a hotel room. I finally had a room to myself for the first time in a month, and my brain, I got so angry and horny, you would not believe. <laughs> I sat down in that fucking Holiday Inn, and I was overwhelmed by these animal emotions <laughs> that just did not have a place in my life as a camp counselor. And I, not due to anger, it wasn't really a thing. I was sat there and I'm like, is prostitution illegal in America? Because I would definitely buy a stripper right now. I was just oh like, God. I'm in a city, I have a hotel room, can I pay someone to have sex with me? Oh <laughs> I didn't go down that road because I think it's illegal. Um, okay. That's my story about the human psyche. <laughs> I had a, I had a hotel room and my brain was like, okay, whew, so... <laughs> All right. Interesting. Oh, okay. This looks this looks cool. Universal Studios Japan. Oh, no, it's Australia. Australia. Oh yeah, it's Australia. <laughs> but that glow reminds me oh, of right. Universal. Oh, hey, look, Studios. it's Patchouli. Okay, so Patchouli is the boss. Look at her reading her little books. Yeah, she'll probably be like, "What are you doing here?" Well, you're well, being too loud. <laughs> well, well, well. It's Miss Tumblr posts from my phone. <laughs> Saguya, you came earlier than I thought. She's so cute! It's a good talk she spray. Is very, yeah, she's like, she's in poopy clothes a lot, and she's pretty small. Hmm. As I thought, Miss Patrulli here. How is it? Are you having fun? I am having fun. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Did you create this world? It seems unlikely. It was Remy's usual request. If it doesn't exist, let's make it. Oh, can she make worlds? She's a really strong magician, yeah. I can make worlds. But I don't think she can make worlds. It's probably just for this game. Oh, I could make worlds. She summoned Kokuma. The oh. red and white shrine maiden gets upset if we try anything against. Yeah, red, red and white is basically Raymond's nickname. Raymond, yeah. Yeah, and like black and white is Marie's nickname. Oh, Marie's that. I guess since it's been so peaceful, Remy needed some excitement. 
Yeah. Okay, and torment your underlings. <laughs> Look at Sokyo just being a fucking edgelord. <laughs> <clears throat> if you would have said so from the start, I would have played along. It's no fun if we tell you. Well, you just told her. Yeah, everybody's been telling her. But the element of surprise is what makes it exciting. But this isn't exciting. <laughs> this is just a lore dump. Yeah. I have plans. Sokyo has plans. What are her plans? She wants to take mailing on a cute date. Oh. <laughs> That's totally my head cannon, but. <laughs> you might as well have some fun. That's very that's very unlike Patroli. Patroli has like asthma and she does not like activity and stuff. <laughs> I don't mind you, but is your health okay? Yeah, see? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing to worry about. Today is a good day. Maybe she's fake? Okay, so th this is a good thing about days. So Patroli is called the... I think it's the five-day magician. <laughs> or no. She, or like weekly magician or something. But it's because she controls... So in, in Japanese, right? There's like... Gesyobi, Kinyobi... I'm aware of those. Oh, a couple, so couple days of the week, yeah. Right, right, and they all have elements, and she can control those elements. Oh! So that's why... That's cool. That's why she's called the... What are the good and bad days? I don't know. Or maybe today's just a know. good day for today's activity. Day. Okay. I'll show you a bit of my true magic powers. Oh, right. dear. By the way, I oh, think... What a good animation. That is really good. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> Those rotoscope books. Wait, why? Oh my god, why was the phone girl talking about me not being able to use my time magic? I don't know, can you use your time magic? I, I, I just did, yeah, I paused. Maybe she's gonna take it away for a moment? Oh, we got waterfalls. Can I jump off this? No, it's just normal. Um, okay, what am I doing? Can I graze these just a little? Oh, she's so okay, cute! So this is a lot like a... Oh. This feels a lot like a more traditional, like, shooter, because you, you're, oh, oh, you're having to... Um, some of dragons, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it feels like more like a traditional suitor with horizontal and vertical shooting elements. Oh, because okay. those are the angles you have to use in this fight. Oh. Yeah, we're doing both. Oh, you know what? I had a crazy thought after we stopped playing last week. Look at this. This game gives you the opportunity to make your own bullet patterns. Oh. You set up all the knives. When you combine knives with time, my attacks are bullet patterns. They're waves of bullets in a way that no other action game that I've ever played is. That's really interesting. Yeah. By the way, do you have a heal? Oh, those things lost me my whole life. <clears throat> I should probably go auto for this part. Yeah. But do I even? Oh, Cause oh, it, it's tough on my, my my techniques. This seems a lot easier than uh, Marisa and so far. even Meiling. So far, yeah. I mean, like you. I'm just chipping away casually. Um, yeah, it's hard. I'm thinking... waiting for that insane second stage. Oh wait. Yeah, possible. Well done. How about this? I might not like it. I might not like it. You might not like this. More Petrolia is kind of notoriously the, like her stage is a gigantic difficulty leap in oh, six. Oh, really? Well, we yeah, have, we have it's Marissa, mostly because so. there's it's mostly because there's a section called the books, the green books, in stage four. Uh huh. And it's a really difficult. It's really difficult because it's really dense and there's a ton of randomness to it. Uh huh. And the Petrolia's fight itself is pretty easy with Grey Moon A. But it's like ridiculously hard if you play Marisa. Oh, huh. Because she's way angry at Marisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, for virtually reasons. Yeah, Can yeah, I yeah. graze the. Oh, great, great, we needed that. Ah, oh, the Spears of Justice! I love making these like inaccurate reverse Undertale references. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, I want more graze. I want more graze. Okay, what should I do? Auto? Let's try auto. Out of time. Oh, that was my big technique. Now I'm dead. Oh, oh, well, I don't need to be this dead. Now I am dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually dead. If I just take it a bit easier and uh -huh, yeah. work on the bullets, that one should be fine. Like, her health is not very intimidating. So, yeah. Sorry, Patchouli. <laughs> but you're her. She seems a lot easier than Marisa. Yeah, which is kind of fine because Marisa was quite. If, if, it, if these were all going to be like Marisa, I was kind of like internally Kaku going. <laughs> um, What do we have? I designed that the planets and this week are the same names. Yes. In a lot of languages. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, me and Ben were talking about um Golden Sun, yes. Golden Very cool. Sun. Elements made so much oh, golden sun. more sense. Yeah, when you understand the Japanese uh, like thing. Oh, because Golden Sun used them. Yeah, because well like like uh Dose Suise 
Like those mm-hmm. are those align. Like you wouldn't think Mercury is like a water element. See, that's I was talking to my friend Ben about this. He was really interested in oh. Chinese history because I was just kind of thinking like, why <clears throat> is Neptune or what is it? It's, what is it? It's Neptune is Kaiose or something yeah. like King of the Ocean. Yeah. And I was like, when did China and or Japan adopt like the idea that? neptune planet was the i'm like this is so greek or whatever what is it mm-hmm. rome sorry yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not one for greek and roman gods not a, not a classics major yeah not a classics major <laughs> one of my best friends actually was um uh-huh. but uh i don't know much and i was again I'm like, I'm like when, when did china and japan pick up on the idea of like you know king of the ocean like yeah. did it was that was that it was that like separate ideas or is it like shared but i think it just came from greek or greece or whatever i think it did because what is it? Only Jupiter? Is it either Jupiter or Saturn is the last planet that you can actually see from Earth, like oh, with really? before telescopes? Oh, like before Galileo's telescopes or whatnot. So we had to kind of share knowledge. Yeah. All right, grab water. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Golden Sun is the sequel to Lost Age RGB. Uh, yeah, Game Boy Advanced RPGs. I, um, I've never played Golden Sun, but I've watched quite a few Let's Plays of Golden Sun. I should do that. It seems really beautiful, but I've not got a lot of interest. I think maybe I'll play it someday, because it seems very fun. It feels very, like, ac- not action-y, but very, like, game feel-y. Mm-hmm. It seems very, like, tactile. Saturn, I think, is the last one. Okay. You would probably know better than I, because I don't really know that. Planets? I, I don't really know the history of ast- astronomy. No, I don't know much either. The most I know is, like, People used to think there was a planet between Mercury and the Sun. Huh. That was like throwing off orbital orbits and stuff. <laughs> um, and then Albert Einstein came along and gave us relativity. And oh, Dr. Oh, Dr. Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Wiley? I, th- I think, uh, I believe Dr. <laughs> Wiley is based on uh, Einstein. I mean, I can kind of see it. Yeah. <laughs> Which unfortunately does make me wonder about like if there are anti-Semitic stereotypes in there, but yeah. <laughs> I think Dr. Light is Thomas Edison because Light, and he looks like Thomas Edison, and then Dr. Wiley is Albert Einstein because he looks like him, and uh, they were mad at they were mad at Albert Einstein in the moment in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Do you, do you have to wonder why? why? Okay. Um, well, the more I learn about Edison, the more I'm like, fuck this guy. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, he's just from that era where everybody you would know is probably a dick. <laughs> At least in, like, American history. Wow. But Julie showed my ass. <laughs> She's like, focus. I know, right? <laughs> Don't talk to your friends. I know, no more friends. Einstein fixed up the whole Mercury problem. Yes. Did a low EXP run. Ooh. What's really cool? I feel like Elder Scrolls is, like, is a game series where we do low XP runs sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I could picture that. Especially Oblivion. Oblivion kind of gets crazy. Oblivion. Live love. <clears throat> I love her animation. It's a mega wordy game, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in the days of maybe not the most concise translation. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is Patrolling Game. I like it. It's like the lonely girl in the library, I think is the name. <laughs> she reminds me of, um... Another one of my favorite girls, uh, Mamimi from Idolmaster. She is oh, also okay. purple and uh, lethargic. And okay, very I'll be strange. honest. When I first saw that, I thought that was Jiro and no, Amira. Oh well, <laughs> that's fair because Mamimi and Jiro were like my like huge genders during grad school at the same time. They they they, they were very big impacts on like my style and everything. They both are the same bags. <laughs> Actually, actually, so I could show you the reference sheet for the Melovania avatar, and it's a lot of elements from those two. It's a few original ideas. I thought it was Jiro until I noticed the hair color. Yeah, no, she probably looks like a, like a, a Jiro offshoot, but um, there's actually more Mami Me in her than Jiro. It's just like kind of the superficial stuff is Jiro. You got the jacket. The, the radio. <laughs> yeah. Arr! Oh, so those go through time. Oh, that's why they're... They're great? Yeah, that's why they're great. What did I just do? I, when, whenever I do like a triple pause time, I'm like, what's happening? Um, can you auto? No, not on the sunlight. I want auto. I think Petrolli is really difficult um, for a lot of people because she uses a lot of crossing, crossing patterns. Yes, it's kind of pushing me, just like my um, reactions. Oh, I can't wait till you play six. I can't. I'm... Unfortunately, Toho doesn't really have multiplayer. 
but I can't wait until we do the Don Monty stream because mm -hmm. you have to play sex. <laughs> I am pretty hype. No, I think it, I don't like really need multiplayer. Just like watching each other do runs sounds pretty fun because mm -hmm. they're not fucking long, you know. They're not very long though. I gotta uh, I gotta practice quite a lot of games. <laughs> Which is it's funny you say that, you have the pressure on yourself, because I have zero pressure. Like, you could do anything, and I'd be like, that's amazing! Like, you could die, just tell me a bunch of trivia, and I'd be like, this has been very fulfilling, thank you. <laughs> oh, I, lo I love her patterns that you can graze. It's like, catch my breath. Cool. These are a lot easier to graze than I think Marty says were. Yeah, absolutely. Everything about this has been a bit of a break. I wonder if you can hit the books and destroy them. Oh, maybe? No, I don't, that doesn't look like they're taking any damage. Because, um... It would make sense. It would make sense. She should probably get even better. If you, like, you destroyed her books, that's how you... Yeah, like, act <laughs> That's not how you make her easier, that's how you make, make her, her harder. Yeah. yeah, you activate the hard phase. <coughs> um, but be really because, fun. like, destructible parts of a boss are very common in pinch books. Oh. Not in Toho, though. So. Not, not Toho. Not really. Rock, rubble, rubble, rock, rubble, rock, rubble, rubble, rock. Rada, rada. Rada, rada. Do you have rubber chowder? Vaguely. I, my, my character flaw is that my oh, family, oh. Pfft, I saw that. my family didn't like, like my, I don't know, my dad and my mom kind of like turned their nose up at a lot of cartoons that were like too like wacky or zany. Uh -huh. Like it's, I wasn't like one of those kids who couldn't watch Spongebob, but like fairly odd parents would come on and they'd be like, this is beneath you. It's like, I wonder why I was such a fucking contrarian snob. Like I think on my own, okay. I was anyhow, but I've had to go back now and be like, man, why didn't I watch this stuff? Like there was so much, like oh there was, there was my family being like, cartoons are too silly for you. But then even on my own, I was like, just such a stupid little poser back when I was like nine. <laughs> like I was just so like snobby about what I watched, but um, yeah, Chowder is one of those things like would come on and I'd be like, this isn't for me. But now I look back and I'm like, that's so funny. That's funny. <laughs> now that I'm an adult. Would you like a lollipop? <laughs> would I? <laughs> would you? Would I? <laughs> they, um, I think Chowder really, there were always like fourth wall breaks, but what sticks in my mind about Chowder? I had an episode where they ran out of budget for the animation and then they had a live action segment of them doing a car wash. I have heard of actor, I've the seen voice actor too. <laughs> yeah. That always sticks out of mind. I remember watching that on TV and being like, what the heck is this? <laughs> See, I actually I've gone back and kind of like looked at clips of stuff um mm -hmm. on YouTube. Like sometimes I'll just like watch random cartoon things and uh uh, the Amazing World of Gumball. I had like no Gumball. interest in. They they are they're all over the place with that Gumball kind of thing. Is really crazy. Gumball, I feel like is kind of being slept on because like it's not one of those cartoons from the last decade that people are like, this was so good. This is my childhood. But like it was doing so much no. for so long yeah, that I think no Gumball is my childhood. Well, oh. it's not really. It's more like my teenage film. Yeah. But um, like people talk about Adventure Time. Or, yeah. Like, um, <laughs> Unfortunately, the one of the only cartoons I actually have nostalgia for from that era is Regular Show, and it is to everybody. It is it is to everybody's detriment. <laughs> I don't. I haven't really watched Regular Show. You, you, you don't need to. You it's 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 definitely the least interesting of those three that we just mentioned. Um, so I feel like I feel like people are gonna go back and talk about Gun Gun Volt, uh, Gumball a lot in the future. I think um, what is it for me? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, Adventure Time was so good. Oh, Steven Universe. Good. Oh, right. See, because then you had, like, the, the Tumblr ones, too. Like, not just, yeah. like, the popular ones. <laughs> you had the Tumblr ones, and, and it's, like, the mainstream popular ones. And people are so ones. into them, and I'm just like, I haven't I haven't seen you. Yeah. I don't really have a particular need to see Adventure Time or Steven Universe. I, I, well, okay, maybe you don't, but I would argue that you, you would, might. <laughs> you would recommend. So, Adventure Time is something that I didn't watch much when I was a kid at all. It is one of my favorite things now. I have watched a lot of it since I met my friend Liz, who kind of got me schooled on cartoons that I uh -huh. missed. Uh, adventure Time is like a religion. Like, I'm not religious <clears throat> about Adventure Time, but just kind of like the philosophies in it. it it's, it's very healing. I think it's a, it is a very powerful show. I will okay. say that, even though it is Adventure Time. <laughs> right, well, because my experience with Adventure Time is during its early seasons, when oh. it was very, very weird. <laughs> yes. Right? So, like, the, those the, are my memories of Adventure Time. That's not a lot to write home about. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 those are really just cartoons. I do remember it had a rocking theme. I remember it's not the theme song. <laughs> yeah, Because, like, it was one. so chill in comparison to, like, Johnny Test or... That, yeah, that, that adds up. Or even, like, Spongebob. Spongebob has a pretty <laughs> intense theme song when you think about it. Those fireballs wrecked my shit. Yeah, 
Well, those fireballs destroyed those, me. Those water balls also wrecked your shit. They did. Well, they, the, those ones, you're, I mean, you're right. They finished my shit. My shit got wrecked, but they they, they, they polished it off. Um, the fireballs did a lot of my health. Uh, the water ones I can graze. I wasn't using my time on the fireballs because I can't graze them, but I think I should to not die. <laughs> Where are we going? We Yay. should probably focus here, I'll reach out. <laughs> but we can talk about adventure time in chat. Oh. There's some middle weight. Um, I was an enormous slob. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I look back and I was like... It's very weird, because as a kid, you have like all these prejudices, but you don't really know why you have the prejudices. <laughs> no, you don't! Um, and then you come back and you're like, God, I was such a big head. I know, right? I mean, I think every egg is like that, too, though. <laughs> It's like there's so many it's signs, possible. it was so clear. It's possible. I think it's very possible that, you're, that there's a connection. Um, how, how can I not get hit by these? Mm. I, I like wasted my clock. The hardest thing to manage is in the clock in this fight, actually. Mm -hmm. MP is like fine. I think you don't need to pause time for most of this fight, actually, I'll be honest. I see. So I just need to get gooder and graze think, in well, real yeah, time. Okay, so these dragons, see they home, but they, they speed up exponentially. So you want them to get a lock on your position and then move at the last minute. Okay. So okay. that's that's like that's that's a common bullet pattern. Okay. Okay. These are just crisscrossing. You don't even need to move. They won't target you. Okay. 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 And, and these ones, this is probably the one you do need to. Yes, these are the only ones that I need. To... I get it now. I don't need to pause every single time I graze. I get that. Yeah. But I do need to pause on these to graze them. Yeah. You need to. Um, let's see. Oh, crap. Uh, I spent a lot of time learning to be kinder than I was as a kid, yes. Yeah, a lot of my adulthood has been that, because I didn't really have the comfort as a person to be a better person as a kid. <laughs> I think one thing that's like, I think maybe this happens with a lot of the younger kids nowadays too. But like when I was a kid, like I didn't have much sense of an identity. Okay, you want to yeah. you want, you want to pause time for these because you want them off the screen. The so they won't overlap. So pause time. Okay. And these things will go, dodge them, oh. and, then, and then the next pattern will be easier. I get it now. Because they aren't moving otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they um, They kinda... will also target you, so you want to jump and then move. Jump and then, I get that. Because they'll curve. Um, you see, see me doing my analytical bullshit. <laughs> no, it's helping. It's helping. It's helping. There's a lot going on. <coughs> I really do need to graze, though. Um, I would recommend watching Adventure Time in Steven Universe, too. I, okay. Someday I will watch Steven Universe, I know there's a lot of good there, but I'm not like rushing. I have a lot of adventure yeah. time to finish. <laughs> I'll be honest, part of the reason I haven't watched them is also the, like, that the art style doesn't jive with me. Oh, if it doesn't jive, it doesn't jive, yeah. Mm, but it was like, you know, if it's got a good story. It's got the best sapphics of all time. <laughs> Which one? Do you... Adventure Time or Steven Universe? Oh yeah, Steven Universe I can't speak to because there's just so many sapphics by volume. I don't know the quality overall, but Bubbleine I think is legendary. I think Bubbleine's I incredible. Heard, I have heard Bubbleine. It's incredible. It is it is it is long game Yuri. <laughs> long game Yuri. They, they are one of my favorites. Does like, it become canon? Ever. It's yes. Like, okay, it's actually. It's canon. one of those things in the era where they don't do it till the end, but they've gone back to just like pour it on. What like with Korra? Yes, but way better. Like okay. Korra, Korra, like you know, go Korra, but um. This was like it was kind of it was kind of they they did a lot more building they did yeah, a lot more building yeah. to it and feeding it like once they got permission to actually do it in the end they started to do a lot more overt shit but we were just talking about Yuri today and how yeah. a lot of Japanese stuff like can't do anything about their kissing I mean a lot of media generally it's really can't funny. but it's huge in anime it's really really funny that you mentioned that Not yeah funny. but um. <laughs> So I was talking about Gundam, right? And uh, Witch for Mercury. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so it's it's totally canon that Sleta and Mirine are married. Good. They get married. But you see the wedding bands. Good. Um, but it's it's weird because uh, Sleta's VA, she had an interview. Um, and she was like, yeah, you know, they were talking about honeymoon and stuff. And then Bande was like, they're not actually married. It's up to interpretation. Oh, no. And, and then everyone, <sighs> everyone in the production team and everyone on Twitter and everyone who watched the show just got on Bandai's shit. It was the funniest oh. thing ever. And then, and then, like, Bandai had to walk back their walk back. Oh, good. It was really funny. That's fucking rare. But there's, like, an official art book and, um... And there are so many wedding pictures in that official Oh my gosh, that's so cute! I'm very happy about them. Yeah. Big Mercury. Uh, yeah, yeah bu bu so Bubbleine good. is amazing because just so much of the, the the world is so much of like the world building and the character development goes into this long game Yuri. And now that they're doing kind of post Adventure Time stuff, yeah. they have so much room to just make extremely indulgent stuff Woo! with them, and it's really really nice. That's cool. I think I think it's delightful stuff. 
Um, let's see. What's another thing? Oh, the... I know, um... Steven Universe. I don't know. I always feel weird when people talk about shipping in Steven Universe, because I'm like... Yes! Okay. I, I leave that be with a big, long stick. <laughs> I'm always like... I don't know. There's, um... This one poet that I read. I can't remember her name now. <laughs> but, like, a big part of her thing was, like, you really shouldn't judge other organisms by human standards. <laughs> and then oh I was my. like, aren't they aliens? And, like, so I, was, I don't know if the same concepts of, um... Yeah. Romance apply. I couldn't tell you. Some people sure could, though. Look, pe people in chat, tell me how misinformed I am. Because I think the thing is that they do get together. Like, there's a ton of them do that do. It's just they're using, like, the kind of metaphor of, like, fusing. But then also some of them do have a little, a little gem wedding, so. Oh, okay, that's cute. But, yeah, I think there's also a lot of... I, all I can tell is, like, Steven Universe Voltron, I think, is it gives people a lot of headaches. Like, it makes them very invested and it gives them a lot of headaches. So I kind of am yeah, aware of the frustration. You need to separate yourself from the fandom, though. Um, no, I think, I think for, I, for any fan, like in general. Yes, definitely. But this is more like the production, like stress, like piss, like Voltron. Like Voltron went terribly. Like you can just oh, tell. You've had your, you've had, you told me your Voltron. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Wait, no, I, I don't know shit about Voltron, but I can tell. Like, and, and any it? fan I talk to is like this show oh, no, went so it, badly. Was it Sarah? Who gave us the, Sarah would Sarah. have been. Sarah is the one who went through Voltron. Yeah, we were at the Izakaya. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Steven Universe and Voltron had some big issues with like just like production and stuff. There's like the releases and it's like the bizarre plot twists. Probably Voltron a lot more than Steven Universe, from what I've gathered. But um, yeah, fandom is also a whole other thing. Oh, okay. All shows with John DiMaggio. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steven, I assume SU stands for Steven Universe, yeah. also has canon sapphics. Yeah, that's what I thought. I need to watch Witch for Mercury. Yes, please. It's very good. Yeah. People actually complain about the pacing in Witch for Mercury, and I think... I get their complaints, but like I think they're a little overstated. Oh, oh okay. Um, there, are, there are definitely some plot points that are like, yeah, this this needed some more time about them. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think the main plot line was pretty, pretty good. good. That's I, nice. Because I was watching it in Japanese too, maybe I was like a little kinder because like I didn't fully understand every single oh, part of the dialogue. That but happens. I was like, I can, I can. It's so awesome. even even me learning or watching it in not my native language. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just doing it on my own a year later. Even then, I was like, this is fine. I'm very mm. satisfied with the ending. Sometimes I think pacing issues can be exacerbated by the release, which I think is a Steven Universe thing. Like, when you see mm -hmm. things and how long you have to wait can really impact the disappointment. It's kind of a vibe I pick up on. Yeah. But I, I don't think there were... Like, the production issues, I think, in Witch from Murphy was, like, I think people expected another season, and then they just oh. didn't get the third season. I mean, that's a thing. Well, I got no fucking MP. How do I get MP? Give me MP! <laughs> I have to use time to get You know what, fuck it. <laughs> oh, great. When you stop time, you also have your normal lives. Huh? Like Wait, if you do stop it? time, yeah, you have 20 C. Oh you my god, I normal. have 24 free- That's- Oh my god. This game is so deep. So no MP, but then I could stop and get my 24, or as much yes. as I can use. Oh my god, that's great for damage. There have been a lot of times where I'm like, I don't have any offense options. Um. I'm so glad I could put this out. It's, it's, it's a lot going I, on I in thought, this game. I thought you knew. So. No, 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 no. I well, As we mentioned before, I didn't even notice that I had a counter for knives. Okay. Now I'm getting lazy. Oh, I was going chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> I was going chainsaw. Oh no! See, she's having an asthma attack. I asthma, see? When I least need it. When do you generally need it? She has a second health bar. Oh. <laughs> My asthma <laughs> She just explodes, okay. Me when I missed my flight and oh, I look ran. Look at her now, she's doing like a... She's sad. Yeah. Don't apologize, it was fun. That was a good fight. I'm surprised you could use your powers though. We should have sealed them. I know. Okay, did you break the seal by force? I broke it at me, Torty. <laughs> this is thanks to a gadget-loving Kappa. Personally, I don't like depending on tools, but... Hmm? Remy left quite a useful character for you. <laughs> yes, she did. No, that's not it. My intuition was right. What? I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain. But to use gadgets, she's... Oh! Oh, it's not Nitori. Okay, hold on. Um, okay. I need to go to the bathroom, but I will tell you... <laughs> okay. I will tell you what this is about. I've been drinking so much water. After this commercial break. Yeah, after this commercial break. Look at my paper.
Five. Death is not authors I'm falling. Are you okay? I am okay. All right, let's see. Um, death of the author is no longer the key to media analysis. It's now the death of the fandom. Yes. Kill the fandom. Kill the fandom. Uh, death of the fanfic author. <laughs> we're just killing fanfic yes. authors. Juno is not controlled that much. Luckily, they were just Timmy Turner is a clown. Oh, um, she was like, did your parents not let you eat name brand junk food? And it's like, oh, that, that okay. did not go hand in hand with the no chowder. It was more of just a, my dad turning mm-hmm. his nose up at Timmy Turner. Okay. Which are was we, transphobic. Are we, are, we, are we going? We're going. Okay. Okay, so I think I know who Nitori actually is. And I okay. think it's actually Flandre. I think oh. it's Flandre Scarlet. Because in Toho, in the vampires have very like specific weaknesses. Okay. One of them is they can't um of course they like can't cross running water, right? Uh-huh. Um, so when it rains, she can't leave the house. Oh and so that, this is something that actually comes up in the manga. Um by the way, Flandre is really overpowered. Like she she literally snaps her fingers and, like, destroys a meteorite that's oh coming down. Oh, my god! Anyway, so this totally explains why she needs the gym, like, why she has the gym thing, and it it's, I think, I think okay. it's, I think it's Flandre. That sounds pretty good. Um, which would be some pretty, pretty good foreshadowing if it is. Yeah. I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain, but to use gadgets, she's pretty smart, too. Oh, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, okay, you won, so you can move on. That was a chill fight. Will I be able to see Lady Romilia soon? Yeah, she's waiting at the clock tower just past here. <laughs> <laughs> Brooding like always. <laughs> Since it's Remy we're talking about, I'm sure she's itching to play with you. I can't let Lady Romilia wait. <laughs> oh, Miss Pacholi, please go home and rest. I'll head back to Scarlet Devil first, the real one, yeah. Just flies through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I must go, my people need me. <laughs> All right. So okay. let's see what color key we get. I'm a bit curious about progression. So that was the third boss. Mm-hmm. It seems like we're being told that Vermilia is going to be the fourth boss, but I yeah. kind of doubt it. You can read green the clock up. So yeah, wait, which are green? I kind of forgot. That was the clock tower. Oh, the clock was green? Yeah. We also waiting, we're also waiting for blue. No, we have blue. Do we have blue? No, we don't. We don't have blue. Huh, it's where going was blue? In, it's going in rainbow order. <laughs> it, is, it is going in a bit of rainbow order now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's clock. There is the blue door. Uh, must be this red one? It's a pretty simple map, know. honestly. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty simple map. It doesn't help. I think if they... I had this map, I would not know how to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, want to save? Okay. The only, yeah, I think we saved. The only non-linear stuff so far has been backtracking for upgrades, which is like fine. You know, it doesn't have to be non-linear. It doesn't have to be non-linear. But it, it, it is less linear than it, it is. It is more linear than Johanne. <laughs> I have noticed that. With, uh, we were talking about like the death of linear uh, games. Yeah. <laughs> linear gameplay. There's also been kind of a death of like linear storytelling, which in, in some ways is very cool, but also kind of lame. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I do it. <laughs> you just slide into it. Yeah, I found a good tactic there. <laughs> that was really cool. I yeah, unfortunately, I'm a Gazelda fan, so I've been struggling with like the way that they're just chopping up stories and weaving them out in the field for us to find with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Because I'm a huge Skyward Sword fan, and the way that the story plays out is a huge motivator. It's not a perfect game, but like the way that the story plays out is very motivating. And like I love Metroidvanias because um, like. You can have something happen that really like motivates the character while you're going. Like uh, Aria of Sorrow, Castlevania does a great job with that. And uh, yeah, it's nice to have stuff happening. <laughs> it's nice to have that added meaning to your action during parts of a linear game. Where it's like, this is the part where you're avenging your friend. This is the part where you found out you were betrayed. It's the part where you're going for a fated battle with the last Belmont again. <laughs> like, is it, 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 it The last for real this time. For real this time. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> That's why she's domesticated. <laughs> Sophia. Yeah. But there are fan theories that uh, Sophia is actually Jack the Ripper. Really? Because one of her one of her spell cards references Jack the Ripper. Oh my god! Yeah. She's in this house with all these girls. <laughs> <coughs> is that a gargoyle? This thing's gonna fucking kill me. Yeah. Okay. You just that that looks like a chainsaw time. It that's a chainsaw boss, yeah. Yes! The way that Chainsaw pays off is really satisfying. That's big damage. Is that a diamond? Did you just get a diamond? 
No, not yet. No. But I got this like aquamarine boy. Oh, you got an emerald. That's what it is. Emerald. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, that's dangerous. This is like some Alice in Wonderland bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely some Castlevania <laughs> bullshit. <clears throat> So let's see, uh, these are usually bad because they have floating enemies, like large amounts of weak floating enemies, but this guy has a bit of health on him, so it might be a bit different to Castlevania. I just here. Okay. Wait, 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 if you go back. Mm -hmm. Can you go up? Yeah, yes. I'm oh, sorry, my Castlevania brain clicked on. I, I know I'm going up. <laughs> so far, everything's been very, like, trophy. Well, this music's kind of crazy. Yeah, so this is the descendant of young descendant of Vlad Tops, and this is the final stage name. Dang! So are we only four worlds and then probably some freaky extra Flandre world? Wow. It might just be this world and then Flandre. Yeah. Oh, damn. Do you have to, like... How do you do that? Beats me. But what if I became a worm? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh, because it, because the gear turns the other way, so, and? so it, it can carry you through at faster speed if you walk with it, if you like get in the notch. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't know not. about that. Yeah. That was that was one to listen. Um, maybe you can crouch through. Yeah. Because because uh, it'll just carry you naturally. Yeah, I guess oh, they couldn't really, couldn't really tell by design, though. Yeah, I know. That's some good throwing. <laughs> All right, Miss Knives. <laughs> I've been it kills me that there's a character name. named Knives Chapel in Scott Pilgrim. Oh, gosh. Scott Pilgrim is one of my two medias that I'm actually a hater of. I've just had so many stupid friends be so into it and just give it such a bad impression for me that I'm just like, that stupid poser bullshit from Toronto. <laughs> okay, so these ones go in reverse when you- uh, Oh, okay, okay. I was kind of waiting for the reverse. Yeah. And you die. Wait, that didn't show my knife counter. That's because you're- it's hidden behind the, the platform. Good eyes. But why? I could have I worked a different way. Yeah, I would, I would say that's kind of a... Are those clowns with balloons? I think they're about to become my worst nightmare. Okay, so those are probably going to go up. Yes. Oh, they're just going to turn. This is a great game for a clock tower. What a good night to have a curse. Just... <laughs> those will be fine. They throw a shuriken. That, that is... Those clowns on balloons throwing shurikens, that is the most... Genre classic thing I've ever <laughs> seen, I think. I think that's some Toho bullshit. Uh, this is weird. Very strange just, feeling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are your floaties. Yep. Oh, they're cute. They're cute, though. They remind me of a uh, actual oh! Metroid. Oh! They fucked me up pretty yeah. bad! Wait, I aren't guess those aren't those what Metroids are? Mm -hmm. like the brain sucker things? Yeah, they look just like Metroids. But they also look like the Hollow Knight brand versions of the Metroids, which are more just like straight up little jellies. They're like jellyfish. Yes. Did not think we would be without jellyfish in this game. There are jellyfish in a lot of my games, a lot of my Metroidvania specifically. Uh, okay. Metroid is kind of a jellyfish. Hollow Knight's got a bunch. There are plenty Love of life. jellyfish in a Futari. Ah. Oh, wait, so is Futari aquatic? Um, there is, there's kind of an aquatic level. It's like an arctic level. That's pretty appealing. Mm -hmm. It's the second stage, so you will almost certainly get there. Nice. Once we... We're not gonna do it on stream, though. I'm just gonna sound. We're not? Well, because Futari is Xbox only right now. I guess if we were to bring your Xbox over. We have the video card on. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, have, we have Xbox Day coming. We do. Um... If we do that, we have to play uh, Fatari and ESP Gilda too. Sure, big names. I think I, I, think I um, joked it was called ESP Gender. ESP Cat. Gender. Because it is. I mean, there's so much gender <laughs> swapping in that game. It's like the main mechanic. Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah. ESP Gender is also a good gender. ESP Gender. Okay, so we're doing this. Can you pop the balloons? Oh, yeah. That's a good call. Oh, I like that. So there are nuisances. But they can- oh, oh, okay, this sucks. This sucks. 
die. <laughs> I was saying, so they're, they're nuisances, but they're also the easy, because the thing about the Medusa heads in this game, and Clock Towers, <laughs> yeah. is that um, there's so many of them, but they all die in one hit. So you just need like a good way to hit them. So having these bosses that can be nuisances, or these enemies that can be nuisances, but also go down in one hit if you're careful, mm -hmm. pretty clever design. Yeah, you're right. What are your favorite Clock Towers, chat? DM me your best clock tower. Yes. <laughs> this has been a chill stream. Nobody's shown up, which is sometimes the best kind of stream. <laughs> what do you mean you have three viewers right now? No, I mean my friends. My, my friends are always here and I love them. But having randos roll up is a whole different vibe. Yeah, what are they doing here? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? This is a, this is a, private, this is a private YouTube channel entirely for my own indulgence. <laughs> Oh. These hurt me. They, 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 they've been very generous. I see blood I think on them. The, yeah, I think I think they will hurt you. To be to be honest, it's logical. I think if you stand up and you're in them, they'll knock you into the spikes. I'd like that to not happen. I want this. I don't want this. Kill. Okay. You are so low <gasps> health. Oh, they respawn. Yeah, they regen. I have concerns. Oh, this is You're dead. so low on health. This is... a lot. <laughs> every right single, that. every single... Jumped right into I it. didn't even know that it was did you there. Think, did you think it was I didn't like a think, health pack? I didn't think, I didn't notice it, I didn't even process it. When there's people, it's lively. When there isn't, there aren't, it's ch chill. I don't know, I can't read the chat. When it, oh yeah, the YouTube is so cute for putting this heart emote there and blocking in the most recent message every single time. It's so cute and quirky for that. Helkandra has a planet-wide clock tower. Damn, that sounds cool. Okay, but okay, here's my thing about like, oh yeah, planet, like biome planets. You see it all the time in like Star Wars. Yeah, um, biome planets. But like so many people like reduce a, an entire planet to like just one, the biome. One biome, yeah. yeah. And they're like, what the hell? What? It's Tatooine? That's, a, that's really not how pl planets are. That's not how, yeah, I mean, look at our can. planet. But then again, in our, in our solar, in our galaxy, um, most of the other planets are kind of one note. Well, I would argue that's. I mean, I we see that. Out. I see that, but I'm pretty sure the weather patterns on on Venus are pretty wild. Are they? Yeah. What kind of weather do they have on Venus? Dust storm number one, dust storm it's number acid two. Rain. Acid rain. Okay, okay, okay. But biomes, like, isn't yeah. it all just kind of rock? No, yeah, but like a lot of these planets have native life on them. Yeah, that's true. The and other life, like, if it can support planets, life, then it probably should have more biomes. It should have more biomes. I get that. Like, I don't like. I'll, I'll kind of give Tatooine a pass. <laughs> I'll kind of give Tatooine a pass. I mean, if it's a desert planet, sure, and they've just... Adapted. But they're, like, there are different types of deserts, right? Yeah, there are different types. Sandy, Arctic. Okay. It blew my mind when I learned the Arctic was a desert. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Oh, that's the middle one. Oh. Yeah, that'll be my friend. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck! Yeah, this happens in Castlevania too. <laughs> just get get annihilated by the gears. Between the gears, yeah. I guess we gotta wait for some clock right now. <clears throat> <laughs> Everybody, can we both go to the chat? Venetian, the, the differences would be if very I were Venetian, significant. I suppose so. I su I hear where you're coming from. Yeah. You're probably right. If I were Venetian, I would notice the differences. But at the same time, yeah. anybody could roll up and see how different Earth. Then again. Earth is kind of boring. Earth is kind of one note too. Really? Desert, ocean, forest. Arctic. Well, I guess. Mountain. Mountain. Not refreshing it. There's, there's there's desert. Grasslands. There's four. There's desert. Okay, there's not desert grasslands, but those are pretty similar to forests. Really? Yeah. This forest the grass, mountains. The prairies. I guess those are decently different. I'm thinking of different places. Earth. <laughs> or different prairies. <laughs> different definitions. Ow. That hurt. My knife stopped me. Hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> you know, just a special fuck you. This is Tokubetsu, yeah. Birthday special. <laughs> that means dead. So um, this is gonna come at yeah. me? Yeah, no, 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 really it's going, it's going for. Yeah. We're fine, we're fine to do this. Okay. Who just the right amount of time. So this is just moving constantly. Um, oh, that's a very interesting view. 
MP is not the problem. <coughs> yeah, very interesting gear. Uh, is this gonna keep going? I should dodge those. I can reverse this Mega Man belt. See, lucky for me, I played Metal Man stage last night, and it's all this bullshit. <laughs> uh, here we go for some health, health, which is actually not really the problem yet, but I wouldn't want it to become the problem. I'm not gonna do the... I, I sure am. <laughs> I sure am. I didn't grind to not do this. Yeah. This one of the most exotic hands in the oh, mansion. Oh, you didn't pay for this game, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't pay $10 for this game, to. I want to give you money for this game, though, whatever you'll accept. When, when I want a uh, Futari, you can just cover the charge for a There we go, there we go, there we go. I, like I think that. it's it's less than half, but who cares. Okay, I like that. As long as you, as soon as you like that. Yeah, that's fine. Slowly pay off my Scarlet Double Mansion debt. <laughs> you still owe me, like, 800 yet. No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Ow! Ooh. That hurt. I s well, I thought I thought you didn't have a recovery platform to go on, so I thought it, it was just. Oh, we lost the run, yeah. Yeah, I was like, that's. Rough. So we need this to roll reverse. This is so awkward. <laughs> like it's cool in concept, but it's so awkward in execution here. Mm -hmm. It's so awkward. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, you gotta you gotta do time. Oh, so no, it's it's uh it's when they're just, it's when it was they're just phasing timing. in. Yeah. Damn, they've got a lot of Medusa head replacements, which I like. Just like a whole bunch of floaty guys. It's so sad that Castlevania is basically this, but without the fun of the time stuff. And every single one of these floating enemies is just a Medusa head. <laughs> oh, we got a save. Are we gonna get any creepy? That's interesting. Creepy shit. Oh. No. Ooh, we're, we're getting outside, to, yeah. we're getting to the boss. Thing is, in, do they just? Oh, they always reappear. Thing is, in Castlevania, is it's actually not Dracula at the t clock tower in some games. Sometimes it's uh oh no, I'm sorry, I've only played a few. It's not a great sample size. I was gonna say sometimes it's actually death. Death is who you fight here in one of my games, and it's pretty epic. Mm -hmm. But no, in the classic Vanias, yes, you fight Drac here. The Drac man. The Drac man. Drackville. <laughs> You're gonna get <laughs> Oh, see, I gotta stop it when they're visible. So. They're very, like... They're like a more, uh... complex version of the Will-O-Wisps. I was gonna say a cock tissue, but... Oh, what the hell is a cock tissue? <laughs> a tissue placed over a cock? Okay. Because but... that's what I thought you meant, but I didn't want to be like... <laughs> By the way, I think that thing means that yeah, they, they pause time. Oh. They have time powers too. I've been humiliated. <laughs> you just got, pardon my French, but gang banged. <laughs> no! No! That's not true. The phallic, even, even with a tissue over it, the phallic symbol is not inherently sexual. They sure ganged up on you. They did. We all got together. Really got that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. This sounds like Cove. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Forest and Rainforest. first. Taiga, good. Let's see, Taiga. volcano. Doubts. That's right. Islands. I. Okay. I no, you're right, actually. Islands have their own biomes. Warm water, cold water, fresh salt. Yes. Fresh salt, brackish. <laughs> I think the issue is that shit looks really similar on satellite. That is very true. When you zoom. Yeah, when yeah, you shit zoom looks out. Really, that's kind of my point. Things when look you, really when similar. When you zoom out like a thousand times, yeah, yeah. it's gonna look similar. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest discussion. Wait, actually, this is really funny because in cosmology, which is a branch of physics. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how I know this. Okay. Um, but they, they have assume... a lot of physicists here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because my I took a physics course and then my roommate was a physicist. Okay. Um, but in cosmology, you make some assumptions about the universe. One of which is that it's uniform in density, which is wild, right? Mm -hmm. Because there are these fucking black holes and stars and planets everywhere, and clearly those are like less dense than everything around them, right? Mm -hmm. But you make this assumption in. Tossed out by the gargoyle. Oh, holy shit. You make this assumption in cosmology that the universe is uniformly dense. Because at such a grand scale, it actually is. Oh! Oh, so like, shit. So, like, yes, when you zoom out, everything looks the fucking same. Yeah, I get what you mean by that. Oh, okay. 
ghost. A ghost is just a ghost. I mean, you can also think of things by elevation. Yes, that is very true. I guess. Uh -oh. I Un guess. Unlike a pulsar, like, there are mountains that are, like, a centimeter tall. Oh. Because of the yeah. gravity is so strong. It's but um, in Earth, you, you get these lovely mountains. Yeah, they're lovely. We like them here. We're we'll able to stay where we live again. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I mean, there are, there are mountains all over Japan. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, gargoyle. I'm gonna bring my best chainsaw. I think, I think maybe we should just pause time and go around. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then use more chainsaws. <laughs> okay, that works well. Oh, can you not get through? There's another box. Oh no, god forbid there were a wooden crate. Like, what am I gonna get? A forklift? <laughs> like, these are such large OSHA roadblocks. would never approve. You don't have the certification. <laughs> you, you don't think you don't think Sakuya is OSHA certified? I don't think she's for, OSHA for, for, for certified. I, de I definitely don't think she's OSHA certified because one of the one of these things in canon that's very common with mm -hmm. Sakuya is that she um she will like put a knife in Meiling's head to like punish her. <gasps> it doesn't hurt. Quirky. I mean, it does hurt Meiling. It hurts Meiling, but like also. But also what? She's a yokai, so it doesn't kill her. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Sometimes a ghost is just a ghost. <laughs> Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Sigmund Freud! <laughs> Citing Freud. Venus's upper atmosphere above the acid clouds could potentially host human life. Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh, we're so close. Don't let Elon Musk Not, be the person to do it. <laughs> we're still a couple months away, I think, even by rocket. That's true. Months, um, months though. Months are fine. Jupiter might have a giant diamond at its core. See, I want to go see the giant. That sounds diamond. cool. Yeah. See, our our planets are really. We cool. need some more diversity. In the same way the Mega Man fandom needs diversity, <laughs> the fucking space dudes need diversity. I don't want. I don't want to represent ourselves to Venus with fucking Musk people, like Musk worshippers and stuff. That's wild. That'd be that'd be too sad. I couldn't handle that. Yeah. This is the best we have to offer. Remember that time. This is the best we have to offer. Brandon. Remember that. Remember that time when we sent a jazz record out into space because we thought that would be the coolest thing. I think that would be the coolest. That that's what we wanted. Um. We wanted, uh... I think that's fun. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were going to kill you. They came down. Oh my god. I, I would send jazz before I would send incels. Yes. Yeah. I think it's funny how... I think it's maybe it's not funny, but like, how Elon's partner... Ex-partner Grimes? Yeah. I yeah. think she left him for a trans woman initially. And then, of course, his daughter. Yeah. But it's like, I would give up all the wealth in the world not to be associated with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would give up all the wealth in the world not to be associated with you. And I would rather, I would give up all the wealth in the world for a trans woman. That makes me so nervous. I'm sure the discourse was heinous around the fact that there was a trans woman involved. But at the yes. same time, like, community W. Like, not that I like crimes, but. The fact that we were chosen, the fact, the, the fact that a trans femme was chosen over, over a multi yes, being like part of the family that destroys the earth and is the next. Oh, super does the villain. does the bunny not actually hurt you? I think. He, well, he's gonna help hurt me. Yeah, he's gonna help hurt you. No. Oh, there's knife time. It is. It'll be knife time in a minute. <laughs> yeah, after you get all your time back. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, they look a lot like the Hollow Knight guys, actually. You know, I was promised a lot of Symphony of the Night and Cave Story references in this game, and I haven't been getting them. I wouldn't know if they were there. Yeah, that's okay. I would. <laughs> I mean, maybe this is all one, but man. Sometimes a uh, uniform at a sufficiently large scale, yeah. On Mars, you get huge mountains, yeah. Mars, Mars mountains are gigantic. You spin the inch high mountains, create gravitational waves, which we can detect. Yes, it's really cool. I love the Melovania community and that we can talk about these kinds of things. Gravitational waves are super cool. I, I was very briefly interested I took a, in that. I took a course on them. The immovable Metroid video crate. <laughs> a box called the Chica Sister. Who are the Chica Sisters? Oh, that's from uh, the Love Live one. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, that is made for the Chica upgrade, yeah. The local space around the Milky Way is actually significantly less dense than the standard universe. That's not. It's no good for us. <laughs> ah! Don't worry. We'll we'll crash into Andromeda in a couple million years. <laughs> a couple days. We'll crash into Andromeda on Friday, and then we'll have super cool night skies. 
<laughs> yes, then we will. Finally, that's what I'm all about. Though I think by the time the sun might have extinguished. Oh, let's see. Do you think we're gonna replace the sun before it becomes a problem? I don't. I don't think you can replace the sun. But we're humans. Yeah, I think we'll probably find a new sun to live around before oh, okay. we replace the sun. Yeah, I agree. I feel like we're gonna solve that problem before it wipes us out, even though we all like to worry about it. It's because we're humans. The like, humans are always on that shit. We will either destroy ourselves before it yes. becomes a problem, yes. or we will figure something out. Amen for that. I mean, not amen for that. It's the worst part of existing. But... <laughs> we live in an ecological disaster. I mean, okay, I actually did watch a video on this, but, like, there are reasons to be, like, we're, we're doing okay. Um, oh, yeah. Yo, I, I curse like, yourself? I remember, yeah. It's yeah, like, we, um... Yeah, they did well, a very no, good not summary. That, but, um, they did a nice summary, at least. There's another... There's a different video, which, like, you know, we always used to talk about the, um... Was in there and like why does no one talk about it it's because we actually did something about it oh is it going is it getting better yeah yay like we that that hole in the ozone yeah we we did ah! <laughs> Get, fuck, fuck you me for learning waited. the mechanics should've fuck me for learning waited. the mechanics gotta be patient i was patient no i wasn't fuck that i was being smart i was being a good player is what i was being and i paid for it you should have if you were here you, look if you were a better player, <gasps> don't let me that. let me say that. Yeah, no. if you were a better player, you would have recognized that there were things on the ground that moved up. Oh, well, I recognized, but I, I had no I had no internal sense of where they were. I guess if I was your a directional sense would have been better. <laughs> That's an insult. Yeah, it's an it insult. Is, yeah. I mean, I guess they were foreshadowing it. Ooh, watch this bad player recover. Mm -hmm. You are so cool. <laughs> Let me get on my knees and kiss your feet. Is that what you want? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> okay. Okay, you gotta stop time. And then they'll come up. Oh, yeah, just wait. Yeah. Chill. It could've been anywhere. It could've been anywhere. It could've been anywhere. Ah! Good thing I have my trusty knives. Ah! <laughs> no! You had it! You had I it. was destroyed by my vanity! <laughs> I just wanted to show off the validity of my strategy at a higher skill level. <laughs> Get wrecked. Yeah, I got wrecked. This game humiliates me. <laughs> this game makes me think of clown. Oh my god. Okay. Love will be my downfall. <laughs> Love of this technique will be my downfall. Yeah, you're so low on time right now. My desire to style will always be my downfall. You think you're cool. It's not that. I am cool. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say that again? I am cool. It's just that generally my coolness doesn't fit within the bounds of the game, the level design. Or sure, the fighting. Or the, sure. or, or, or the meta game. It doesn't fit. I'm not a meta player. Yeah, exactly. I'm really curious. What what character you would choose in this game? I really don't we have any to, feelings. We still have I to. Don't. I mean, yeah. We still have to go to the arcade and play. Yeah, we will. The arcade is a lot of joy. We have a great freaking arcade. There's, there's not Bandai arcades in every city. Um, why was it so much worse? Okay, I did it. Um, I really don't have any feelings. I, I, I mean, I, like, I, I would noodle with anybody. Uh, but honestly, like, I don't know. Bedman and ABA have been kind of cool. I like the kind of like fucked up medical ones that have been. Oh yeah, we get the. They're probably like, the DLC right in because it's the arcade. Yeah, I think so. I, the, the fan art's been really cool for the ABA character. She's pretty cool. The, the ABA character. I don't know anything about her. Her voice in Japanese is really creepy in Plus R. She's, she talks like an old woman. Oh, like, oh I don't know if I like that. <laughs> the Bedman. I mean, her, cool. her English voice sounds amazing. Um, epic. Okay, so how far can I get on this? I guess I could probably stop here, right? Yeah. You some imp. Oh, shit! I'm not a low tier. I am. I'm not a low tier heroine. <laughs> that feels like what a Toho character would call me to make fun of me. The way that they all have nicknames for each other and yeah. they make fun of each other. I would be a low tier heroine. Well, I think Sophia's nickname is like, like she is like the vampire's dog or something. Oh gosh. We all need a nickname to keep ourselves humble. What's that? It's like a branch of mercury or something it's gonna be a box cutter <laughs> <laughs> holy shit you're right you can now destroy wooden boxes <laughs> the way that we build a such a mundane thing is so yeah. made core like remember who we are 
Uh, there's so many boxes in the game, though. Like, even in the first level, there's boxes. Yeah, this has been the most built to backtrack item. Oh, these are so cool! And there's my, they're my basic ones now. Oh, they're just your basic ones? I <laughs> you get so many basic ones. The over. golden, the, the, what have I left here? What the hell? Oh, okay. This is space. Creepy Boots Void. What? What is that? That sounds wrong. The Boots Void. I don't want that. That sounds too scary. That, that sounds really creepy. The you golden said the magic discs? words to unlock my info dumping. I wish I was in the Lego collaboration. Oh, yes. Ooh. Are you an astrophysicist? Yeah. Oh my god. Pick Nareen's brain. Nareen is very, very mm. impressive. I actually, um, I don't know if this is doxing myself, but I studied under Maddie Wade. I, I, actually, one of the... I talk about my college because you don't live there anymore. Like, yeah. But I, I studied under Maddie Wade, and mm -hmm. she was uh, one of the people who worked at uh, Hanford on the Lego on Lego. Oh wow! Only for one semester. I wasn't a physics major. Mm -hmm. Um, our descendants with tentacles and whatever will figure something out. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. We are gonna evolve, aren't we? Get fucking mm -hmm. ghosts in the shell. You use a low tier character because you weren't meta. Melovinia is S tier. You're Am Am what is Amsa? Thank you. Amsa was a uh, low tier god. <clears throat> You're right. I, me and my, me and Spenge. You've all met Spenge now because of the Discord. Uh, we, he was my Smash sparring partner. He still does it. And we back mm -hmm. in the day would always pick low tier characters and be good with them. It was not really what I did, but we were very of the ethic that it's more fun to pick a character you love that's bad and do your best with it than choose meta. To my detriment. Now I play Splatoon and it's like I'm sick of playing E tier weapons and not winning. <laughs> like at this point, like I am a little bit yeah. less like that, but it's a balance. Hey, now you can fall. Yeah, I can fall. <laughs> Fuck that thing. <laughs> um, um, that sounds like a Bridget mentality. For plus R. Aww. I mean, I really want to learn Bridget. She seems so fun. Is she not great? I mean, she's just really low damage and really low. Oh, health. I, I thought maybe she was more high skill ceiling than bad. Um, I get the impression that it, she really just just does not do enough damage and it, just does not have enough. It's health. a lot of characters like that in Smash. Okay, um, like, like her, can you look at, like, I don't know, her, like, overall game plan, it's very solid, but just, like, she just doesn't have the raw stats. Oh, ah, that makes sense, there's a lot of... But, I mean, it's also a fighting game. Come on, if you can style on someone with a low-tier character... Oh, yeah, you have to, that's exactly yeah. it, yeah, you have to, you have to. I really want to learn Bridget, but I, I think I, I messaged you guys, I was like, oh, I really like May. <laughs> Yeah, May's cute. I was really playing. I was playing a lot of uh, May. I get the sense she's more of like a comfort she's character. Very, like she's, she's, she's very, very simple. Well, I feel like she, she, hurt, she hurt. has really finicky charge inputs. Where you like, oh, have really? to hold and then like reverse direction. I thought she'd be more fundamentals. I, I mean, she is, but like those, like her dolphins, right? Because she's like she's known for those dolphins. Yeah. Oh, when they cross, they have zones of like unaffected. I look pretty cool. Oh, and they cross. They have they destructive interference. Oh, yeah. destructive interference. That's just how I would have phrased it. I think that's the actual scientific term when like waves cancel each other out. Oh, that's pretty sly. Destructive interference, like me and America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are we going with this? Anyway, yeah, I've been playing May. I kind of want to learn Jam. Jam looks really fun. I don't she's think the, the Chinese chap. Oh, well, she's new. Does she well, make jam or is that just her name? Her name is Cloudberry Jam. Cloudberry Jam? My name could be Cloudberry Jam in another timeline. Instead of Melovania, it's Cloudberry Jam. Cloudberry Jam. No, it's got a good, good, if, got a good in, cadence. If in, instead of Metroidvanias, you got into fighting games. Oh, <clears> wow. The trick is falling in love with the high tier. <laughs> yeah, that is the trick, right? I don't know who the high tiers are in Plus R. I just, just because I've been playing Bridget and May. Going but... for mostly girls. There were a lot of good girls at the, top, at the high, height of the metagame in uh, Smash 4. It was Rosalina, mm -hmm. Sheik, Zero Suit, Samus for a long time. Oh, okay. And then we got replaced with Cloud, Rip, but then Bayonetta took over no the game. No love for normal, normal Samus? No. Uh, ben actually mained her, but then she got he, he dropped her in Smash Ult just because there's so many other characters to play, but she got better in Smash Ult. She wasn't that great. Like, both of our- all, all of our characters are kind of like B-plus tier, Samus that we've seen Sam, B-plus is a pretty good tier to be on. No, it was- it was- it was a great- it was- it was an honest life. I was a solo main, um, he played so many characters. His mains are B-plus-ish, B, B-plus. Not amazing characters by any means, but... I don't- I don't know the tier list for the Guilty Gear, so I'm it, sorry. It's okay. I don't think anyone does. Maybe you should just walk over. Yeah. Eat my pride. Oh, these fucking clowns. 
Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Ben and I would play COD together and pick the worst gear in the game and come yes. in first and second. Yes, Ben. Ben is an essential low tier player. It is. It is baked into his being. They, ben and Gina were childhood friends. The funny story about Ben is that mm -hmm. Gino was his childhood friend, mm -hmm. and then I met him in high school. And mm -hmm. At the end of high school, I came out to all of my friends, and after I came out, Juno came out. So we surrounded oh, okay. him with trans. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, red! You got a new skill. Oh, that's right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. New, new skill card. Yeah. You got shield, shield dagger. That seems pretty badass. I bet it doesn't 25. actually protect you from probably more from, from projectiles. Yeah, yeah, probably more offense than actual defense. Yeah, Samus um, is not bad in melee. She can peach her both really good. I like she. That's true. Yeah, but if I have in the spaces, because Marth is a girl, so, so that, that that helps. So Marth is a girl, and then there's Peach, and Sheik, and uh, Samus. Yeah, it's not bad in melee. <clears throat> Smolt is so- the metagame of Smash Ultimate is so whatever. It looked really cute at first, because like week one it was like Palutena, Lucina, Pichu, all these characters that I loved. Uh, mm -hmm. Inkling was really good at the beginning. Transform Pokemon squad. trainer. <laughs> yeah. Transform attack squad. Okay, it looks like I'm backtracking. Uah. Before I, I might not be backtracking. I might have the option, which is nice. A very forceful backtrack suggestion. Um, I should probably go to the Nitori shop because she's obviously Nitori. <laughs> oh, we should check on Akio. Oh yeah, What's, we kind of no, should is, check what is going on. on <laughs> I like how we've been like an hour or something. Yeah. <laughs> like... Oh yeah, Akio. <laughs> we love you, but you know, we're not Kosuzu. Other priorities. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm one-shotting everything most of the time. I think I really like the XP system in this game. Just passively getting stronger, yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Oh, we were talking in, um... So I sat my soap at Sky yesterday, which is... I'm always making excuses for my voice. Oh. Oh, yes, but I drink a lot, so my voice Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. Anyway. Anyway, I was at the soap at Sky yesterday, and, um... What happened? We were talking about Tanaki, and they're like, you don't have Tanaki in America. And I was like, no, we don't. We thought they were fake. <laughs> well, no, I was like, like what you would call Tanaki, like you would usually translate as raccoon, even though that's not correct. Yeah. And then I showed them raccoon, and I did not know the word for raccoon in Japanese. And it's rascal. What? <laughs> they're called nas naskuri. Wow, that's wild. That's, I had no idea. It tickled me pink. I want <laughs> that would tickle me pink too. She what happened? What what's happened going with, on? What Can happened you just talk? Fuck you. What's what's? Girl, what's up? Maybe the Nitori installed the phones. Oh, oh, she she took a she like used. She really did pull a Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, I think I I don't even think we can talk to Akio. I think mm -hmm. it's just weird Nitori things. I like how the story is developing here. If if her if her shop if is, is missing. Laundry. Yeah, if her shop is missing when I go back, that's gonna be kind of cool. She was like, oh. Don't, don't. But I think if you're not like into Toho, you might not have picked that up. Yes, but it also would have—it still would have been like a kind of random, like you know, surprise villain mm -hmm. thing, I guess. It would have been a better surprise villain than a lot of surprise villains. She's still here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, stuff. I'm mildly interested. To yeah, power up, maybe the fun. That would be really fucked up if the final boss was. Stronger proportional to how much you've sold. <laughs> oh my god, that would be that fucked would up be too. Super fucked up. Because it also would make it harder for people who need to use items more oh, too. Right. Is this gonna be the final boss song? That would be really anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> I love Nitori, but. Nitori is like solidly a stage three boss. <laughs> Slugging it out in the Nitori back rooms. The Shit, warehouse. Her, I think her shot type for. Because you can partner up with different yokai partners in Subterranean Animism. And I'm pretty sure that her optional is the worst shot type in the game. <laughs> Epic. Um, yeah, her bomb is really bad. <laughs> and it's, it's weird. Um, destructively interfering with America is proxy. <laughs> <laughs> In one of the games you could equip nothing but a knife and a throwing knife, and that was a wild sign. 
girl mode. Transform. Fuck the meta, I'm just going to be a gorgeous Lydia. Yep. I'm gonna play Bridget. I yeah, have to so, say, I love, I love Bridget's stripe design way more than Pulsar. Oh, really? Okay. She has this weird, like, pseudo-nun kind of outfit going on in Pulsar. Oh, yeah, but it's gotten a lot less nun-y, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, She's so... She's still got the hood and stripe. I might just... I think I might just get the knife upgrade. Instead of getting another health thing that's gonna last me, like, a minute. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. I might just be arming oh, the enemy, just though. just continually get them? You can just keep buying them, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, weird. You wow. can just continually grind out for- I guess this is their- this is how they like, if you're not good at the game, you can like just continually grind out time. Or if you are good at the game, you can y'all save up a shit ton of money and then spend it on a lot of knives. Alright, here we go. So wait, yeah, 27 knives. How long does that take? A long time. You'll probably never need another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're probably right at this rate. Um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go on a snack. But I'm not done just- I think I'm, I'm good to stream till 12.30? Maybe sure, maybe yeah. even one if we end up getting caught up in the boss. This might take another week. <laughs> I don't know about that because I think we're gonna have maybe one and a half more rooms. One and a half plus. Okay. And we've already done about that much in what two and a half hours? Yeah. We'll see what I happens. keep mishearing Mito Mitori as Midori. Midori. This is actually kind of funny because there's a fan there's like you know how there's like Sonic OCs that are like basically color palette swaps. Yeah. There's kind of one for Nitori, and it's her sister Nitori. <laughs> um, but she doesn't. She she doesn't have a green color scheme. She has like a pink color scheme. <laughs> Why? 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 Let me let me let me show you. Why? Oh shit! I do not know where those boxes were. Oh, but you know, I was being guided back here. I bet it's in. It's just somewhere around here. Oh, maybe she doesn't. These are different ones. Are there some Midori Midoris? No. They're showing Chen. Midori the Hedgehog. <laughs> I, just show I forget, if you search Layla the Hedgehog, oh, I think it's it pretty funny. Sorry, her name's not Midori, it's Mitori. But oh, that's Midori. Like the Thank you. She's chillin'. Yeah, so my issue right now is I can't remember where those backtrack crates <laughs> actually are. But yeah, I think I, I think they're around idea. here. I, I think one of them has like straight up the blue key. <laughs> it's just hidden in one of the boxes. Yes. Although no, wait. Um, we can we can we can continue forward in the um, clock tower. So it's not the end of the mm -hmm. world if we don't find it. We're not like done with the clock tower yet. Over there. Okay. Let me uh, before I continue this hunch, let me pause for like a quick minute just to grab a snack. Sure. Yeah. I must be fed. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Feed the dog?
All right, sorry if that was a bit of a long wait, but we are super well fed. And yeah, it's a good thing we ate because now we're hunting for a crate that I forgot about and oh, no. the Scarlet Sisters, right? Like Remilia and Flunder. Like we're hunting like the hardest bosses. Do you think there's anyone else who could slip in after Patchouli, like with no Sakura yet to be another boss at that caliber? Or is it just going to be them? Rebu? Rebu? Because Marisol was in here. So like the oh. other Holy shit, that's not going to be an easy afternoon. Although I realize now, I don't know why I mentioned like 1230, because like I'll definitely stream till 130. Like, I, like of all times to go long, like if I have the energy to do more and finish the game and have a guest, like mm -hmm. I'm not going to do I'm next gonna, week. I'm, I'm free for the afternoon too. So. Yeah, I, I, fig I figured you'd be cool chilling an extra hour. And um, I, 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 only I, question is like parking and if they'll tow me away. <laughs> <laughs> they won't tow you away. If you get a complaint, just tell me. Yes. And I'll recycle it. And if they tow you away, we will hunt for that fucking car. No, in, in the middle of the day. I can't find the middle of the day. I'm just paranoid. Oh, okay. Do you know those Japanese people? <laughs> usually, you usually they live Japanese with... people. You, usually they live a ticket, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, um, well, I will pay that ticket. Because nobody uses those spots, and it's the middle of the day. So I would like to experiment with this system. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would too, because, uh, like... If you needed me to come on, it would be so much easier than taking the train. <laughs> yes. Alright, well chat, you know what I'm gonna say. What games have you been playing lately? What's been fun? Yeah, we got the whole rundown on me trying to get into Guilty Gear. Yeah, Guilty Gear time. <laughs> those really be guilty. Girls, gear, those gears really be guilty. Yeah, those, have you heard? That's like the opening song, it's like... Smell of the game. Smell- yeah, I know smell of the game. Oh, we were spending so much time on that fucking puzzle, and it was literally just the slow <laughs> We played hard mode. We played hard mode and got very jank solutions. This whole replay is gonna be pretty different if I actually use that move. Because yeah. I did some really brainy solutions without it. Where is the stupid crate down here? <gasps> Wait, you can finally get it because you can- you can step on your nose. You just got the Metroidvania feeling. <laughs> it's a good one. Ooh, this game's so cool! <laughs> oh, you missed the whole Guilty Gear chat. We were talking about Guilty Gear Lord characters Gear, and stuff. Yeah. I was talking about Bridget and, um... I don't have, like, a solid fave, so like, I don't have plus a R, In plus R, she feels like she's made out of, like, not tissue paper, but, like, <laughs> but, like paper towel rolls. Oh, That's kind of what she feels like. Wow, very specific. At least I mean, like, because you... it, it, it does take more than, like, a combo by the CPU to kill you, but, yeah. like... One or two, and you're done. <gasps> Mario Kart! Yeah, language I'm learning brand. Learning languages. I'm yeah. so impressed by people who are like multilingual, because I'm like, I'm not multilingual. Yeah, I've been talking to her about trilingual <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what happened to those gems? Those gems did not want to be got. I've been talking to Vanessa about trilingual stuff, because I've been getting really interested in the romance languages, just because they're so much easier than Japanese. And are um, they? yes, for an English speaker, like a native only English speaker, there's so many tiers easier. Um, I mean, they have their difficulties, but it's a much different Maybe experience. Try and learn Spanish. I, so my thing is, um, they simply unlock so much of the map. Like, Spanish is spoken so far, and French is spoken pretty decently far, too. And especially in America, I think Spanish especially, like, I have to start learning. Just because, like, I think my big thing with languages is, like, opening up more experiences. Like, oh, people yeah. I can talk to, and nothing opens up more than romance languages in America. Uh, wait, how do I do it reverse? See, this is the, 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 the that that has to be brainy. Mm -hmm. That's a splat fest this weekend. I'll have to kick you out so I can play Splatoon. <laughs> no, I won't do that. I have tomorrow. Taiko and a splat fest is a pretty good day. The, the there will be days that I look back on this. Like, remember when I would just stream a new game, one of the best Metroidvanias with a friend, and then go watch Taiko and play a splat fest? Those were the <laughs> days. Yeah, I was young. I was spoiled. We grinded for this video. We grinded for this video. <laughs> oh my god, the influencers. <laughs> I have... I don't think it's an irrational hatred of influencers, but I do... No, it's not irrational. <laughs> it's generally deserved. I watch so little stuff besides, like, gaming YouTube that... Uh, basically, my experience of fandom might become outdated because I love the shit that was... Like, 
I kind of found what I liked 10 years ago. In, in a lot of ways, it still exists now, but it's like a little bit more annoying. <laughs> but it's still fundamentally pretty similar. Yeah. But stuff like, stuff like influencers, <coughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Do those, do those um, screw knives do more damage? I think they do. But we're also well, getting more damage. damage set? I think I think they actually um, also pierce. Is one thing I've been noticing. I think they pierce better than a normal one. Okay. Look how easy this is. Yeah, that was so stupid. much easier. Oh my god. <laughs> Our damage stat is now 12.2. I wonder if anyone ever watches the streams. <laughs> like, and they're gonna laugh. Idiot. Yeah. I literally, I used to, I used that move night one. And I think uh -huh. I started off the stream being like, hey, look at this cool pose. Yeah, I, I do remember that. And then we never used it I again. We never used it again. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, Robbie, I'm a Metroidvania brain. <laughs> People you can talk to are part of the map of life. What <laughs> Warframe. Around land, world maps that start up in shadow. Yeah, yeah. You unlock a waypoint. And you learn them. Uh huh. Maybe I'll download Duolingo and have the owl threaten my family. <laughs> Jesus, he didn't I love those memes. Yeah, the violent Duolingo owl. Violent Duolingo. Everybody is running with my comparison of language learning to Metroidvania unlocks. You have to understand how my brain works. Like this isn't even ironic. That was almost <coughs> a really good one. You almost had a trick shot. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do trick shots now. It's too easy to do the easy ones. Epic. That was epic. <laughs> Don't deny it. The amount of, of litter you have. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the littering is ridiculous. You're such a bad person. A bad citizen of the earth. I am a bad citizen of the earth, you're right. Okay. I, I, I intend to prove that with my streams. <laughs> Enough of trans rights. Let's have some trans wrongs. <laughs> yes. God forbid girls do anything. <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes. <laughs> it is. It's God really forbid funny. women do anything. <laughs> it's wait, wait, wait. Open your, open your menu again. Mm -hmm. You have so many time and HP upgrades that are just not there. Yeah, that might become a problem, eh? That might that might become yeah, bad. You're to 100%. Or even if I want to not get my ass kicked. <laughs> that, that might catch up with us. I don't think so. Oh, that's nice. But they can, exist, so they yeah. could use it to balance it. You could, you could use it. Well, I mean, again, the, the total maxim is, like, everything theoretically should be dodgeable. Okay. So in my head, I hope they have, they have that maxim. Do Toho players ever make, like, tax evasion jokes about that? Mm, not really. Not more than the standard. Do people like, love tax evasion jokes. Hunter mm -hmm. loves tax evasion jokes, Hunter and it's like loves tax evasion jokes. <laughs> I'm like they're fine. It's similar to war crimes. Like war crimes are so funny to some people, and it's like yeah, it's kind of funny. I think war crimes are a bit funnier than tax fraud. But it's like you know, I, I I'll, I'll take yeah, I'll take like them people, once in a while. There are like people who you know still suffer from that. You're right. They do pierce. Way better. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking. About war crimes? <laughs> no, not about war crimes. <laughs> war, war crimes is definitely a funnier meme than tax fraud to me. Tax fraud got old really quickly. Sorry, Hunter. Sorry, Hunter. It's funny sometimes. Because I don't, I don't make tax fraud jokes myself. It's like, yeah, it's kind of funny. But... IRS jokes are funnier than tax fraud. IRS did, uh, My friends and I made IRS jokes when I was a kid. Which is funny because my dad was an accountant who helped people with taxes. He's like a financial advisor type guy. So the IRS was like kind of a part of my life. More, more than it should have been. Um, but we never uh, had that consciousness. No, I, the IRS is just funny as is for some reason when I was in elementary school. Um, okay, God forbid. I am a war crime counter. <laughs> is that a thing in Fire Emblem? Well, there's war. I was speaking of Hunter, I was talking to him about Fire Emblem. And I hate the most recent game, or the second most recent game, Three Houses, because it's meant to be this like political intrigue and morally gray thing, but it's not. It just uses its story. And it has one character that's pretty much doing the good shit, one character trauma projecting and trying to become like a sympathetic serial killer over it, and one guy who is barely involved in everything else going on. And then I found out that the one character Wait, who the is other, most sympathetic. The right. Yeah? Yeah. They're very, pretty, very pretty, pretty. Yeah, I think. So I found out the character who's most sympathetic, the reason that people oh, no, no, hate no, no, her no, no. Wait, it's, it's is, uh, I'll call it down. Uh, the reason people hate her isn't just because, like, she doesn't give her reasoning, it's because she commits heinous war crimes in the ropes where you're not playing as her. Like, I, like my friends were explaining why she's the, the objective hero, and I agree with them, but the difference that they use to make other people hate her is they have her do more fucked up things to citizens in the other routes. And it's like, this isn't, this isn't moral intrigue. This isn't moral, this game is not interesting. It just makes the fans fight. Um, 
yeah, so that was my that was my Someone war crime moment. Someone will moment. commit a war crime in Fire Emblem, and you just choose who doesn't. Yes, someone will. Some of them are more justifiable than others. Is it to the right? The top right? Oh, I'd like to. We're really, we're really searching for this fucking trait. A, a must not even be in one. I mean, this is a bad, this right here is a bad backtrack. Like, if the blue key is actually in this crate, because, like, I remember there are crates, right? There are crates yeah, everywhere, there, there but are crates. they're not marked on the fucking map. Maybe they should be. And they weren't so good I don't enough have to use marks. my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what I, I I would call this kind of a weakness. If this is, I mean, we, we gotta see, we gotta see, right? Because, like, um. <laughs> if it's just gems, we'll. Yes, exactly. It might not be essential, because I can go progress in the clock tower, which I'll just do now. Um, but there are things to backtrack for with the, the screw knives. It's just that they're so random how they're placed. Because, you know, look at the map, right? Like, there, yeah, there's this yeah, thing, yeah. it's empty. There's that thing, which was the thing with the door. That thing was the thing with the door. Those are easy to remember. There we go. If you say so. I don't know. No, <laughs> sorry. Once you play a lot, they're easy to remember. Kirby does his tactics will always be funny to me. <laughs> Kirby does Fire his Fire Emblem and all the child soldiers, yes. I feel like child I mean, it's it's important to talk about child soldiers as like a thing. Yeah. But I do think in like media It's fun. It, it's it a, has it has lost its impact. Oh yeah. I think when oh, Evangelion came out, right? Yeah. Evangelion and Gundam too. Gundam mm -hmm. has a huge thing about child soldiers. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Naruto, yeah. Naruto, like seriously. It's not dealt with very well, but it's there. But it's there, yeah. Like um It is the problem. <laughs> But like, um, it's like, it's, it's become so normalized in some ways, and I think that's very bad for the, um... Look at this shit. Yeah, it's bad for the discussion about the issue. Yeah. Are you trying to... <laughs> you were trying to loop the loop? Yeah, this is, uh, oh. Oh, oh you already got it. This is like the final boss of camps. Oh, they're really playing with you. Imagine if you weren't engaging with this mechanic up you're to this just point. Like, what the fuck is this? And then you found this, and you're like, "What is this foreboding trash can?" <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know how can to do open, it, can you open your your menu? How many mm -hmm. how many have you gotten? You're missing one still. I'm missing one. I don't think it's. One that I think we've done all the ones on the map. I don't know, they've been filling in in a nice, neat, orderly way. Oh, you know, this might also spoil how many worlds are left. I thought there might only be one. There oh, might five. be two. There it might goes be. to five, yeah. Well, there might because of this whole unused row right here. Right. This might be another row of trash cans. There might be two more worlds. Oh my. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's Romelia. Oh, I can tell that's, that's those are her wings. I can recognize her hat. I've seen enough. I've, I've lived she in has fandom the, for the, long the enough. The Toho. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been in Toho. I've been in online long enough. Ha ha ha. You're here early, Sakuya. Yeah, you're supposed to be the final boss. Yeah, you're yeah, you're here early. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? It's like eleven thirty. It's not even midnight. No. You're going to bother me. At least do it when I have you have all the free time in the world, Sakuya. <laughs> Wait, is it really eleven thirty in game? Does a maid ever have a free time? Oh, that's why I want you to send me back. I haven't even finished cleaning the mansion, doing laundry or shopping today. Mood. <laughs> I've, I've become so domesticated. I like. I'm so happy when I grocery shop and and clean. I'm like. I feel like an adult. I feel productive. You're growing into house life pretty well. Yeah. I can't let you go that easily. I challenge you, Sophia. I'll drench you in your own blood. Now that's a step up what everybody else was promising. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Oh yes, she does turn into bats. Um, Ooh. and more. That is not in the original. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So this is a septet for the dead princess. This is her stage name or her uh, boss name. She's bats. Yeah. So all final bosses have a bomb shield, especially during their final spell, their final pattern. I can and see. it's when you bomb, they're invulnerable. <laughs> oh, which crap. is like really difficult. Uh, cave, cave bosses actually kind of usually like that. Huh. Um, their TOBs don't. Their, their TOBs have bomb shields, but... Oh, we're not even grazing. Uh, uh oh. Oh, that looks like one of her spell cards. Yeah, it looks, it looks, yeah. Like, looks like a Don um, Maku. She, she actually has a uh, Gungnir. That's one of her spears. 
spears? Yeah, she has a spear. It's called Donier, like cool. after the mythological spear. Oh, cool. Um, let's see. I'm trying oh, to crap. think of what spell that looks like. That looks like Scarlet Meister. Scarlet Meister. So she moves. She moves these while I'm doing time stop, and so then that does is a not new... part of the original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they have they have bonus. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, I also, I'll use my free. To do that pattern. Okay. Yeah, what do I do that pattern? <laughs> oh, this is really done, Marco. Yeah, oh, okay, so. No, I'm not, a, I'm yeah. So, I don't know how. I don't know how it translates into Metroidvanias. But typically in Danmaku, you're actually not supposed to move that much. Um, oh, that's, that's, that's true, that's true, that's true. So. Yoshi, stand up. Get a hold of yourself, Yoshi. Hold of yourself. Oh, in public. Man, look at those. Look at those cool freaking hands. Okay, it is 11.30. That's what time it is in real life. <laughs> Wait, it's like so similar to that. Except like p.m. a.m. I wonder if that's like tracking your time like. <laughs> but it's actually a little bit before 11.30. Yeah, that's how I'm thinking. So. Yeah. Oh, but my switch is a little bit off. Ooh. Ah, see, I'm Detective waiting over here. I'll raise you. Um, yes. Okay, so you gotta like double jump over these. Oh no, no, they're destructible. Actually, oh, so I you think... do have you have to time stop them. So that yeah, the... time stop them to get the yellows out, and then I have to dodge the next wave in response. But what about this, huh? What about this? I don't know. Just get better. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get better. <laughs> oh. You're running oh, home. you have a big hitbox in this game. Running helps a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have a normal Metroidvania, like my, my body, instead of just like a Your single... actual sprite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of like a Danmaku one, yeah. Those bats are screwing you. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, let's just do it. Oh, wait, no. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, crap. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool seeing her do counterplay. That is good. Oh, oh. What's going on there? Oh, gr oh, it's all grays. Oh, well, fuck. I'm doing this. <laughs> Oh, oh those are destructible. Yeah, they're destructible. Okay, that, that makes sense. Then I'm way gonna better. be using auto. Oh, auto makes it feel like a Donmaku battle. I get it now. I get it now. But I need MP. I'm grazing all the bats. Can you graze the bats? No. <sighs> Can I graze? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this. Yeah. Oh, I'm playing Toho. I'm playing Toho now. So, auto would be good. I think you can. Can you dash through them? Dash through them? Well, my dash is just kind of a normal walk. It tends not to give me any iframes or anything. But can I destroy these? Yes! Yeah, okay, okay, so I'm gonna use knives against these. That was fun. I'm in the middle of it. That was fun, but this is where the real fun- Yeah, she starts monologuing during your time stop. Jesus. Get during my time stop. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, okay, this is one of her- This, this looks like one of her spell cards. Uh-oh. Um, I can't remember what- What is the name? Here, let me look up the Maria spell cards. Memory of Scarlet. Bliss. Oh no. Get wrecked. Chronicle of Scarlet Bathtub. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you want to take a break? I'm going to grab water, yeah. Okay. Also, <laughs> Juno not finding war crime jokes funny is so valid because, like, the, those memes as just, like, yeah. vague abstract things are such an abstract thing. And then you forget that we're living in an era where we're like, seeing war crimes. People still have war crimes. Like they're on, they're on like every social media feed right now. Like we, we, we all have fresh memories of what a war crime looks like right now due to Palestine. That is a fair sore subject. Let's see. Um, it looks like. <laughs> Okay, speaking of speaking of the Middle East, that spell card looks a lot like Star of David. Oh my god. It's the name of the it's called Heaven's Punishment Star of David. Alright, Heaven's Punishment, Star of David. Um Yeah. Memories yeah. of Starlet Death. Yeah, Curse of Lad Taps. I mean Scarlet Shoot, which is Scarlet Meister. Um Yeah, you're going to Oh oh here's here's what it's in the lunatic. It's called God's Punishment, Young Demon Lord. Okay. God's punishment, young demon lord. Now I know. Now I know her weakness. See, so yeah, having a demon, I guess. Uh, having ones that I can damage back, it's a pretty big change. That's good. They all have their gimmicks, I think, right? Yes. But so what what do we do? What do we actually do with the one that centers around the middle? Is it? Do I have to damage it? I think you. No, I think. Cool. 
I think you're supposed to pause time and then, like, dash, uh, dash, dash under, like, knife, knife dash. Under. Oh, knife dash under, now, now I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Knife dash. Slide. Slide to the bottom. Oh. Oh, the bats are fucking me up. Real good. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one. Okay, so. Oh, oh no, they, I can't oh, destroy them. I can't destroy them. Okay. Yeah, that's very important. Oh. Oh, they, but they keep tracking you. But they suck. They're little jerks. They're still amped. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I really want more time than I have. Hi. <laughs> I'm out of everything. Oh, yeah, that was a terrible one. I'm really enjoying those bullet patterns. They're they're very reminiscent of her spell cards. Yeah, Juno. I don't think it's gallows humor for anybody who actually makes those jokes. It's literally like abstracted. It's not even intentional irony. It's just like a, a word that people say. Like my first memory was like the Brian David Gilbert like Bowser's Army War cries. Like it was never gallows humor. It was never like oh what a fucked up world. Like. I feel like the vein, like the, the way, like the way that like the Yoshi taxes thing is just kind of abstracted to nothing. It was literally just like a ha ha funny thing, specifically like from people it's who like this, don't have any actual. Right. It's yeah. Like this cute character who does atrocious. Things. Right. Exactly. Like it's, it has nothing to do. It's so abstracted, which which isn't an excuse, but more of like a people totally forget what they're saying. Right. It's not gallows humor. It's like totally like unself conscious. <laughs> um, picture. <laughs> Whatever this is. Thank you. <laughs> You can do this. <laughs> we got this. The thing is, like, as crazy as this is, I think something about Toho makes it so chill. It's like, yeah, we're just hanging out, you know? We're just having a little spat. We're just having a little spat. I mean, I, I think I told you in lore that, like, Don Moth is not lethal. Right. It's and like, it, it's, 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 it's like a... It's, uh, like, a like a rubber, rubber ball. ball. Yeah, yeah, rubber ball. <laughs> You want to keep dashing, I think, as you go forward, because it'll Wait. they'll keep following you. Wait, my knives are blocking. <laughs> my knives are blocking me still. Oh, there we go. Hey, I actually, yeah, they're, they're I going go. to. Yeah. Oh, but oh, yeah, I see, I see. Uh oh, oh, auto is good. I might just save auto as defense. Ouch. <laughs> mm. just some knives. Okay, so let's go free knives. There we go. Full punish. Uh, bats? I did so little damage. I was <laughs> just looking at her oh. health bar. I'm just looking at her health bar. Oh, I'm grazing. Okay. So let's, uh, let's, ju let's just slide. And then, yeah, we're still gonna be in danger. Oh, we're good. Okay. If you go under it, I don't think you have to destroy them. Oh, crap. I was, I was whatever, I ch whatever I chose, yeah. I chose wrong. <laughs> Uh oh. I was focused on dodging and you were focused on damage. Yes. I, te I tend to try to solve this situation by killing them, which isn't always optimal, especially Usually, not for a longer one. Um, it's kind of funny. In Mushihime Sama, you can set auto fire to some like mega damage auto fire rates. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, um, you, can, you can honestly skip phases of bosses. <laughs> Ideal. Um, Abnormal Palm in Futari is kind of like that, where he will only have to dodge like. He won't even have to dodge patterns that other other shot types will have to dodge like five pattern five waves. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Dang, these these are problems. Those pink attacks right there. Her gun gear. Yeah. Oh gun yeah, gun gear is a real problem. Bat oh, see the even if I I don't have a great bat strategy. Is it just freeze time and do stuff? Oh yeah, I guess. Pretty good. I have not. It's it's cool. It's functionally cool. There's a lot of different enemies. The boss is really cool. The music is good. Can't always say that about my Castlevania ones I've experienced. Oh. They're just kind of. I wonder if you can jump over them. Maybe, but let's see them jump over this. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> I could be a Toho character. Put me in, Coach. Put me into the lore. <laughs> Let me in. I was too early. Could with that. you, um, Sane from Tan? She's like, she's from the outside world. Let's go! 
Oh, I made it through. Sana is from the outside world, and she's like kind of a weeb. Oh, I could be her. Yeah. I could fill in the gaps. You could be like Sana. Oh, so aspirational. She's like, she loves her kotatsu and mikan. She loves her kotatsu and mikans. Okay, so now doing her the... theme is really cool too. It's like a rock theme. Oh, this is so much fun. We found really good strategies for every move now. I'm so glad. I, I, I'm so glad we noticed they were destructible. Yes. Okay, so knife. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm out of time, aren't I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Here. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use all of my clock on that move, but it, it works. Oh, knives are doing great damage. Oh, bats. Go slow. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I should have just let them fall, honestly. <laughs> At that point, I should have just let them fall. Oh, here, I'm gonna do some damage. And then I still have a little bit of clock so I can get out. I feel like I'm getting masterminded here. Um, And then she's about to do the. Yeah, yes. That was bad. That was bad this time. Okay, with <laughs> these two. Where the real fun begins. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I always look silly. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's the young demon lord. I have a problem. <laughs> As I yeah. jumped. So I guess I should stick you to the just ground. Have to just stick to the ground, yeah. yeah. Memories of Starlet Death. What's that? That's, that's uh, predicting the name of that move when you were looking it up. Oh, okay. Sorry. We're it making... was pretty close. Yeah, we're, make, we're making up our own castle, <laughs> our, our own Toho names. Some of the Toho names are really crazy. It's kind of hype. I mean, the one I always remember is Love Colored Master Spark. Love this. I remember that one. You told me that. Yeah. And then we experienced it. Or it's just oh, Master Spark. You know, Marissa has some really memorable ones. Um, the Opera has a really infuriating one called. Um, what is it? It's called uh, Unidentified Fantastic Object. <laughs> which, like is the, which is the name of the game, right? And oh, like, cool. U UFO is kind of like the theme of UFO. <laughs> Understandable. Um, it's a really difficult final spell. It's probably the hardest final spell in my opinion. Overall. I think a lot of people will say Junko's or Junko's final spell, Pure Don ah. Pure Don Maku Hell. Pure Don Maku Hell. Um, yeah, her whole deal is purity. And Pure Don Maku Hell is like a whole bunch of RNG spam. Oh jeez. Um, it, it's not just that. There's it's like it's many overlapping patterns plus RNG on top of it. Those bats do such big damage that they're a huge problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, she put them back into her sleep. Oh. You, um, here, time. For bats? No, the, the yellow ones reverse. Oh, yes. yes, yes. Wait, no, I, need to, I need to let this happen. Yeah, I need this to play out. And then get myself through the end. Okay. Oh, gun gear. Yeah, gun gear is a big problem every time. Here we go. Now I'm getting some damage on. You just use your entire claw. Yeah. I mean, it's usually worth it. Although, not if bats are gonna be a. What is that? Auto? Oh, crap. Auto? <laughs> I am in charge. <laughs> okay. This is getting really easy now. Uh, no, no, not, not this generally, but that move. That's the first part. Yeah. You're, you're, you're getting it consistent. Yes, you, these, these are. Oh, well. These are related. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so. This is my spot, and it's gonna be the safe spot. No, it's not. I don't know how you do that. Time? Maybe? I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Um, yo, Let's wait. Let's see, so... chat, do you have any ideas? Yeah, come on, chat. Um, chat. I can't be carrying this. <laughs> <laughs> as I say, as I'm not playing the game. <laughs> You're like a magical familiar, and I'm just like yeah. running ragged. Yeah. Um. What a. Maybe there's just a safe zone? I don't think there is. What do we do? Because they all rotate. All the beams rotate. What do we do? Also, Septet is spelled differently. Oh. <laughs> we die. I just noticed the, the thing in the bottom left with the title card. <laughs> Damage. It's big. All these hits really mm -hmm. stay. Uh, you know, one thing that sucks is when you're doing a boss and yeah. you get to the point where 
any hit feels kind of dispiriting. Oh crap, that was absolutely me. Where it's like, you know, it's like, oh crap, I got hit early. I might as well stop the run right now, you know? Oh, okay. it, can, it can be kind of a mind game, though. It's usually not usually not right. That's every time you have a miss in a Don game, that's what it feels <sighs> that's like. That's so rough. Well, because, um, so like in Cave, there are only, you start with two lives in stock. Mm -hmm. So you get two extra, you, you have three hits in total. Um, and then there's usually two score based extends and one hit and extend in the cave game. So you have five extra lives. Um, so you can, plus bombs, but like you only have five, like, misses oh, that you can, yes. you're afford to, to make. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that is Toho to to is much better, but um, Scarlet Devil is much closer to Cave, I think. I think you have two stock, two. Two stock, two extends, and two score base. Can extends. I do that? Oh, I almost got out. I almost got out. Oh, there we go. So to to Toho to 6 only has six extra lives, I think. Okay. We have using clock, so I'll use it. Okay, yeah, we got some damage. Bats! This how is gonna she, really disappear I'm really in me. I'm really confused how she's connected to that contraption. <laughs> that, that's for after. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we have enough clock for this, which is not much clock at all. Um, crap. And then I'm just gonna MP? Yep. MP store. Now she's doing this, which is nice. Oh shit. You know what? I wanna have my fun before you have your fun. Fuck off. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die in there, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to close on you now? Um, oh, you do have to be under her, and you just have to avoid the. You have to be in the air when they fire under her. It's a hard thing to realize, you know? Yeah. You ever think about death? <laughs> ever think about dying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were about to. Uh, well, actually, I think you'll take through this. Yeah. Uh... Or maybe not. It goes on pretty long. <laughs> It goes on really long. Oh, I shouldn't have listed like that. I could have at least dodged gun gear. Okay, we're getting there. Um, time and jump on knives to- Oh! Jump on <gasps> knives! Jump on knives! Oh, everybody's always calling me a loser for my passion for jumping on knives. <laughs> I'm always falling off buildings. They're like, oh, Layla, you're a low-tier god. And it's like, hmm, will there ever be a day? Well, I will say, it's gonna be tough because... You know, those, 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 knives, those knives better stick around. Oh wait, no, no, they have to, I can't freeze myself on knives while time is moving. Oh, that's that's gonna be, that's gonna be the killer. I shouldn't have just stood there and took gun gear. See, I'm already dispirited. Wait, can you, can you put knives on the building? Possible. Possible. <laughs> possible. possible. Can you just put knives there and then just sit on it during the... <laughs> I don't think, I would have to pause the fight. Yeah. Why am I doing this? I'm losing my grip. Um, it's okay. Um, don't get tilted. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, so we're going through. Oh, fuck you! We're doing knives. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you. <laughs> this is this, this is moot. This this, is... The, the, this stock is moot. I'm I'm seeing Layla get tilted. I'm it seeing happens. I'm seeing her lose her mental it in front of my eyes. It happens. <laughs> okay. Fuck bats! Fuck bats! I've never liked bats. <laughs> Overrated animal. <laughs> Okay. Are, um, you a, are you a fan of uh, um, vampires turning into wolves over bats? I'm, I'm, I'm more bats than wolves, probably. Uh, I like bats. Ah! When you look at it from that angle, though, when you look at it from that angle, the Twilight gets more interesting. More interesting. And that that vampires could be could be wolves or bats. I thought it was a werewolf boy. He's actually he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a bat wolf. He's he's a wolf. He's a wolf bat. No no no. There's it is werewolves and though. Vampires. But what if all werewolves are just like a subspecies of vampire? Huh. Then, uh, what blood. What would you think of that? I would think blood? I wouldn't think much. But like the, the, the dynamic of... The dynamic of, uh, of vampires and werewolves is like they're always, you know, at each other's throats or whatnot. Oh, I guess I haven't like, consumed enough media with both of them to even be aware of that dynamic. Like octolings and inklings. Ah! Okay, that was. I think that was my moot one. I you said. gotta do the head nod. <laughs> what is that? I think like I, I actually don't know. Doing the head nod when you're tilted, I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe like showing respect to my enemy. <laughs> I acknowledge you. Stand proud. You are strong. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Juju Skyson? It had like that meme lately. I think. I will, I will forever acknowledge you. And then someone died. <laughs> <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen in 10 seconds, and then someone died. 
Oh, JJK. I don't know. Sarah likes JJK. Yeah. We should, we should ask her. I haven't watched JJK or um, Demon Slayer. So I haven't either. I'm not part of so, this era so. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, Y'all still like My the, Hero Academia? <laughs> the last shonen I was like up to date with. I not, and I haven't even watched its final season was uh, Attack on Titan. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was pretty relevant well for a while. Uh, so yeah, I remember watching it in, like, middle school. <laughs> or high school. Or yeah, it's like a had a long run. It was popular for it's a long really time. Long. Well, it was, like, Mappa's big. Oh, Mappa. Right? Yeah. Because, like, it was, it was, like, oh, my God, look at the 3D. And everyone was, like, going crazy over the animation. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I guess it ran for long enough that, yeah, 3D would have been pretty big back then. I think you Photobolt did the first 3D kind of crazy stuff, and then Oh, Mappa. I think they did Fate. They did Fate, they did Unlimited Blade Works, and they just did the Heaven's Field movies. Oh. Um, they did other stuff too, like, um, other Fate adjacent, like, Nazi-verse stuff. Oh. Which, by the way, that's, that's also a fandom that I'm like, tell how I have come to regret being <laughs> so invested in. Seems kind of rough. Ben's a big fan of that stuff. Though. I don't know if he's I mean, in the fandom, but there's, he's into there's that nothing. Stuff. I, I think the actual works and like, the stories are pretty cool, but like, it's a part of the. It's, I mean, not even the community. It's just like, I think lots of communities have their bad parts, but it's oh, yeah. every. It's just like the gotcha. Like the gotcha. Oh, yeah. I'm wasting all of my time on that goddamn gotcha was not a good, great decision. Yeah. <laughs> Although I will stick by. Um, the Camelot, the Camelot and Babylonia arcs were actually really good. They were really solid. Cool. Yeah, Ben Ben really likes Fate. I think it got him into a lot of other stuff too. Like actual, I think he liked Fate as like his first anime back when it was really novel that he liked any anime at all. And now he's really into history and action. So I think that went well for him. Now he like yeah. actually reads about history and like yeah. is super super into like different cultures like action was manga. Was a girl? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ben was like googling. No, he had like a super specific gender, which was so him. He was never really into anime that much, but like it was easy to picture him as a silver haired anime villain. And then eventually he came around to that. It was always true, he just didn't know it. He became weird. Be the superhero, a uh, super hair, what is it, silver haired villain your friends imagine you to be? That, so that's him. That's literally him. Oh crap, I had no clock? No, I had clock. What did I do wrong? I'm starting to like miss up button inputs and stuff. Yeah, your mental is. It's okay. We die. We die. Maybe we should go back to finding crates. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it wasn't so damn fun. It is. It's, it's very cool. I like this. I'm trying to figure out what her apparatus is inspired by, though, because all the other bosses had stuff that was, like, relevant to them. <laughs> and this, this is just, just a like, new apparatus. She's just like, I guess I'm Leonardo da Vinci now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that is very, very Renaissance. Hey, Amelia. Freaking weeb. <laughs> you Italian <laughs> weeb. <laughs> you Italian weeaboo. I taught my I taught my kids the the term weeaboo. Oh God. And I was like, it's kind of like it kind of means like look up to. And they're like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You figured it out. Oh no! That was so yeah, they go up when you. Just knives. Just knives. Just knives. <laughs> ah! <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, I wonder if using your slow. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, I should I should tell you. Romilia's special ability. So all, all yokai have like special abilities and stuff. Mm -hmm. Romilia's ability is the ability to manipulate fate. Oh. Well, that's pretty intense. It's pretty intense. Uh, Hondres is like unequivocal destruction. <laughs> it's not. It's not actually that, but like she can see. She calls them eyes in everything. Like people have a core, and she can just like reach out and crush the core, and it'll instantly destroy whatever she does. Oh my! That's how she destroyed the meteor. The meteor. Yeah. There's a meteor that's going to fall in Tokyo, and she just destroys it. Oh my god! In the manga, it's really, it's really weird. So there's um. So there's one like ongoing Toho manga. No, there's actually quite a few. Oh, okay. I think um, 
thought this is like unfair cheating Detective Satori. And it's like, it's about to finish, but it's been running for quite a few years. Um, there's Silent Sinner in blue. Oh wait, maybe that's a game. <laughs> oh, no, I, think it, I think it's a manga. Um, there's Inaba of the Moon and Inaba of the Earth. Um, Scarlet Rhapsody, I believe, is a game. I don't know, there's, there's quite a few. And they're all by Zune? They're all written by Zune, but they're illustrated by different artists. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, I really like the way that Toho exists as an indie thing. I like that there is one core creator that can kind of give, like, canon canonicity to things, but then, mm -hmm. like, it's so collaborative. It's really, it's really great. The music scene is amazing. Toho. Let's see, I've kind of been wanting to find more like music community things. Like I've just been getting into Vocaloid and stuff. Like it's you, it's a cool concept. Yeah. If you go to like the Melvin books and stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> there, there's just an entire subject for Toho. That's right. So you mentioned there are Toho CDs, and like it didn't cross my brain that was, that was a new thing to me. Is Toho CDs? Yeah. Pause time. Yeah, no slowing. Just pausing here. Oh yeah, this was a uh, love colored. <laughs> Love colored Nanika. Um, Marisa's. Yeah, Marisa's. Name. Yeah, it was like the training dummy for that move. Whoops. That was a cool fight. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so, in some oh, ways, the okay. backgrounds are. You know, they have, everything is generally uh -huh. like a 1632 bit kind of beat. But um, those trees in the background are even more retro looking. Like they're so green. Like they, they look more like an almost eight bit era kind of tree, like an old old Castlevania. Yeah. I think it's a mix of like they're going for like a Rondo of Blood's Spinning at the Night graphic style, but they're also throwing it back really directly to old old Castlevania. So it's kind of a mix of just all kinds of retro looks. The general uh, retro pastiche. Yeah. I was about to say um because we're about stories my graduation story oh my gosh <laughs> this is something um i didn't mention in the chat because like this would be great story for stream mm -hmm. um but yesterday was the graduation ceremony for one of my schools uh, but no one told me that they just told me there were no classes <laughs> so i came to school in sweats because i was like kids aren't going to be here i'm just going to be in the office with other teachers I, I got into the office, everyone was wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what? And they're like, it's the graduation ceremony. And I was like, no one told me it was the graduation ceremony. Mm -hmm. So I um, I ran. The school is about a mile from where I live. <laughs> so I ran a mile to my apartment. That's such a craziest yeah. thing. And then I, I changed, like, I just stripped off every single piece of clothing on me. And then I just, just threw a suit on. <laughs> And then I was like, I was like buttoning my shirt and like doing my tie and stuff. As I um, was like running back, the mile back, and I got I got there in time. Like I made it. You you, you clutched that one out. It was really it was like stressful. But it was like snowing. It was snowing where I was. Yeah, there was snow on the ground. I was like <laughs> I was dashing over the snow. It was crazy. Um, but but what happened after was after the ceremony. Everyone had a spare change of clothes, just like into casual clothes. Mm -hmm. So I was stuck in the suit for the rest ah! of the day, and everyone else went into sweats. And I was like, you fuck. This video is so awkward for me. Because, like, the first time something happened, I forget it was, we had some, like, kind of day where everybody was having a uh, store or it's gonna ordered bento. Like, there was, like, a big catering thing. Yeah. And um, my cook teacher was like, yeah, it's kind of expensive. Don't bother. But, like, if you don't get any, like, it's going to be kind of awkward. Like, maybe you should just, like, take thank awesome. you and go home. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Doing the chandelier check. Uh -huh. um, and I was like, okay, uh, like, I don't think it would be that life? awkward. No. No, because it's not the library. Huh. How tricky. Fuck you! Because <laughs> I, I was like, how awkward could it really be? And, um, I don't know, so I did take Nenki that first time, because I was like, whatever, don't have to tell me twice, I had a little bit to spend. Um, and then, uh, I, have, I have weird memories, I have memories of this room. But oh. yesterday, no one even told me, no one even offered it. I probably would have bought the nice lunch if I was offered it. Yeah, I um, know, really. They totally forgot to. And then... It kind of was awkward that I wasn't eating. Like everybody was like talking about me, and it's like, oh, well, like, yeah. People was like, kind of like, oh, you know, where, where's the lunch? And I was like, okay, well, you know, I wasn't self-conscious, but now I kind of am. And it was just like a very awkward afternoon. And then one lady yeah. who's like 
friendly with me, who, like, I, like, got lunch with and stuff, and some other people, like, my first day, haven't talked to her since, but, you know, we've been friendly, um, she was like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm, everyone's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, uh, I'm working. I'm gonna go to the company for lunch. She's like, are you going with anybody? And I'm like, no, I, I, I would. And then she's like, I, I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't think, like, we had a nice time talking and stuff. Like, I, I don't think she was, like, feeling too put out but i could not tell what degree of put out she was because she offered to drive me and i was like sure and like she did enthusiastically but like she made this face at one point and i was like am i putting you out or are you just disappointed that nobody like that i was left in this situation and you're like being my hero like i didn't know what's going on none of this had to be a thing because i was fine i would just walk down the street and got my little fucking ramen and come back but it was so awkward. Like I loved this school, so I was like, "Oh my god, did I never? Did I never belong?" Like I was joking before with uh, Muse that like, okay, careful. Thank you. I, I was joking like uh, yeah, th- yeah. this sense of being treated as a, as an outsider and a guest doesn't have any hands, mm-hmm. and then it all hits you, and it's like, "Oh damn, no, it really did." <laughs> all that Tate Mai. All that Tate Mai, I really did have hands. <laughs> um, you can just go under it while times pause too. Oh yeah. We don't need this game. Oh, okay. This isn't even the worst part. <laughs> this isn't even the worst part about my my clothing fiasco, though. Go on. Right. So I, I was telling Mel this before. Mm-hmm. But um, so after school, I was like, okay, I can finally change into like normal casual clothes, and I did. And I was like, <laughs> and I was going to, and I also had a sobitskai. I had like a going away party with other teachers who were leaving the school too. Um, and so what happened was. I changed into like more casual, like like not even business casual, because the last time I was at a party with these people, it was it was still super casual. So I, I changed into like casual clothes and I, I went out. When I got to this fucking party, everyone was wearing suits again, <laughs> and I was like, "Are you kidding me? I have changed clothes so many times today, and I'm always guessing wrong." And that was a picture of you dressed casually with all the suit people. Yeah, I'm like in jeans with like a. An open jacket. <laughs> and the rest of the people are in like in suit and ties. But at least I fit I fit into the Izakaya. And the Izakaya, like yeah, the my Isakaya. outfit made sense and they were the super kinda weird ones. But... <laughs> but for the initial party, I was like, I had to give a speech and everything. Oh Because <sighs> um Because you know I was going away. They're yeah, like oh, are going away teachers, give a speech. Yeah, like, yeah. Where what are your hopes and dreams? <laughs> what are your hopes and dreams, teachers? Oh, I thought maybe I could do that. It turns out that the sound waves still heard in stop time. <laughs> yeah, seems weird for sound, frankly. But damn, those sound waves have hands. <laughs> <laughs> those those static sound waves have hands. Let us go. Yeah, we're good at this room. Yeah, it was it was pretty rough. A piece of toast. I was I was definitely like the least appropriately dressed person there. <laughs> it's so hard being a foreigner. It is. Here's but it's another also, thing. They didn't like the tie I brought when I when I did do the tie for the what? graduation. They didn't like the tie because it wasn't white. Oh my gosh. And I was like, I don't want a white tie. <laughs> I didn't bring one of those. I've only used. But they're not really a thing in America, are they? White ties? No. No, I've never seen a white tie. So I brought a black tie and a colored tie, and they're like, it's like, which one do I do? And they're like, neither. I was like, what? <laughs> so I stole someone's white tie. <laughs> I, no, I literally went through like the staff lockers and I was like, who has a spare white tie? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah. But then like, and for the rest of the day, I, I put it back after the ceremony, and then like when we were waving goodbye to kids, I was wearing my actual tie. Yes. Oh my god, waving goodbye to kids. We, we did that for so long. We just stood and <gasps> clapped. Love the clapping for so long, saying goodbye. I don't know. Is it common? Is it common to have the whole office stand up and see you out the door on your last day? It's oh my common. god. That was so surprising. I was like, y'all are watching me put my shoes in my backpack know, right it's, now. It's really weird, yeah. I was really happy. They, they, everyone looked so happy. It was, made me happy. But I was totally surprised. They thought that was so funny. Oh, this is kind of... I literally said that. They were like, what? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, not really. 
Honestly, that's usually when I feel the loneliest is when I'm going home. So it was kind of poetic having every person come like warmly see me off in that moment. So I was like, that's kind of a nice ending. But uh, that was a slick dodge. <laughs> I have been, yeah, known, yeah. I've been known to slick. There are so many knives in this game. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. <laughs> I've been known to slick and slide. It's too that funny. sounded less bad. <laughs> yeah. I love this cafe room. This must be the entrance to the library. Oh, it's really not a cafe, is it? Cafe de Toho. <laughs> cafe de Partuli. That is the uh, name of a Toho album. Several Toho jazz albums. Oh, really? I think it's to co Cafe de Toho. Sounds nice. Awesome. And YouTube keeps taking it down and people keep uploading it. And they started doing like the SpongeBob meme. It's like, how many times do we have to teach you this, old man? Oh my god. Let me let it. <laughs> you are evil. <laughs> Doki Doki. Oh my gosh, yeah, I posted some of the cards I got from the kids and they were so sweet. It's been it's just been a lot of emotions. I was tired of emotions yesterday when the awkward stuff was happening. Yeah. I was like, I can't even do any more emotions right now. If you guys look up Cafe de Toho, the, literally the top result is how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Cafe de Toho 1 through 8 album. Oh my gosh. What is the music like? Is it like chill? It's like, it's, yeah, it's like, like bossa nova oh. kind of ch chill jazz. That is the, I have the Kirby Cafe soundtrack right there. It is such good shit. It's such good shit. Do they actually play that at the Kirby Cafe? Mm -hmm. The atmosphere is outstanding. Immaculate. Immaculate. Where are these crits? <laughs> I have not seen even a one. Their, their infamy is unending. Should I look up a guide? Oh, <laughs> uh, we could. But I don't think we terribly need that. Oh my god, my knife's saving my ass. I don't think we terribly need them. Because we have a boss to fight, you know? That's true. But it would help, wouldn't it? Well, I'll find them eventually. Have we been here before? I don't remember this room. I do. I do think I do. Because these are going to move. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is Patchouli zone. The There's got to be a crate. The Patchoukis. In the library. <laughs> Patchoukis. The, the Patchoukis. <laughs> Please never say that again. <laughs> I'll keep it. In, I'll keep it in my deck. Your deck. Of thing of things to say. I don't know how to feel about that. The patoons. Yeah. <laughs> you hate Russian. What? <laughs> Sounds a bit Russian to me. What does it? <laughs> the patoons. <laughs> Maybe Hebrew. You should have had a piece of toast in your mouth as you were running back. <laughs> Snow toast. It completed my transformation into an anime girl. Yes. An anime idol tie. Mm, they that exist. would have been really funny. The Madoka tie. The Madoka tie? That would have been crazy. <laughs> Madoka Play tie one. stays on during. <laughs> you activated my Gaijin card. Go, Homura. <laughs> Go home or a tie at the at the graduation ceremony. I activate blue eyes white. <laughs> <laughs> I activate blue eyes white foreigner. Blue eyes white guy gene is a really good cadence. Is a really good cadence. You're right. I activate blue eyes white guy gene. <laughs> Never mind the fact that I'm not white. I have blue eyes. <laughs> blue, blue eyes. <laughs> you can activate it. Yeah, my my foreigner privilege. Yeah. Just find find the terror or somebody with that actual makeup to give it to you. Yeah, the card. Yeah, like, Tara, can I have can I have the can I have the white person card? Can I have can I have the white foreigner card? Can I have the foreigner card. <laughs> it is weird because I usually can't play the foreigner card um, in you, Japan. You just serve to play the foreigner card if you want to. I believe in as it. A treat. Because you're just as confused as everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> as a treat the tree. Do wait, is there something on the if you like throw knives will you get or something? You kinda of think, huh? And I have the power. Yeah. Some people don't like this move, but I like a move where you slow down time and then jump and you can stand on your knives. <laughs> Some people don't like this move. I've gotten shit from Meta You've gotten haters. I got haters. <laughs> yeah. If Mel has one hater, I'm <laughs> <laughs> If the knife jumping technique has one hater, it's me. Oh my god. If it has one supporter, it's me. So good. Uh oh. Can you just throw knives from the spot? Yeah, I could, but it's kind of for pussies. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know all the toxic thoughts about this game. <laughs> People get onto r dash Luna Nights, and it's been so long since we got any content that we just make up horrible things to say about every <laughs> individual room and its sequences. Something sounds like you're projecting. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no too. Chad, give us an insane topic to talk about if we want to get my mojo back for this boss. Give us an insane topic like planetary biomes. <laughs> we had a good conversation about that. We did. All these I love, I love just the tangents. No, the, ta the tangents are tangents, spice of life. On. Spice of life. When you cannot talk about to this, this degree, it's like I'll have such a lack next week. When I'm watching your stream and I won't be able to talk to you. <laughs> oh. Well, lots of reasons to come back. Yeah. We have the, the other stream. As long as your car doesn't get ticketed. <laughs> as long as the car you have. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take the train. In case. Huh. I'll, not, I'll knock on the door during the middle of the stream and be like, Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> we can come why oh. did Why didn't you respond to oh. my, <laughs> the super parasocial like? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why didn't you respond to my chat message? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You liked Juno's messages, but not mine? What does yeah. that mean? Our friendship's falling apart. I see how it is. When I leave Japan. Oh, yeah, then I'm, I'm like, what does that contract end? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> god, this fucker. <laughs> no, you got a long four months left. Just because they're non binary. <laughs> <laughs> they think they're entitled to my love. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. That that belongs in like such an art house like, like deconstruction. The Not that. <laughs> like some like some like members of our community is like making a movie about what it was like to live during like COVID Trump era like trans life. There's like all the weird shit like, oh I remember those days. All those entitled motherfuckers who thought we were best friends just because we were trans friends. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, that's not a topic to have to tackle on anything besides a dedicated think piece type movie. It was an art house showing of like some super avant garde, like probably time stop with like slow time shots. <laughs> and there's like, oh, you put Toho references in this. <laughs> Just the absolute unhinged video. I want to make a movie. I want to write a fucking book about what I've been through as a Japanese studies person, working at camp especially, and then being on this program. It is a crazy life, you know? Because if you're studying Japanese, it's all the most ordinary stuff ever. But when you tell these adventure stories to somebody who doesn't know what's going on, it's like, you're studying the hardest language, why? And you traveled where? And you did what? And you met what kind of people? It's like it's like that meme where it's like the Breaking Bad people being like, like come on, Walter, don't you know about like Baba da ba da the ba da ba da the Triangle Murders, the Pentagram? Like, <laughs> it's, it's like, like don't you know about ALTs? Ten year white guys with Japanese wives not speaking not speaking Japanese. It's like what are you talking about? It's like you don't know about ALTs? You don't know about the end too? It's like Sorry. what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, totally. <laughs> like we're just we're we're an unhinged group. It, it's a very specific, very... I always say that we're the anime marines. <laughs> People who like anime enough to not stop and keep learning the hardest language and then, like, uproot themselves and move to another country. <laughs> definitely the people who do the, the Japanese language. Yes. But there are definitely people on Jet who are just like... I just wanted to go to Japan. Oh yeah, there are normie people who are just like, I love traveling! And then there are people who are like, I've spent seven years doing this, and I'm not good at doing anything. <laughs> like, the fucking, the fucking battle needs. Wait, I feel like a battle need. Don't, don't call me out like that. <laughs> don't, don't call me out, I'm not good at anything. <laughs> The battle meets. We ordinarily, I, I should be in my parents' basement, but actually I'm globe trotting. <laughs> I like it. It's like the the stack overflow. <laughs> <laughs> I think the stories need to so be told. You're so bottom, you you accidentally talk. <laughs> <laughs> I I struggle to make connections between like sexual stuff and like being a person. I know the internet's very into that right now, but people would be like, "Oh, they're totally paying for that order because they're a top," and it's like, I no, think you can do no, anything. I don't think so. Yeah, it's like, I think oh, you can okay, do oh, anything inside. I think the blue key is after Romeo yeah, because we're down in the basement, and that's where Flandre is. Oh, we're going to the basement. Oh my god, this probably is going to be another week of stream. I can make next week. Well, can I? What is next week? I think I actually promised one of my. If it's Sunday, 
I can make a sexy. I usually do Sunday. Yeah. But I if it's Saturday, I think I promised someone I, I would go to lunch. With I them. think next week I finally don't have any plans. It's been like a month and a half of having like three plans yeah. every weekend. I'm kind I'm of sorry. falling apart. Yeah. It, I mean, it's been fun, but like, yeah. Um, you I need think you time. I really yeah. do. I really do. That's why Rusty keeps being like, I'll come to your house this evening. And it's like, great. <laughs> like, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just I'll pull out the fucking carpet. Uh, which is uh, very, very kind of him to do that. But it's like, ah, the evening where I do nothing. I am doing mm-hmm. ambiguously something. Um, I hate that. Like when you have to wait for a delivery. Yes. Um, <coughs> what was I going to say? Oh yeah, next weekend I kind of don't have plans. We kind of could do Toho 3 on Sunday. I think that might be the, for the I'm best. Sure. Yeah. So I can relax and fight this boss. I'll probably end after Romelia then. <laughs> yeah, probably. I am kind of tired, but I might get a second one. This most. I'm the only weird, the only weird one. You're like animal organs in <laughs> scalper. <laughs> I think I would, I would get too squeamish for that, but that kicks ass. Using animal organs. I think there would be probably a high rate of... Uh, tissue rejection? <laughs> Probably. I mean, I have my fucking horse estrogen in the closet. I'm sorry, what? I got, when I came to Japan, I went to a general ladies clinic because uh-huh. I heard that if you're not looking for a ton of particular treatment, you can just go and get your hormones at a normal clinic that does hormones. So I'm okay. like, I have six milligrams of estradiol. I need that. And he's like, hmm. He gives me 0.7 milligrams of Pramarin. And I'm like, I bet that's the same. And then I'm like, so I take six milligrams. And he's like, hmm two pills a day <laughs> so it's Pramarin which you don't use anymore in the states because uh-huh. it's made out of horses and it's even worse for your heart than a stradiol and uh-huh. it was only like it would have been so little medication it was such a comically bad exchange so I still have it because I haven't used it and I, I googled it and it's like it's like don't use Pramarin use a stradiol it's better for your heart yeah oh isn't there more polyamorous I think that is I a mean, good point you know it's always kind okay. of a gimmick in fandom yeah. Maybe, sorry, I, maybe, maybe, maybe be... that's too strong because we do have we do have traffic card. We do we do have traffic card. <laughs> I, like... I have to say this is probably my like my bad spot as an ally. Is that like hard? Hard. It's like it's it's hard for me to do like poly like understand poly things. Which mm-hmm. you don't have to understand something to support people. Yeah. And I'm I'm, I'm really trying to be better about that. But it's like, it's hard to fit into your brain. Yeah. It's like like when people say like oh I just don't understand non binaryism or like I just don't understand trans people it's like that's that's the thing where like oh I like I wish I understood this so I could like be a better ally but, but it's just hard to wrap your brain around yeah, it yeah it's just it's just I'm just bad it's definitely like yeah it, I don't feel like I'm a bad ally or anything I just kind of am like that happens sometimes and it doesn't usually happen near me but shipping. I, I, we were, I was just getting mad this morning about just kind of like the cycle of like like Splatoon is going through this. Oh, okay. Roll with me on this. I say okay. this in the company of friends. We're, we're ready for we're ready for the rants. I'm I, ready for the Melovania rants. I say this in the company of friends. As somebody who spent years trying to prove that like Love Live girls were lesbians because they were obviously super flirty with each other and there are no guys in their series. Mm-hmm. I understand. I um the des- I understand the desire to try and like find subtext lesbians, right? Find characters where you can argue that they're lesbians because there's so little lesbian rap. I understand that, but it is such a vicious cycle. It is a, such a vicious cycle where like Splatoon characters, not really any men for them to romance, just girls being girls. Everyone on the internet when they get really sad no, because like I thought, they're I thought they were all non-binary. <laughs> I, no, no, there's gender. Oh, they're, 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 they have gender. There is gen- there is squid gender and octopus gender, but okay. um. I, oh, like they're starting to make non-binary squids and octopuses, which is really good. But um, people, every single person is like, oh my god, Pearl and Marina, they're hugging and kissing. They're lesbians! Which, like, I understand. Like, there, there is a there is a need for lesbians, but there is no reason that they can't be any other kind of sapphic. And I understand the lesbian community doesn't want to give up rep, but it's not explicitly stated. And this isn't me coming at lesbians. This is me warning other lesbians from the same life I've lived, which is that if you aggressively say that they're lesbians instead of just set- settling for they could be any kind of sapphic, every single straight man is going to be on your case. And then you have the endless love life thing, where everybody is having this useless argument about whether these characters could hypothetically like men. That doesn't even have to happen. You could just say they're sapphic, everybody wins, you can squabble about whether they're bi or lesbian or whatnot, that's great. But it's when everybody doesn't have a proper umbrella term to use, and they go for lesbian first, 
that you bring out all of this homophobia and lesbophobia that didn't need to be there, and people are fighting over an argument that's never going to be finished. There's never going to be a day where we know if these characters are meant to be bi, or meant to be straight, or meant to be lesbians. We could just use better umbrella terms. If we use better, you can. You can absolutely say the characters are lesbians. <coughs> go for that. Like, absolutely go for that. But you have to be ready for, if you're being that specific, people are going to fight you on it. And you have to be ready for that. Whereas if you say sapphic, you're probably going to kick up less dust. People and it's going to be ask less you, fight. What, what does sapphic mean? Exactly. Because there's, no, there's no, there's no commonly used <laughs> umbrella term. And that's because I also came other contexts. We've been fighting in the trenches, my friends and I, to stop people from using lesbian as an umbrella term, because it's way better to boost up by and pan visibility by just speaking to those terms or using an umbrella thing, because lesbian has to mean, it's, I am of the opinion that lesbian has to mean, I am like, vaguely exclusive, female. Exclusive. Yes! In a world with misogyny as much as we have, there is a need for that kind of word, but a lot of people are lazy, and they just say lesbian to mean whatever, and then that causes this endless cycle. It is interesting because we we usually the more known term is lesbian after lesbos, right. the For, islands yes. instead of Sappho the actual poet. Exactly, which is a little weird. Yes. Um, by the way, your chat is crazy. So Noreen is like an, an amazing physicist, and then Juno just knows a ton about biology, mm -hmm. cellular biology. <laughs> Actually, you're right. Okay, we we are uh, gathering a spectacular people. You guys are insane uh, <laughs> because. I think of this and like, I don't have any specialized knowledge, what the fuck? I mean... I just know a ton of Toho shit, and I'm not even the most ex expert at Toho. Eh. Eh. As long as you keep learning, somebody will find your brain beautiful. Which isn't to say that I don't find your brain beautiful, I'm just getting to know it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Lawrence! <Lord. laughs> isn't there a character in like, um... Like Shadow of Israfel, do you remember that? The Minecraft series by the Yogscast? Oh, oh my god, I, I remember Shadow, the name, but not, I remember Yogscast. Shadow Yogg's of Israfel. But like, they had a character, I think, that was named Gaylord. Gaylord. Yeah. I don't remember what the whole deal was about that character, but there was their stuff. While you travel, yeah, exactly. There's the normal- Masters in Biomedical Engineering. Yes, Juno likes bodies. Holy crap. You guys are crazy. Wow. I have- I have no- no life ambition. <laughs> You're going to grad school. I don't know. I'm, I've been rejected from everywhere so far. Okay. You know, that's... Rejection is a part of life, and I'm, I'm trying to get better at that. Yeah. Life, life is weird. Life, life is strange. Life, life is strange. This is strange than video game. Mm -hmm. The award winner is it? Has it won, won awards? <laughs> it sells out of the organs. <clears throat> oh my god. See, the cells don't get me squeamish, but organs and gore do. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Like, medi medically, they... One of the, uh... Sorry. Like, yeah. like, like cartoonish gore doesn't get me, but, like, mm -hmm. medical, like, putting like care... Like, actual cadavers. And... Yeah. Like, surgery gets me. It's, I'm pretty bad. I tap out. <laughs> at French camp, I'm the weird one, and at Mori, I'm a normie. Yeah, <laughs> possibly why we all like working so much. I think, um... Whatever. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, so last night at the Sovetskoy, we had like dinner, because mm -hmm. it's really expensive dinner, because Sovetskoy's are way overpriced. Oh, but, but we had this um, thing, and one of the dishes was like baby octopus. Oh, baby octopus. And like they were they were all like whole baby octopus with all the tentacles in the head and stuff. Jeez. That, that... They actually tasted pretty good, but I was like, oh. I was I was trying to get over like that initial hurdle, you know, like when people are like, oh, I eat crickets, or like... Yeah, yeah. And like, I get cricket flour, and like, you know, if you didn't tell me it was cricket flour, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. Flour! I would eat cricket flour, probably. Right, or like, people just like, eat bees. Like, bees are a delicacy in like, um... Wow. I think Latin America. Oh, wow, bees. Like, bees and beehives. Like, you eat the beehive with the bees in it, and like... That's so hard to fathom! <laughs> right, it's hard to fathom, and like, I took this cultural anthropology class, where they're like, we don't think of it as food, but like for them, it is in this category of food. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking about that with the octopus, because it tasted good, but like I was looking at it and I was like, this is like a living creature. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, I struggle a lot with anything else. Anyway, like a body. so I did it. <laughs> it was tasty. There was one thing I did not eat at that meal, and that was like this fish fillet, but it had like. Do you know Chirio and Jocko? It's like the, the really tiny fish. I sure do. Um, and I just cannot eat those because I, I had a experience when I was younger. Oh, really? Um, 
and there was like a parasite in this fish fillet that I was eating, and um, like it, it, like we put it in the microwave and we nuked it for like a minute, and it still didn't die. And I was like, I was eating that thing, and it could have been in me. Oh. And, and so ever since then, like really small world like stuff has just really set me off. Oh, I kind of get that. That's really scary stuff. Strangely, not things. I can I can deal with things. Things like that. No, I, I totally got that. There there are scary parasites out there. Yeah, I was just like. These like, bats yeah. seem more spread out than usual. I do want to comment. This is some amazing spread work, by the way. The, yes. Those fire effects. That that is that is one of the cool things about this team. They just make beautiful games that are so fun to play. What am I what am I aiming at actually? I guess those are autos maybe? Oh crap. Oh crap. Yeah, so that this move actually with the kind of curvy spheres. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of uh What is one of her things? It's not Scarlet Meister, it's uh I close the spell card tab. It reminds me of one of her spells. It's very, it's very reminiscent of a couple of her spells. Let's go phase two. It might be one of her non-spells, actually. Oh, I agree so hard on that. I agree so hard on that. I should start capitalizing on that more. I get so much, so much yeah, block. Yeah, it might be one of her, or one of her non-spells. Hmm. Oh, so this is something I haven't explained. Mm -hmm. In Toho, there are two types of boss patterns. There are spell cards which we've talked about those are like the set patterns with names and stuff oh no i rolled i was in the right area and i misclicked ah! i was in the right area and then I... well to okay. be fair it's pretty hard to judge where the safe zone's gonna be down i think there. it's always right under her yeah but like well actually i, I, I misclicked <laughs> anyway yeah anyway um there are spell cards which are the named patterns and then there are non-spells that are usually easier in between the spell cards mm. so that looks like one of her non-spells i think oh. I also am polyamorous. <laughs> Noreen shuddering. No, not in not in polyamory, but at the tiny chitty Manjaco. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Polyamorous. That is cool. I wish like I wish I knew more polyamorous people because then like I would know them as people and like be able to get close to the center. Exactly. Uh, yeah. the, I, I feel like almost any, almost anything that feels really foreign, it takes like a human like, like friendship. Yeah. Or an animal friendship. <laughs> I don't know why I said human friendship. I'm talking like an anime philosopher. <laughs> A human, animals. <laughs> a human friendship is the most strong bond we have. I'm getting older. You sound like Splinter. Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Huh. I could, I could, I could, I could do that. I wish I wish I was like better about supporting the concept, just because like... I think if you wish I think you are... Conscious, I think consciously I support it, but like subconsciously I'm always like, oh, I hate that initial reaction that I have. Oh. Yeah, well, you know I think it's mean? one of those things where if you want to yeah. understand things more, I will wear it down. Can you dash under? Can you just yes. dash through them? Yeah, but knife, knife dash? Well, yes, yes. But when there's multiple layers, it's oh. like I'm gonna knife dash. I'm gonna pop out and take damage. Uh, there, there are, there are. Every single time I freeze on that, it's a different story. Like there, there are, there are good, there are great layouts, and there are some really, really dangerous looking ones. <laughs> this site. You're right here. We freeze everything. So I want to use this more for con- I want, I want to get some more damage off of this. Before we go into this. Because all I need is- Well, no. I need first MP uh, for this. Then I need- Oh shit, then I need time. Whoops, wrong order. Well, I die. Oh crap, 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 not- <sighs> That's how it is. This game is always like, I could have done that better. Like yeah. the execution. Really for all bullet bombs. Unless it's like, just random, and then you're like, I should have bombed that. Yeah, then, then I should have bombed that. Um, which is very yes. interesting, this game doesn't have bombs. No, yeah, nothing even close. I guess we do have our special moves, though. We usually use, like, a screen- well, screen- bombs in Donlocku is usually, like, a screen wipe. Oh, a screen wipe, not just, like, okay. a strong move. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, now I want to get out of here- oh! I wanted to get out of there. Oh, dear. Okay, stage two. Alright. Okay, so right under her, and then it's a- so, you, like, oh, okay, well, I go up. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. That is what you have to do. So we're gonna do as so much so damage as she herself we can. doesn't have a hitbox during that attack. Oh, gun gear, gun gear, gun gear. You run okay. one HP. <laughs> we make it work. <laughs> you only need one HP. Yeah, we only need one HP. Keeps you living. Fine. 
What hit you? There must have been one singular bat. Yeah. Ugh. Well, right, I'm pro folly anti parasites. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I get that feeling. <laughs> Had a really sweet introduction to polyamory where they got to know another camp friend who's openly poly and it blew their minds. To make an idea of a relationship anarchy. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's kind of what's cool about it. Even if I don't exactly understand it, like, in my own life, just anything that fucks with the larger system is generally cool to me. <laughs> also, love is nice. Yeah, I'm, that's, like, one of the things. It's like, why, why should I be mad about more love in right. the world? Right. I mean, I think it's because we get conditioned so hard. I mean, right. yeah, like, what, what, what like, do you call it? Like, like, like jealous or, like, this idea of ownership of your partner? Yeah, it's this very, very big into, I mean, it's big into our identities in the society. Mm -hmm monogamy <clears throat> this is like it's like a parody of my stream like yeah we sit around and talk about monogamy and then kids wander in and get radicalized like i don't know <laughs> we have the, the, the bait stream and that's the thing is that, that that is my fear as an american my fear is that like I, I i worry because i do so much kirby and we have had some young people come in i say like you know 18 plus like not because you're talking about anything super adult but it's because like I feel like I'm the kind of person that conservatives are going after right now, you know? I don't aim to have a young audience. I don't even really want a young audience. But so many people could wander in and become so fucking leftist. <laughs> Which is a good thing, but primarily among other adults. I'm, I'm not looking to fucking change anybody's life here. I'm just looking to hang out and talk. It just happens to be that my life is very radical. <laughs> you are very radical. Ah, oh, fuck. That's what I meant, yeah. I don't feel very radical, because I'm actually, such radical I saw a t-shirt. By the way, Japanese kids' t-shirts are so funny. Hilarious. Yes. Funny. But one, one girl's uh, t-shirt had... One of them was the Playboy Bunny, which, oh my god, I happen? cannot believe Playboy does merch. It definitely is a thing. Yeah, it's and it's everywhere. There's Playboy Bunny pencil pouches and so shirts. Yeah. It's so precious. I've seen, I've seen, Winnie um, the Pooh and Playboy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I've seen, I've seen quite a few... Uh, middle school girls with Playboy. Yeah, I, yeah, it's 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 a lot for my brain because again, pencil pouches mm -hmm. is like Sanrio, Nintendo, and Playboy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or or they have the um like the stuffed animal pencil pouches, which are so adorable. Of Playboy? No, not really. I'm, I'm like a like a plush and bunny. This is getting mm -hmm. bizarre. Like they're aiming for kids at that but point. But some of, some of them are bunnies, right? Or oh, yeah, like bears Absolutely, themselves. those are such um, a huge trend. But like, but one of these girls, uh, her shirt had like the word bodacious on it, and I was like, we should bring that word back. <laughs> radical and bodacious. Radical. Yes, the Bill, the Bill and Ted's excellent adventure dialogue. With the surfer, surfer guy stuff. Yes, the stoner guy stuff is my my go-to. Okay, um, but that was Wizard. So we're Remember going... when Wizard wasn't just like a? Ah, <sighs> I keep messing up the. I guess at this point I'm fried. <laughs> I'm starting to mess up my like knife throw on my jump. Should we take a break? I guess I think, uh, taking a break would probably be good just to get more out of the Just to the refresh day. your mental. Yeah, refresh my mental. Because even backtracking is so uh -huh. high energy. It um, is, yeah. This, you're like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> or even notice, like, doing the combat in the hallways. Yeah. I think it's a game strength, but it's also hard to, like, it's very, it's, get a break. It's yeah. very condensed. Yeah, very head rush, just like Mega Bowl. This boss is hard. Love <laughs> sure is nice. Do they even know the context, or is it just the bunny? Yeah, I don't think they know the context. I don't think, yeah, but the way that it's being sold, I think they were... Because, like, it's not like there's a lot of other, like, <clears throat> sexually, like, promiscuous stuff that's permitted. Like, not permitted. <laughs> well, sure, yeah, anime is its own thing. Anime yeah. is its own thing. But in terms of, like, straight up, like, porn what? imagery, I don't think... I, I think I mean, if... I, I think, think if it, you walk into any convenience store... Oh, absolutely, but I mean in, like, school. Oh, in school. Yeah. Right. Like, I, I think even if there is a discussion to be had about, like, what gets in through anime, I don't... I, I think if Playboy was associated with pornography as strongly as it is in America, it'd probably get banned in schools. Yeah. Um, it's my hunch. So I think that it has kind of been diluted. I think, yeah, I don't think they know the context. Yeah. I don't even think there's a Japanese version of Playboy. <laughs> is there? <laughs> it might not be. What's well, funny, what does business over here in Japan, right? Like, there might be just Playboy Japan, and it's like, hey, people like this funny. And it's like, roll with it, you know? It's like, it's, send them pencil couches. It's funny because um, Playboy used to be. This, okay, so here's my niche knowledge. Mm -hmm. Playboy used to be a, a respected literary journal. That's um, right. But it wasn't just like a, a porn thing. I think you taught me this. Right. Yeah, there's a country roll app on Switch. <laughs> yes, but they really know what region you're in, so they, um, they do not want you using it outside of the states. 
I don't even know how they know what region I'm in. Like, they must be looking at, like, my IP address. I don't know. <sighs> oh, I could show off Yohane. What do I want to do right now? We could play, we could play Mario Kart. I'd be very bad at Mario Kart. <laughs> I wish you would be disappointed in my Mario Kart skills. Mario Kart is the great equalizer. And did you want to tell me about Momodora? You mentioned it before. Momodora? Ah, uh, it's not like a favorite. Like, I okay. like it. It's cool. It was one of my first Metroidvanias. Like, it's cool. Chad, do you have a recommendation? Yeah, what do we do? Um... Yeah, it's definitely a cool game, but I don't have like a lot of feelings about it, honestly. Mm -hmm. oh, Curvy oh, mini. -games. Remember when Nintendo of America localizer localized surfer slang and rock musician names in their Mario games? I do <gasps> not remember that. I can't. That's mostly because that. I haven't played a lot of Mario. I don't remember what era that would have been. Mm -hmm. It feels like a Splatoon thing, making knockoffs of everything. The 90s. Oh, I know what we're doing. Kirby Fighters. Pick up the fight stick. Oh no. Yes, you're gonna learn a fighting game today. Oh, the both of them? Yes, that's a, that's the power of a Joy-Con. Okay. So I have almost played none of this. Super Mario World, I have done that before. I almost have zero opportunities to play this game with people. I don't I'm like I'm like a master or anything. I just have always wanted to noodle around with it because it's cool. Okay, okay guys. Oh. Um, can we do story mode two player? That'd be fun. Two players? This is way okay. better. This is okay. way better. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's just start fresh. Okay. okay. So I'm going to never... choose... Where's player two? How do I... Uh, you'll be do I have second. To... Do, I, do I choose after you? Yes. I think this yeah. game is so cool. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, did you... Of course you chose Veeam. <laughs> I love Veeam. <laughs> you love Veeam. Are there some of these... Okay, so uh, the last Kirby game I played was Squeak Slot, so I don't think there was Archer Water with... Nope. I think Ninja was in. I don't think Beetle was. Yo-Yo. No, you're, you're right. You're totally right about this, yeah. Yo-Yo's new wrestler, I think, is new to me. Yo-Yo's actually retro like Ninja, but Ninja's come back more. Yeah. But Ninja was in Squeak Slot. I don't think I've played Artist. Hammer Hammer was there. Artist Staff? Is, staff is new. There's actually a lot of rep for... Um, is new. <laughs> Goo. Dragon Quest. Yeah, he looks like a slime. Um, ben Bandana... Parasol all sword, yeah, they were in. Um, let's let's do some Bridget rap. All right. Oh my <laughs> god, Bridget looks like, a, looks like such a punk. Uh, buddy match debut. Oh, there's multiple levels. Let's go for the hard mode. Oh, Jesus Wait, a wrestler. So there's an ability called wrestler that's exclusive to this that I love. I forgot about wrestler. Megalore is an unlockable ally. So it's mostly... download plus R for switch and get fighting. <laughs> um, I unfortunately I have. Well, maybe it's not Steam. unfortunately, yeah, but I have it on Steam. Yeah. So, there's like attack button, jump, grabbing might be the most complicated. There's gonna be a lot of directional inputs, basically. How do I... Wait. Oh, are they... Is it sideways? Oh, Wait. Are you sideways? They're desynced? Oh, no. They're, 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 they're together. Okay. How do I... Uh, oh, is it just joy... Is it just joy... Jo Can I not use the... Oh. Oh, yeah, it's just joystick. It's just joystick. It's just, it's just it's joystick. It's a hardcore okay. game for hardcore people. <laughs> Exclusively joystick. What's that? Wait, is this dangerous? Okay, this is... Dare? Okay, so A is, like, jump. Okay, B is basic attack. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, I think what B is, is going to be all of the attacks. Why? Why is your crab? What is X? Probably nothing. But I don't think X does anything. <laughs> it is not the most complicated game. So we're doing a single player mode where we're just going to beat challenges and pick upgrades like roguelite kind of style and then see if we can get to the end and fight the boss. Okay. Slay! <laughs> okay. This is going to be the most scuffed gameplay you will ever see, chat. That's okay. Chat doesn't <clears throat> know what good gameplay looks like and neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot of satisfying level ups. Oh, a new stage. Factory tour. Ah, Kirby 64. <laughs> and we unlocked a bell. Just a bell. take a bell. Oh my god, I want to play with that. He's only in one game. We have to restart when right did now. This? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. When did, um... 
when did this game release this was 2020 it got like leech and it had like no uh-huh. promotion it was very <laughs> unceremonious they're like oh our leaking is our advertisement now <laughs> sometimes oh wait that's vibration baby the bubbling hammer bumbling sorry the bumbling hammer hey guys i'm an english major and i don't know how to read <laughs> English is hard. Even English speakers don't know all the English kanji. Okay, so there's 34s. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which you'll probably not do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are good levels. This is a <laughs> mechanized... Just swim. What yeah, is this? Yeah, we could do it. What, what was that? That was an item. Wait, items are going to be big. That was a speed boost to the shoes. <laughs> just... Wombo combo. That's a good game premise. Just wombo combo with your buddies and Kirby is there. So what if English had kanji? Like drawings of dragons and shit from Germany. Jesus Christ. I have to say that the Japanese drawing for the dragon, or the Japanese kanji for dragon is way too complex. It's just kind of a fancy little not, guy. Yeah. It does not evoke dragon. No. Like, I look at it and I'm like, that doesn't look like a dragon. No, it could have been a lot dragon It reminds me of Trogdor. Oh, Chat. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I guess Layla, or not, um, me? Yes. You, you don't have a lot of experience with, like, um... Homestar Runner? Homestar Runner. Nope. <laughs> I have none. Right, but, okay, chat, how, chat, how, chat, how many of you know HomestarRunner.com? Because that is actually my childhood. Medieval art and text. Oh, Homestar Runner is your childhood. Yeah, I don't know any of that humor. Homestar Runner. Strong bad emails. The gun radical would be everything. <clears throat> American kanji. Oh, God, radical. Emojis God, radical. are the American kanji. <laughs> They're Japanese. Global kanji. Global kanji. Aliens are going to be so confused in the future when they dig up our remains from this era. Oh, this is from your GBA yeah. game. This is from the Fountain of Dreams in uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh-huh. One of the most beautiful things in the whole series. Yes. Beam was a good pick for this. I wonder if... Are they like... I'm I mean, I meant uh, Yo-Yo Yo- Yo- was a good pick for this. I'm <laughs> just spamming. Yeah, Yo-Yo like, Yo- Yo seems very fun to use in a fighting game. Not all of them are the same. I don't think Rock. Oh, I don't think Rock made the cut. Oh, yes. If you get the pom poms and survive and do the whole dance, then you boost your whole team and you boost yourself oh, too. I think okay. you get faster and stronger, so you can do for all the rest combos. of the level or just the... yeah, just that level, that oh. long fight. Double score bonus. Yeah, it's kind Happy of happy cool. belated day, Yes. <laughs> You, Tatsu. That is. I was pain. thinking about you. That's a pain looking emoji. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I think that's the. Is, is that not that's ready? That's Tatsu. What is Tatsu? What's the difference? Um, like Tatsu and Nyu are like, they have two different kanji because one is like for the emperor and one is like general use. Huh. Very weird. Yeah. That's the. I think that that's usually what I think of with you. Dragon. Sorry. I love it. I mean, you know, Homestar Runner is like my peasants quest. We. I'll send you the link to Peasant's Quest, but maybe that is a stream for you. <laughs> maybe so. It's a very weird... I, I probably shouldn't be there when you play it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. The gooey pillow... Pillowy gooey. Oh my god. The pillowy gooey. The pillowy yes, and the I, I don't know. Use hammer drop to grab an enemy and then use it again to strike them to one enemy. I have no idea how to use my character. <laughs> hammer? I can't even picture I that I look like hammer. such a... Like the small, ganky kid. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I don't have a... Bridget has that move, this uh, Around the World. That's a good one. Oh, here we go. King DDD, what are you doing here? This is his arena. He makes this arena to fight Kirby in, and he always loses. <laughs> now he's throwing his loyal subjects. Ow! Because he's characterized as being a good king these days. <laughs> Ooh. What is this? Oh, random events, let's say. He is asleep. He is dead. <laughs> get get ye-, ye flask. You can't get ye flask. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's a... That's not me. They, they have, like, text to choose your own adventure, kind of, like, text-based. Slay. Thing. Directions are north, east, south, and Dennis. <laughs> It's really, it's really fun. It's, I need you, I need you to play homestarrunner.com. Flash games. It's a flash game? 
<laughs> yeah, it was a oh. it was a flash site, so I don't know if it's still up yeah, anymore, but it's now. probably preserved in some way on the online. <laughs> Internet Archive Home Star Runner. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a home stuff runner one myself. On my home computer, like way back in the states, mm -hmm. um, I have Flash still installed, and every time I power it on, it's like, please uninstall Slash, Flash, and I'm like, <laughs> no. surrender the goods. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no. <laughs> Even though nothing uses Flash anymore. <laughs> I remember when YouTube stopped using Flash, and everyone was like, this is the death of Adobe. Hmm. I just noticed we have hearts and they have space. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah. I liked it, some sort of tornado thing. Oh. Maybe dash B? Ooh, classic. Then. <laughs> these, uh, these characters in the background. How do, I, how do I go through the... I can't just, like, down through them. Oh, oh it's yeah, a double. double tap. A lot, a lot of things like dashing and going down are double taps at Kirby. Oh, this dash? Uh, yes? <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a double tap. Kirby is very persnickety about that. They, they have not given up on this. Those characters in the background have a pretty good lore, but they come from a game that is such a wild nonsense. It, it is it is such a flop. It is such an unfortunate. I like them, but their game gives me a headache. A lot of it is on YouTube, yeah, and the site still exists. Some of the tunes have been ported. I think the I think if you watch Gravity Falls, oh, a very small yes. amount. A if you watch Gravity Falls, I believe the director, this the writer for it, is the same as the person who did Homestar Runner. Alex Hirsch. I think so, yeah. Alex Hirsch did home. I know Alex Hirsch from like animation discourse. I didn't know that he was the Homestar Runner guy. That's hilarious. Chat, chat can confirm. Cause did Alex I, Hirsch make Homestar Runner? Um, I think I think that that's the rumor I've heard. But you know, I I haven't actually like studied it myself. Um, auto heal sticker. Uh, very practical. But let's do more damage. I just like damage. Yeah. <laughs> I want to unga bunga. <laughs> We will unga bunga. Unga, that's all I know how to do. This is such a beautiful level. Those might be star allies too. Wow, it looks like candy. I was going to say they look like wishbones. Wishbone, <laughs> yeah. They're they're candy wishbones from a dreamy chicken. Oh, this is superstar. Wow, this is a 3D remake of a really old level. Wow. I, uh... There we go. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. How could you do this to me? Oh, uh, uh, I, don't, uh. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how that happened. That was a um, that was a bomb that was slowly ticking down. And that's cake with an explosion inside of it. Not Alex, but one of the brother chaps um, from Homestar Runner wrote a few episodes and voiced the character. Oh, okay. huh. yeah, so they had, they had work. Hmm. Uh, which game was what from, Noreen? What game were they from? Cool. I think the background characters. Oh, oh, Star Allies. Star Allies is a wreck. Star Allies is like, ah, it could have been like the Kirby Infinity War where every single uh -huh. character comes together. Yeah. But the characters only come together kind of in the sidelines. The main focus oh, okay. is like this kind of the new characters. Yeah, and they're not super interesting on their own. So technically. Rare. Technically, everybody comes together, but like, there's no story connecting them. They just all show up, and it's like they were DLC. All the, all the characters <clears throat> are DLC. So the game's appeal point now is that it has all the characters, but like, that's not really in the story. It's not really a part of the game. It's a it's a wreck. Yeah, of the that's game. kind of interesting because I used to think that um, like Bridget and everyone they were like a part of the main story of Strive. Mm -hmm. No, because they're DLC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so is Bridget always DLC? I thought maybe no, it was very game by Bridget, game. Bridget's like included oh, damn. in the base of other games. Yeah, and, and plus R. Oh, plus R. It's very cool. It is very weird reading like narration from the past games where they use male pronouns for Bridget. Oh god, yeah. I'm like, oh. Get with the times, honey. <laughs> Get with the times, like, 20 year old game. <laughs> earlier in her life, earlier in the chronology, yeah. which yeah, is in yeah, its yeah. own time. Looks like my beam hat is made out of like a dodgeball or something. It does, yeah. It's like a weird cone-shaped dodgeball. And that texture. I could like bounce it around. It's kind of like the rubber, like the bouncy balls that like like that make that that boing sound when you yeah, get them. Yeah, the Pixar ones. Yeah. Look at me, still not at full health. 
ghost town. Oh yeah, if we die, we ghost. So let's ghost. I'll probably do that soon. <laughs> we might get ghosted. Oof. Happens to the best of us. This is a great level. The titles for these guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Ordinary Archer and the Gourmet Bandana Waddle Dee. A gourmet is a man of great standing in the Kirbyverse. I'm sure they have a lot of interesting opinions that would be expanded upon in the light novels. Many, many strong gourmets take up an <sighs> inordinate amount of story space in these books. It's a good approach. It is. I'd like to be valued how for do my I, how do I jump? sweet tooth. <laughs> You've run a long time without jumping. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this rotating sequence was in uh, the NES game, Kirby's Adventure. They didn't put it in the remake. I'm very frustrated with that remake for not doing that kind of thing. Oh, someone's down. Oh, is it all rainy and junk out there? Oh, did you see that combo move? Epic. We are such a, we are the best team. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good looking team. Mm -hmm. Bridget living in the glass closet with the he him pronouns. <laughs> the glass closet. It is, it is. Because you'd think Bridget would change her clothes if she was like trying to identify as more mask. Kinda, yeah. But she, she still wears, like, very feminine clothes in plus R. Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken with Bridget, it's... Ooh! I thought there was a new ability. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck am I looking at? That is one character's hat. She's She was raised as a girl, right? Mm -hmm. So she yeah. mostly does, like, kind of feminine gender performance, right? Okay. Yeah. I think that that's kind of the thing with Japan, Japanese media, is there's so many, like, kind of genderless or androgynous mm -hmm. characters that do, like, female gender performance that people love that type of character and it has its own culture and everything so there can be a lot of pushback against like binary trans women because of that like Bridget for example people are like she's not a woman she's a cross-dresser because they would rather her be that shame <laughs> they're different like different people different things but it is quite a lot to take away from the trans femme like binary community can't we all just hug? Can't we all just hug? Can we all just hug? I should stop having examples in my head of reasons why people are not hugging on this internet, and I should be like, everybody's so happy and gay. <laughs> in both both senses. The polite staff. That's so. <laughs> the polite weird. staff will show you to your table. The daydreaming artist is good. It is. Yeah, that's a. Uh, this two D three D art is fun to look at. I spent five years wearing girls' clothes at camp before coming out. Really. Wow, I didn't realize there was that arc in your life, Vanessa. Does it just... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I think this game is really beautiful. It's not like my favorite art style, but it's cool seeing all the maps and these different renditions of things. Who was that? That was the polite staff. They were the first to go. I, I didn't know that, that at all. Cool? It's really similar looking. It's yeah. a rainbow bird. That one's called Diana Blade, who's a character in Just Superstar. It was a long coming up. Hmm. It's okay. We, we all have our own life track. Everyone does. Everyone absolutely does. We have that roller coaster. But mine is not FDA approved. And <laughs> <laughs> not FDA. What, what is the organization in charge of safety measures? Oh, OSHA? OSHA. OSHA certified. Not, not, not OSHA certified. Not OSHA certified. I, mean, I was not, you know, I was a disaster. <laughs> That's probably okay. not, actually. I probably had a very easy time compared to a lot of people. It's all relative. A very a very easy transition can still be extremely rocky. Yeah, extremely rocky. Stone. Wait, what does that do? Our max health is a bit higher now. Oh, okay. I'm never going to hit it again. <laughs> Duo Edge. They look like garden pails that got cut up. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, I wasn't super sold on these sub-boss designs when I first saw them, but they've been in so many games that they're growing on me. You know what? If, if I had known earlier, I mean, I, I kind of knew. If I had the language to, like, talk oh, about it. gender earlier. stuff, yeah. Ow, 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 ow. I just get behind him. Yeah, get in there. Get some work. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. What is he doing? What is this guy doing? Oh, did we knock him out? No, I think he's oh, shielding. No. Yeah, that oh. one likes to shield, the green one. Oh, they're both shielding. Ow, 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 ow. 
I'm, 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 I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. <laughs> oh. Oh, we have a lot of work left to do. Yeah. This is like a difficulty spike. Oh, no. Oh, It'll be a no. ghost. It'll be fine. Whoops. Well, oh, I could have healed you probably. Oh, crap. But they're, they're, they were puppy guarding your body. How do I get you back in? Hi. Isn't there a way? Oh, crap. I could have revived oh, you if, I, if, if they weren't hiding your body. Oh, one's down? Oh, no. I just got them into their second stage. Okay. <laughs> Time to go to work. You're going to have to carry me. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, oh you're revived. Okay. We love that. Oh, shit. There's some ice cream over here if you need health. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, but go, go carefully, I... now that oh, you're mortal. Shit. Oh, that's a cool animation, the sword in the ground. How do I dash? Uh, oh, double okay. tap. Yeah, it can be really awkward. I'm not a big fan of this joystick stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, it's really burning. Carrot. Feed me carrots. Oh. Did you, smooch! Just, did you just kiss me? I didn't realize they added smooch sound effects. That's how Kirby has always shared um, food with his allies. But the crazy thing is, is the next game to come out after this game censored it to the point where they just like high five now. So like at first I figured, I thought maybe, like it wasn't supposed to be a smooch, but then they finally made it a smooch in this just to take it away from us forever. They flew too close to the sun. Those damn censors. <laughs> We all could have we all could have benefited okay. earlier, knowing or getting yeah. on our asses earlier. <laughs> oh, twenty twenty, not super explicit. Let's get a more petty. I've never I've never been to this spot actually. I don't think I ever have either. Oh, there's so much cute stuff in chat. <laughs> That's so cute. We keep them around. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're like farming them for their cuteness. <laughs> you're like you're like the cuteness exploiter. No, that's like what like I think it's what like a grumpy like parent would say about their kids. Like, ah, they're they're, they're all right. We keep them around. <laughs> Rusty is like I can just give you the tickets to you to mom. So oh, like, to okay. me. To, okay, tonight. Okay, yeah. So that like, is okay. So please just give them to, to my good, good friend. My dear friend. All right. Let's heal you. That's okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay. Here, we'll do auto heal. We'll heal you in the future. Okay, I've just got to survive. Oh, nice. The fetching. The fetching Magor. Oh, was the, there was the the line in uh, the Discord that's like we need a trans Magalore. <laughs> yes, I was like, oh, there is trans, the... there is trans Magalore. Um, there's a design for a girl Magalore. It's a really good character design that never made it to the light of day. There, there is, there is girl Magalore out there. Maybe okay. Magalore is a trans is guy. Okay, so that well, we attack a bunch and then it'll work for us. Yes. Oh, okay. Do I just keep? Maybe I'll just keep hitting this because this is probably a better use of my time. <laughs> We have Koo help in. We're, we're fine. Megalore has a lot of health, though. Oh, the P-Man. No. <laughs> the P-Man? Thank you. Oh, he's got his move. Just, just friends. <laughs> no P-Man sharing. Where did the P-Man name come from? Is that, like, German or something? P-Man? P-Man. No Maybe it's actually, like... An Asian language, but I feel like it's like some German atrocity. <laughs> that happens a lot with Japanese loan words. The, the like... difference between Fanta G <laughs> and um, Enter G. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, German. It's interesting because they say Fanta G because it was. I think it's, it is from German because it's a hard J sound. Oh, but in G. G energy um it's like more more of the because because energy drink is from english yeah but the fantasy fantasy instead of fantasy is from oh like from germany. germany yeah that makes sense 
it's so interesting because they're like the same are they different sounds in, mm. in our language mm. that is raw mm. oh my god about covid yeah when, when it feels like when it feels like everybody's gonna die yeah people start doing things surely that's why everybody started coming out in these last four years i mean i don't know i heard a lot of people because of trump oh my god i just got caught in that they stayed in the closet no they actually like it actually like Inspired. was pushed them to like yeah live your um, life yeah once you see the danger that makes sense also, I think lockdown for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lockdown. You had to sit with some uncomfortable thoughts. And also you could change your clothes and practice in order to know. I, I should have practiced more. Yeah. Oh, there's so many things. Like, I, had I, fun, I had fun rotting. I, I should have. <laughs> it's going to be sad if we have a culture now of like, well, yeah. what I should have done during lockdown. I shouldn't have right. done this during lockdown. I should have been, been more proactive. I was, I was so busy though. I should have developed my resume. I should have developed my resume. <laughs> I should have. There was discourse about that. People being like, don't shame people for not hustling during lockdown. We all thought we were going to die. It's like, yeah, yeah, we all thought we were going to die. We shouldn't be hustling. Now they're like, what did you do during lockdown? Uh, here, I'll show oh, you. You got Maglore. I'll show you what I did during lockdown. Okay. 300 hours, 250 <laughs> hours. There's no shaking okay. those fucking games. We did so much gaming. I made an extremely active Discord mm -hmm. with a lot of friends who are yeah. still here in my friend circles, and we ended up in horrible, toxic fighting. It was awful. It was scarring. It was from, very from, bad. From Smash? Right. No, not really Smash. Just like all kinds. I brought in friends okay. from all walks yeah, of life. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I made a huge mistake trying to have two people all be friends who shouldn't collide, have been friends. Collide the world. Yes, I definitely... I learned a lot, and uh, a lot of people's feelings were hurt very badly, and it was terrible, but we invested a lot of energy into it. <laughs> and Animal Crossing. And Animal Crossing. <laughs> and Knuckles. And Knuckles. <laughs> I love that meme. Like, what was yeah. it? Featuring Dante from The Devil May Cry. <laughs> I was playing Smash with my friends, uh, Amber and Liz, on Wednesday, and uh -huh. someone went, the Dante from The Devil May Cry series colored Bayonetta. And we were like, I don't know you like Bayonetta. And she's like, I don't. I'm featuring Dante from The Devil May Cry series. And it's like, yeah, she does have the white hair and the red. I kind of wonder if that was an actual intentional thing on their part. Because, like, if you're not going to make Dante be in Smash, there are worse... Like, there are worse ways to shout him out than Bayonetta, because they're both, like, frantic action games. Like, I kind of get that. Ow, ow, ow. I, I keep losing. See, this is why I can't can't, can't play Smash or Fighters in general. Mm -hmm. It's because I lose track of my character. <laughs> I'm like, who am I? Yeah, you can't do that. Oh, I hit it. Okay, what did, what did that do? This will go well. Ooh. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> I was exhausted. Oh, we got this. Let's wombo combo. Oh, that was just a lot of damage right there. Yeah, Noreen. We had very good times. Oh Trans my goodness, yes. Trans tr transitivity is such a classic. Yes, I talked to you about this. That was actually very healing. This is an article from 2003 about a lot of pitfalls that nerds fall into and neurodivergent people who didn't do a lot of socializing growing up, but then mm -hmm. as an adult are suddenly super social. There's a lot of common fallacies you see in like fandom and stuff where people all hit the same issue growing up and learning how to be better friends. And it's very relevant. It is eerily relevant 20 years later. Wait, well, what is it? Oh, there's like a bunch of them. There's um, like uh, oh, there, there, there's numerous, there's numerous uh -huh. ones. Too many, but... too many to name. Yeah, well, no, there, there's like five of them, but uh, yeah, they're all raw. Some of them hit so close to home, it's kind of hard. Did you get a new amiibo? <laughs> she's been hiding. Um, yeah. she's part of the trio from Splatoon three, so usually she's been down there, but they've all been split up actually. This one's over here holding Splatoon three. I'm on oh, his team the, this weekend. The mask. Yes. Yes, they all have cool masks, actually. Mm -hmm. This is, like, part of their lore. They, they, they're decently cool idols. They're decently cool idols. They're not the coolest, but I like them a lot. <laughs> there there have been cooler. I see. Yeah, he, yeah, Juno, there's character action, and then I think there's also hero action. I know that uh, Gunvolt is called hero action, and it's really similar. Or I think the point of hero action is, like, your enemies are super, like, 
weak. So, like, you feel like a superhero just, like, bashing through them all. And then character action might be the same thing. Just, like, I don't know. I don't exactly know how character action is what? defined. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh uh, Bayonetta and Devil May Cry. Oh, okay. They're, they're, they're from genres of hero action and uh, character action. It's something I've never really understood the definition of. I think Wrestler is going to be permanently speed buffed here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we almost got him. Get over here. Slay. <laughs> dancing just, in the background. Just Break dancing. dancing. <laughs> yeah, friendship transitivity is one of the pat falls where you just oh, think. Number two, accepts fr uh, friends accept me as I am. Oh, God. I think that one is like. If you get any, yeah, like, like be friend, you're used to being rejected by people. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that friendship equals 100% acceptance. So if one part of your identity is rejected, everything is rejected. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. That fucking article is like a Pokedex for existing. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they're all rare. Cursed attack ring. Multiplier attack by two, but our maximum health is cut by 66. Well, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Okay. I invested a lot into our health just to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. That's a lot of health we just dropped. <laughs> the gourmet parasol and the cool the beetle. Cool beetle. I've seen cooler beetles. You're just mad. You're just a hare. <laughs> <laughs> beetle and Belle are really good picks uh -huh. for this. They've never escaped their one game. Friendship before all. Friendship is transitive. Friends do everything together. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a bad one. Friends do everything together. Wow. Oh, this, this, this parasol's doing work. Ooh. Yeah, that yo-yo is pretty long range. Yeah. Bridget OP. <laughs> That's why they had to nerf her so hard in uh, plus R. Yeah. She was too good as a Kirby. 20 years later. <laughs> 20 years later. Uh, all coming from an understandable and sometimes uh, natural impulse. I can't read it. That stupid heart. <laughs> that stupid heart is so bad. It's so bad. Anyway, yes. It's not that I don't love your message, it's that I literally can't read it. <laughs> you have to scroll around it. Uh -huh. Should we get some health back? Yes. Yes, we should. Okay. Hunger. That's my... Yes. Yeah, I don't were, know if you can hear that, chat. We're on that's a timer. My, that's, my, that's my stomach. We're on a timer. Yeah. It is, it is interesting. I don't know how school works in your... Like high school, mm -hmm. but like we would usually have lunch at like ten or eleven. Oh yeah, we totally did. Right? And so I thought it was Beam for a second. This is the prettiest level. I feel like I'm in a candy universe. It is a universe of candy. Oh, holy crap! I'm so low on health. Wow, you murdered them all. <laughs> oh. But, but we but we had like lunch early in the morning, right? Because like school started early. Yeah. Right, and I I tell that to kids here in Japan, and they're like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, school is school is rough. Do you see why we don't like school in America? It's because we don't like school in America. I mean, for all the reasons you don't like school in Japan. Right, right, also, yeah. It's really fucking early. Ooh, that's great. This will help us against <clears throat> bosses. Um. Anyway, so. I'm always super hungry, like, by the time Kyushu Kuro's around. Yeah. Because I'm so used to, like, even in college, like, I kept up that schedule, because, like, I was like, early to bed, early to rise. <laughs> the Ben Franklin moments. It, it was really just because, like, I liked getting up early. Yeah. I didn't like getting up early, but I liked having time in my afternoon to myself, so, like, I yes. would do all my stuff early. Yeah, I got that. Oh, whoa, what was that? What'd you get? I just like the spinning helix kick up. Oh. We got her. <laughs> that hair looks so much like candy. That looks hair looks like does, exactly yeah. like candy. You are so cute. In your in your hat. <laughs> yes. In real life too. 
Oh, thank you. You're very cute. I, I have Beam Kirby to thank. Are you guys jealous? I have Mel all to myself. <laughs> you don't have me for shit. That's true. Yeah. I have you. That's, that's <laughs> you're so here, true. You're here playing Toho and telling me facts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Mel's, Mel's slave. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that. There's no having at all. Aren't you guys jealous of the social contracts? <laughs> You can go into the inspector for Firefox. Oh, I don't know what this is. Manually oh. remove the heart. Well, see, <laughs> this is just my phone. So yeah. we're at the mercy of the incredibly subpar YouTube Android app. Yeah, I've, as I've gotten, particularly as I've become an adult in Japan, I am, I'm no longer a morning person. Oh, yeah. I like, I want to sleep in until like 10, 11 and just do nothing <laughs> on weekends because... Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's true. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, uh, Vanessa was saying she tried to become a 6 a.m. person this week. I've tried that a few times in my life. None as bad as when I was going into high school. I would wake up so early, and I was also trying to get into competitive Pokemon, but I didn't, like, do enough research, really. So I was just, like, doing all this work for nothing, basically. I would wake up and read whatever it was I was reading. I see. I was probably, like, picking and choosing Ow. random articles from Smogon, and then, like, not doing EV training and stuff. I was just like, well, oh, move oh, in my I galley just keep falling into the lava. Thank you for We won! That. Oh, I thought we were gonna die, honestly. I would wake up, I'd be so nauseous. I hated being up this early. It was, like, 5 a.m., and I would read so much about Pokemon Black and White 2 and play Pokemon Black and White 2. And I would just feel so sick all day. <laughs> and eventually got to the point where I got my, I gave myself some kind of anxiety thing. I had this crazy anxiety thing before high school where I lost a shit ton of weight because I was just uh -huh. like no appetite. I felt right, awful right, for like right, right. the entire month of August before high school. And I blame that. I blame that fucking Black White 2 grind. <laughs> Gigavolt. I, I think I like developed, I took it was multiple things but like there was this peer pressure during college i was like you have to get a summer job you have to get a summer job and so i took a job at i went then my partner at the time the same place mm -hmm. but i got a night shift and that night shift fucked me up oh really gosh much. that's right you did work at the night shift you told me that right i was like and i had and always had like sleeping problems before then mm -hmm. and like kind of anxiety things but like they got so much worse. Mm, um, that's not good. Interesting fact: waking up in like a panic. Like I did that very frequently. Oh, that's no good. That's very. It stopped when I went on estrogen. <laughs> oh my! It was very weird. Hormones, hormones. You it know, hormones in weird. your brain. Interesting times. Interesting it times. Was super. It was super. It was like, oh, I guess, I guess that's what I needed <laughs> physiologically too. Yeah, I guess so. This is a wild cutter skin. He's throwing his mohawk. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal today. I guess I'll do flan next week, because we're not gonna see her today. Oh Let's do it. We beat the fuck out of that character. <laughs> Let's do this next boss, but I'm not feeling particularly motivated to get to the top. It's no, like another I'm like twenty either. minutes. <laughs> this is kind of our cooldown. Yeah, this game's been like now that I'm playing a lot of it at once, it's like this game is very neat. Like, it's not that exciting. <laughs> it's never really been that exciting. The Otto Gohun, yeah, I, I get that. Yes. Oh my god, I get so... I am very weird. I will... Uh, if I don't have to leave the house till mm -hmm. 7.30, I wake up at 6. If I don't have to leave the house at 7.30, I'll give myself 10 more minutes, like, two times. Sometimes, though, when I've described this on chat, um, I will sometimes grab my octopus kikurumi, which is a thing that I have, or my blanket, <laughs> I will come down here, uh -huh. and it's like, I won't let myself rest up there, because I need to go. I yes. come down here, because my alarm is down here, and oh, then okay. I, I should, will... I should put my alarm not in my bed. Yes, this is very easy to stay in your bed if you do that. Oh, this is a good fight. I will rest my head on this thing, and just sleep on the floor with whatever I can get for a blanket for a couple of ten minutes. It's so uncomfortable that I will fall asleep, but I will eventually be ready to go. <laughs> so it kind of satisfies both needs of, like, getting mm -hmm. ready and five more minutes. Oftentimes, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm ready to go. But I wake up way too tired. I should be getting to bed earlier, but I, my whole life, it's like, I should be getting to bed a little bit earlier. Oh, I'm the, just always tired. I miss the grab. We're gonna die. Oh. Dang. Ow. There's an epic animation there. Ow. Oh, they're doing, ow, my, ow, ow, they're doing ow. my favorite tricks to you. Yeah. I created this. I can take it out. Yeah. Who do you think 
Who do you think run Botter Town? <laughs> oh. oh, did I use him to break it? Epic. Him in the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep him there. You can combo in this game. Corners help. Look, you can play Bridget now. <laughs> oh, ow! We did well. We did it. That's a good ending. <laughs> Epic. Look at us. <laughs> three, three, thirty. Yeah, sleeping until ten is real. All right, good night, Juno. Thanks for coming. Uh, yes, everyone, thank you. It was super fun, and I guess I'll be here next week, too. Yes. Oh, no, we're not done. I'm oh, running it back to that box. Oh, you're running it back. <laughs> oh, running you're running it back. it back. Okay. I'm running it back. I trained in Kirby Land. Okay. That was a lot of EXP. Atto. Jupon. <laughs> Atto, one boss. Um, Just one more level. Literally. One more dungeon. Which is very interesting, because, like, earlier... Like, the original Legend of Zelda, there's no levels. Yeah. And I, I can't remember if there's a save function either. I don't think there is. You, I think you have to beat it in one setting. Yeah, it's possible, which is a huge ask. How do I escape? How do I, how do I leave? Well, hopefully it saves. Hopefully it saves. That's actually a decent mm -hmm. amount of unlocks. I might have regretted that. Well, we'll find out next time I play. <laughs> I might forget next time I play. Okay. Good night. Yes, but see, yeah, follow, I, I tend to fall asleep fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Shutting off screen. Waking up. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um. I, I I have enough like before bed traditions that if I were to just like be on my phone, be on my phone, be on my phone, be on my phone, game, 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 and then just like put my ass in bed, I maybe wouldn't be able to sleep. But I have a lot of traditions where like I will. You gotta brush your teeth. Floss. <laughs> yes, but even after that, like I'll journal. I'll probably like 30, oh, yeah, 40 journal. minutes journaling, which maybe is what makes me tired, but it's also what helps me exist. So it's a trade off. I actually, I always journal before I like. Just like right after. Dinner, That's a nice time. But for me, I need more flexibility. If I had a routine like that, then dinner would become like so long. Like, like prepping dinner, eating dinner, journaling. It'd be this it's huge gap. Usually, like I dinner and then like I do dishes in the shower. Nice. And so it's like I don't want to waste the hot water if I do dishes and then do it or something like that. Mm -hmm. I guess the smart move would be dishes, shower, then like do journal while your hair's drying. See that? I like that play. I like that play. Alright, I'll be I'm just gonna grind out Amelia. I'm gonna try! The green fire. That's the first time well no, actually it doesn't because it was blue fire before. <laughs> oh yeah, this clock is following us. Mm -hmm. It's 120 now. It's time to get launched. Yeah, it's, it's you too. <laughs> Don't just play me good check, and you actually hear that. <laughs> Stomach gurgling stream. That's ASMR. <laughs> I have no intention of providing ASMR. I don't. You can be all to that channel. You can do that. And then finally confident on my voice. If you want to make your voice a product. Oh god, there we go. I can play like the first part of this song on piano. Hey, you know what I forgot about? Okay. The free cooldown. No, sorry, the, oh, the, 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 the slowdown? The, yeah, the free slowdown. Once again, I have forgotten about this technique. It's very important. Oh, she blocks it! She does, she has a little bit there. I wonder if we can destroy the chunks. I wonder, they're not taking damage. I think I yeah, would have tried to figure yeah, it out. I think we would have too. Let's go. Oh! <gasps> You're so close. I was close. Anyway, you'll hear a lot of trumpet in this. And it's, that's kind of what, like, Zoom is meant for, are the Zoom oh. pits. Just like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Kind of, yeah, the, the brass, but he's, yeah. he's really known for that. So they call them Zoom pits? I think they're called zoom Romantic pit. Trumpet in, like, the oh. Windows library. That's cute. I like that. Um, yeah. Actually, Zoom's MIDI work is fantastic. Um, if, you, if you use his MIDIs on the, uh... Roland uh, 88, I think, is his keyboard. Huh. Um, but if you use that, you can, uh, it, some of his arranges sound beautiful. Huh. Like, I'm, I mean, all of his work sounds really cool, but like, like actually, it's very, very beautiful. Cool. 
That's very specific. Uh oh. Oh no! I can't play this part on the piano. There's, there's so much I want to be able to do, <laughs> but like, I don't have the commitment for it. <laughs> Life. I don't want to even say that's like I don't have the requisite skill or, or talent because I'm sure if I practiced, like, yeah. I could do it. But I just I don't have the correct mental, and like that's that's a that's a personal flaw. Mm. Seems like I always have to take one piece of damage during this. Yeah. Oh, you know, I have one trick for this. Oh, what is it? You're never gonna guess what it is. Is it the slowdown? Yes, <laughs> that's the one trick I could use. <laughs> Although, we'll see. If I move normal speed, then it might make it worse. Look at her go. Yeah, Septet for the Deceased Princess. Oh, I guess they must have changed the names because they remixed them. <laughs> Instead of like using the original name. She has so much health. I just realized they actually give you a number. Oh, really? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Please go. <laughs> please, please leave. Okay. Grease. Thunder. Stop. I'm gonna hit this, but I'm also gonna fucking do some knives. Knives. Oh, I should've... It's okay. It's okay. We live. You got this. Yep. This one's different. <laughs> ah. we, are, we are simply built different. We're simply built different today. <laughs> we, we, we went to the Tower of Kirby. It's yeah, fine. We're, we're empowered by Kirby now. Mm -hmm. We used the curse bracelet. Did I tell you? I, I think I put in chat that the, the, the principal at this graduation ceremony Rand talked about Nintendo. Random starts shouting out Nintendo. Yeah, I was like, what? That's so random. I think her point was like, dream big. <laughs> no, the point was like, people talk about talent and some people would think like it's born, but like, oh. real talent is just not giving up. Yeah. And I was like, that sounds great from a CEO. <laughs> right? Yeah. But what about all those people who didn't give up and then they still didn't make it? Because right. like, we, we often don't talk about that enough. No, we don't. <laughs> they're the villains. <laughs> the world, the world is cool. They're, they're the broken villains in the narratives. What are we, bats? Yeah, fuck these bats. Yeah, I'm slow in the back. Oh, now. it's called snail time. Snail. They're saying snail. Just move, stop, and snail. Oh, cool. I can notice all these things because I'm not actually playing. But I mean, it's nice having somebody to notice shit because this game is so detailed and intense. Oh, good grades. I'm, I'm still missing a button input, honest to God. It's okay. It's gonna be so fun to get good at this game. What is it? What will it be like a yearly thing? Maybe <laughs> um, maybe seasonally for a little bit. That was fun, but this is where the real fun begins. You say that, but I'm in. Can you just can you just ignore this? Can you go all the way to the side? Oh my god, you can. We are a little dweeby. Not the dweeby, yes, but we're a little dweeby. <laughs> <laughs> we have perspective on our side, Romelia. I think you, if you just get out of the general vicinity, you can dodge more. <laughs> I think that sounds right. We weren't aware of that. Yeah, I don't think we we actually saw that at the edge of the screen. It just happened this time. I'm also slowing everything down from now on. Yeah, that's probably helps. It's very weird, because Sakuya actually doesn't... She has a stop time gimmick in um, Toho 6. Uh-huh. But the person who actually has a slow time gimmick is Yomu in the next game. Oh. It's like my brain is exploding. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so we're doing this. Doing this. Knives, 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 knives. Now I'm on the defense. Yeah, this one's fine. The next one I'm gonna want this for. If it's bad, then I go. Oh, I'm just jumping. I'm fine. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get out. No, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, so I'm slow time. You go through those lasers before they're activated. Oh my god! Perspective, am I right? We love it. Okay, you're gonna have to jump still. <gasps> you did it! You didn't get hit. Mm, don't deliver it yet! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, I hate the G.I.G. quote, because knowing it's not just half the battle. But, yeah, now you know. Perspective. Uh, I, I, perspective. Perspective. I like perspective. This is why you're supposed to record everything at a skill that you're trying to improve at. Mm -hmm. 
I get that. That's why I stream. No, that's not why. <laughs> Do you ever look back at your bugs? Oh yeah, it's fun. Not usually to get good, but sometimes. Okay, right. it's, uh, sometimes I like to enjoy the atmosphere again. Okay, right, right. The, 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 the conversations. It's funny. I have a muscle memory. Sorry, I gotta cross this out. No, no, no. I have a I have a muscle memory where for the first like day or so after oh, a stream, oh, oh. I can just kind of remember everything I said after I hear it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going down, but wow. I have so much yeah. fucking health. Why do I have so much fucking health? Don't choke. Yeah, don't choke, literally. You're pretty good. Oh, third phase. I just might win in this world. I'm so proud of you, Sakuya. But there's no way I'll lose. Oh, they both said it. It's okay, but they have the anime thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay, it's a different pattern. We're still going over. Okay. Oh, oh, We're okay, going okay, back, okay. maybe? Holy shit. Okay, we had enough to just tank it. And now I'm doing my move. Okay, <gasps> go oh, oh, right, right, right. Go near. The first one doesn't. We're just normal slow. Chat is on the edge of their seats right now. <laughs> Normal slow. Okay. Yeah, those bats. Those fucking bats. Uh oh. Okay, that's there. Knives, 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 knives. Oh no! Oh, you're so close. This is just gonna be graze. Slide, slide, slide. Okay. Now get out. Do this. Oh, you're Pause. so close. Nice, you're so nice, close. Nice, yeah, nice, 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 knives. nice, 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 I wonder if she's going to charisma break. If she, she has the signature pose if she charisma break. Okay. What? I can't believe it. Her eyes are all sad. No. Her eyes are carrots. Oh, she doesn't charisma break. Okay. Oh, well. I might just win it. Yeah, you did. Pachi, pachi, pachi. I really want to show off and beat you at the very last second. You almost did. I just had to yeah. wander through. <laughs> yeah. It's just like for some reason my health came back during that <laughs> fight. Or maybe I just wasn't taking damage. You just weren't taking damage with it. Hey, Slay. Well, either way, I had a great time. Yeah, I love to know. That's such a funny conversation to have. <laughs> conversation well. Thank you for inviting me to this playground, Mistress. Sakuya, how are you able to use your sealed time powers? Did Pache? Yeah, she calls. I love that she has a nickname for Pache. Hmm. Pache, do something. Hmm? It's because of this device I got from the Kappa Nitori. You created her to help me out, right? Don't be absurd. Hmm. I only made the character that saves data. Oh, okay, so Aku is fake. Hmm. Oh, I think you told me that. I think we knew that. So, if that Nitori was the real deal, I'm sure Pache must have summoned her without telling me. No. No. Unbelievable. I'll have a word with her later. Oh, yes. Also, Romilia and Pache are, like, actual friends. Like, oh. Pache isn't, like, the librarian servant. She's, like, actually Romilia's friend. Hey. I still have work to do. Okay, me, Tori's probably gonna bust and be like, not so fast. Mm -hmm. Comes to. When I snap my fingers, everything will return to how it was. Something tells me that this is, uh, not gonna happen. No. I'm on the team when I get back. Did it, did it actually work? Is that the end of the game? Oh no. Yeah, it's still in here. Hmm. Is something wrong? That's strange. We should have returned to the real Scarlet Devil Mansion, but... So we can't get back? This feeling. Could someone have disturbed this space? But who? It's Ooh. Laundry. Aww. Uh, Don't get it. I get it. Who's there? I took control of this world while you were busy playing. No, no one can leave them unless I let them. This would be such poetic justice, because Flandre was trapped in the basement mm -hmm. for like 500 years. My world, you say, Jojo reference. This world is only possible because of my power. Oh, I'm not sure. Is it Yukari? Show yourself whoever you are. I'll give you a proper slap. <laughs> if you want to play with me, come to the throne room. Defeat me, and I'll give you this world back. See ya. <laughs> Who is it? Mistress, where is the throne room? It's on the top floor of this castle. Can you go on ahead? I believe there's some other area I should check out first. Really? Okay. I feel like I should go check that out. I do the Metroidvania here. Yeah, please do. She just transforms into bats. Goodbye. Who would do such a thing? What should I do from now on? Head towards the throne room. Huh. 
All right, let's see if we get a blue key. People are spamming knives, knives, knives. Knives. <laughs> Okay, so Flowering Nights is Sakia's theme and, um, oh. what is it? Um, Phantasmal Gorda Flower View, Toho Nine. Oh my god. Um, but her theme has been endlessly memed and it's called Night of Nights when it's in the meme <laughs> format. It, it's just a sped <laughs> up version. Um, yeah. Oh, we gotta save. Yep. <laughs> it's like, imagine dying right after you beat the boss. Yeah, it's possible, <laughs> never doubt it. Wow, all right. Um, well, I think we can stop there and get lunch. So, yes. I'm yep. <laughs> Everyone, thank you for coming. So it looks like we're gonna have a three pool. So yeah, let's see. Next Sunday, I should be totally free. I should be good too. Do a normal stream and yeah, you can come on down. Sweet. All right, everyone. See you then. See you. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> what? Oh, my laptop tanked. Oh, never mind. It was chugged in. It was, it was plugged in. <laughs> You're welcome. See y'all later. <laughs> Yay. All right.